you're live hello 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 procrastinators welcome to nerd play civilization six we shall get started in a moment Hey, what's up, Moo Man? Julian Zockt, hello, Jesse Albridge, Simon012. What's up? How's it going, everybody? Everybody, get in here. Hey, Ivan Bosco Bonyik, Moo Man, I win, you all lose. Jose Linares, welcome to the stream. Hundi, hi, how's it going? Alex Horabi, Horabatiuk, hello. Rugoya, a live stream. Henning, how's it going? Vazeli von Hossel, hello. Jesse Albridge, Civ 5, Poggers. Wait, Civ 5? No, no, it's not Civ 5. <laughs> uh, Tanner Litke, how's it going? Nicholas Hansen, Seb, Danny Clint, Danny Chips, Drill Sergeant 24. Wait, is this on Twitch too? Nope, we're switching to YouTube live streaming. Gabriel Zach, how's it going? Uh, Farida Mala, okay, I don't read that language. Maximilios, how's it going? James Paisley, Efren Grove, Matthias KP, Koliak123, Rue Goya. Work is so boring, you just saved it. Thank goodness for that, Rue Goya. Minion and friends, hey, what's up, buddy? Moo Man Potatoes is Sweet Potato because he's so nice. <laughs> Wait till you see me in my private life. Nicholas Hansen, Otto Simeric. Daniel Pripschuk, I don't know how to say your name. Oh my god, stop talking, you're talking too quickly. <laughs> I miss one. Marine, hi, Marine. Ali, Hawaii, Vafati, hey, what's up, buddy? Never caught a live stream of you before. So happy to see it. Energetic Akita, how's it going? What's up? Moonray Drake, oh snap, I made it a dream. Spencer Pondell, love your vids. Thank you so much, Spencer. Cody Young, live on YouTube. That's different. I know, it's exciting. Let's get potatoing. Hell yes, Jeremiah. Uh, Luke Blackbird, Joe Woodmeyer. Yo, potato, you healthy yet? I am feeling much better. Thank you so much for asking. Matt Tiernan, how's it going, Matt? Uh, Sherbet Lemon, eyeballs. Those are no, uh, nice eyeballs. You have beautiful eyes, Sherbet. Sherbet, uh, Garps RS, how's it going? Uh, Super Scam, hey, what's up? Uh, Seamus O'Brien, hello, my fellow potato. You have the same name as me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, Russian name, FFA or online. This will be single player. Jacob Oxvig, Itachi Crow, Tyler Wyland, Luca Lico, Senso Rocks, Jesus Christ. Uh, praise Jesus, how's it going, buddy? Why on YouTube? I don't know. I thought it'd be more effective to stream on YouTube. Let's see, Luke Blackbird, good day to you all. Nice to see you. Please spam Nudeby and Pyramids. I will do my best. YouTube streaming, weird champ. I know it's a bit weird. Work can officially wait. That's right, Stu Ward. And Sasha Reynold Montoya. Okay. <clears throat> we've done, I think we've said hello to everyone. Hey, cousin. Leah May Bean, get out of here. <laughs> You're not allowed to watch this. How dare you watch me? Is that actually you, Leah? Oh my god. What's up? Dare Tackle, Zelfian, Arjun, Balast, Brahmanian. Hello, Potato. Glad to see you. Unigak, Panda. How's it going? Glad to hear you better. Thank you so much. What victory are we going for today? I haven't decided yet. We haven't even started the game. Uh, all right. Do we really have the same name? Yep. If you translate my name into Irish, it's the same name. All right. Let's get started. Oh, I skipped Alexander. Listen, we'll do Alexander another time. <laughs> Damn it. I was like, I'm going to start with the very first leader. And I mixed up. I Whatever. I said I'd play Aminator. So we shall play Aminator. We're going to start off in the ancient era. DD difficulty. Sweet. Well, I was going to work today, but instead... <laughs> Hello from Germany. Hello, Ebo. Uh, Liam A.B. <laughs> you butchered my name. Arjun Balasubramian. A Bamanian? I have no idea to say your name. Sorry, buddy. What map type would you guys like to see? What happened to Twitch? Uh, I'm just going to stream on YouTube instead. Hey, Potato. Great to catch you on a stream. Greetings from Kuritaba. Kuritaba or Kuritaba? I can't tell it. Peter Maz, how's it going? Nano Matter, how's it low? Disaster mix. Oh, yeah. We'll max out disaster intensity, of course. Do we want to do like a standard map size? Uh, maybe we'll do large. Maybe a song and coming prepare for nonstop movement. Oh, by the way, uh, thank you so much. I completely forgot to thank Light Swarm for the $15 super chat. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and start the recording. All leaders play in the order A to Z. 
alphabetical order. Uh, da, 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 da. Game Mechanic did a very successful science game. I know. I, I total, Game Mechanic totally inspired this. The alphabet is hard. It is hard. <laughs> I accidentally started with Aminator. Oh, it's amazing. All right. DD Ancient Era, 15 City States, Disaster Intensity. I think, you know, I'm trying to think of one I haven't played yet. I've played, actually, I, th I think I've played everyone except for Splintered Fractal. So I'm kind of tempted to do Splintered Fractal. I've done Primordial. I've done Mirror. I haven't done Mirror, actually. But that doesn't sound so amazing. I think that's a four-player only map, anyway. So let's do uh, Splintered Fractal, large map size, standard settings, uh, huge. Uh, huge will just take too long, so I think large is a good compromise. Abundant resources, sure thing. We shall do abundant resources. Uh, how is Guy Fox in Ireland? We don't do that here. <laughs> At least as far as I can tell. Change of color. I mean, sure, we will be weird brown. <clears throat> Please scream por porco dio. Porco dio. Uh, is that pork god? Pig god? I don't know what you want me to say there. Bien. Wait, so will this be a weekly thing? If so, year sorted. Ha well, hopefully more than weekly. All right, let's, um, world age, start position. Uh, so we want to do abundant resources. We'll do, I like the idea of having a new world age, kind of a flatter map. And uh, start position, balanced, rainfall. Let's do a wet map. That'll be fun. So we'll have a flat, wet map. Uh, I can't make the same kind of jokes because my cousin is in the channel. <laughs> I don't understand any of this, so I'm going to go by. See you, Leah. Thanks for stopping by. I'll make sure to uh, say hi to your papa. Uh, we want our lands to be dry AF. Go for diplomatic domination. I don't like diplomatic victory, so we might do some sort of domination y stuff. I'm not sure. Michael Science. Rainfall zero. I don't think that's an option. But like, we'll do a flat world with a lot of rainfall. All this super juicy. Let's get started. Will you finish the game in the stream, or is it the first part? I intend to finish the game in this stream uh, but you know the best of intentions never always work out wet map for a desert sieve yes well wet wetness dictates the um water. amount of forest beast. rainforest and marsh on the map it doesn't taking his first dictate right steps, you have uh the temperature temperature now dictates how much desert there is quest. uh from this early cradle of civilization. If the Irish hate the UK, why do they speak English? Because the English spent centuries uh, suppressing the Irish language. Uh, Pakin, Russians. The Hello, Russian friend. Uh, start from a different era, not from ancient era. That might be interesting. Wet map, but you're Nubia. Wet map only dictates how much rainfall there is, which dictates how many forests there is. New is not. Your archers can part their hair at 500 Was get um, a vanilla back. Oh, damn. What is an A disease? Oh, Flippin' hell, I completely forgot to check if I have mods active. And mods have a really common tendency to activate themselves. That is going to be a pain in the willy. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have any mods that automatically activated themselves. Okay, no, no, no. No mods activated themselves. We have just the simple UI mod activated. Awesome. Ooh, this is an interesting starting... I think we just started off with a natural wonder right here to the left. That could open us up for an early religion. Say hello to Brazil. Hello, Arthur Paiva. New is hilly. Yeah, I went for... Oh, uh, I went for... Oh, new is hilly. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I made a mistake. Not if a big deal. Arch has any significance, but might... there is the Delicate Arch giving us the boost for Astrology, which is fan dabby docious Now, I think I would like to move off of these nice forested hills because I could get the chops. And I kind of want to settle on the Jade right now because that would give me access to the Jade. It would give me plus one culture. Um, the only downside of moving onto the Jade is that I will not be able to work these nice two food, two production tiles straight away. I would have to wait until I could buy them or, or grow to them. So that's the one downside. The big advantage, though, is I would start just working Jade and getting that plus one culture without having to work that tile. So it's a matter of, do I want to trade one production for one culture and one turn of city center moving? Well, 
If I move to here, one, two, three, I can still get both of these crabs. So I think that works out just fine for me. So I think we're going to settle on the jade. But -bum 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 -bum. Say hello to Indonesia. Hello, Warren Davin. It's got, it's a lot of people in chat, so it's kind of hard to keep up. Hey, Etienne Bilodu. Uh, hey there, finally caught one of your streams. Thank you so much, Emmanuel Jimenez. I apologize if I miss anyone. There's a lot of people. Uh, what does this challenge consist of? Basically, we just win a game as every civilization in alphabetical order based on their name. I accidentally skipped Alexander. You will have to forgive me. We'll go back and do Alexander again another time. Are you going to have a higher culture well, to expand those tiles, Patrick? Naturally. Yes. My week after my two week notice. Oh, that sucks, Torben, that you got your two week notice. But at least you have potato streams to tide you over. All right, so there's the boost for sailing. And it is a very nice growth start. I will agree there. We have some good marsh as well as decent tiles to work. We're going to get a plus one culture from the jade. Now, question, do we want to scout to the north or to the south? Well, we can do a little bit of a to have a look around to see if we're close to the edge of the map. So it looks like we definitely want to scout to the north because it's more likely if we turn the camera, we can see there's the bottom of the map. So we can see that we will be able to uh, find more land to the north because down south, it's likely to just be tundra. So I'm going to have a little peek up to the north. Ooh, that land is looking very closed off now. So I'm going to head south. Finally, my first live stream of whiskey. Thank you very much, Glenn Guybels. Aqueduct next to mountain. The, this could be potentially an aqueduct here. Let me think about that one. Is there a rad campus near the mountain and the reef? There is actually a really, really nice campus right here. So that will definitely be something that we look into. Um, now, the downside is we didn't move right beside the delicate arch, but we can get an equally rad holy site right here. This is a plus three holy site if we do want to go for a religion this game. And I think I might go for a sort of naval play, maybe? Naval air play, kind of like I did before. Petra will be something we definitely look into, but it's going to depend on what exists out here to the west, if there's lots of hills or anything. Uh, I don't think Petra is really good in my capital city because the only Petra tiles that it has is realistically this one. And uh, this is already, you know, one of them is being covered up. Uh, holy shit, the map turn trick. What is that button? You hold hold down Alt, your Alt key on your keyboard and then left click on the map and you can rotate the camera. So that's what I do at the start of every game is I, I rotate the camera to to look behind me and see if I can see the bottom of the map. Uh, and then I do the same thing. If you turn, if you, if you zoom all the way out and then scroll as far up as you can and hold down Alt and turn like this, you can kind of see up here, if you're looking at this section of the screen, you can kind of see a little bit further than you would normally be able to. So if you can see, when I'm looking just straight on, I can see about just the top of this octopus. And when I turn, I can see much further beyond it. And this lets you kind of guess which section of the map you're on. Are you at the north? Are you at the south? And right now we can tell we're at the south pole of the map. Pyramids would definitely be a great idea, actually. And you know what? I really like that idea. So pyramids are definitely going to be something that we get our hands on. Oh, my God. I can never. <laughs> I can never find the wonders. Uh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> now, we are on an islands map, which makes me want to skip a scout. And instead, go for maybe a builder or a monument or a unit. First, potato stream exceedingly excited. Potato archer push. Yes. So what is this challenge? Uh, it's basically we just play every civilization in order. I accidentally skipped Alexander and I will be continually reminded of that fact uh, forever. Let's go ahead and pick ourselves. Now, hmm. There's a high probability that I'm on this island on my own, which allows me to go for a risky monument play, which would allow me to go for more risky boat plays as a sort of consequence. The other thing that we could do Hello, Ori Weiss, uh, down with Potato Network. Sorry, Bruce Speaker. Please, can I ask, would there be a stream game with fans? Uh, we'll, we'll look into doing stream games with fans. That's a little bit more complicated to organize. Uh, Potato, big fans from Bali. Thank you so much, Morganis. Please, can I ask if there will be a stream game with fans? Yes, there will potentially be a stream game with fans. It's a shame that there's a couple of mountains next to that wonder. Several useful tiles gone. Ah, it's fine. We'll be able to make use of them anyway. Uh, did I, have you ever played on a different era start? Yes, I have, and they are interesting, but I think the game is most interesting when played from the ancient era. I really want to go for this monument. However, I already do have the culture from Moreau settling on the Jade, so it might be in my favor to go for a builder and have a builder early. That doesn't really do anything for me, though. On the other hand, I could invest into a slinger and potentially get some tech boosts using the slinger, so I'm not pressed for a monument right now. You missed Alex, what is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, Leo Fee, Aminator, always surprised, wars me on Immortal enough. Yeah, she is a bit of a pain in the backside. 
How dare you missing Alexander? We'll go back and do Alexander. Yes, this is Deity Difficulty. Any game that I play is on Deity Difficulty. You should always assume so, unless otherwise stated. All right, looks like we actually have some very nice land here. And we do have some Petra Hills. I'm currently thinking about potentially settling here. It's a Plains Hill with access to fresh water and a uh, coast, as well as a potential Petra in here. That's kind of like the working theory right now. I think I'm going to swing up to the north now with this guy. Ooh, a tribal village. Beautiful. Actually, this is definitely a Petra city now. 100% a Petra. So that'll be one of my big goals in the early game. I'm going to send this scout down to the south a little bit because there's usually barb camps in the south, and I want to clear that out with said slinger. Ah, okay. So I'll sink one turn into a builder, and then we'll immediately get to work on a settler. What is the A to Z challenge? Well, basically, we just play every civilization in order from A to Z. I, of course, made the mistake of accidentally skipping Alexander. We'll go back and do Alexander on the next stream. Uh, okay, we'll do a little bit of exploration. Now that we have two population of the capital, we immediately get to work on a settler. We want to get fast settlers out here because the faster we can get this city developing, the faster we can get the Petra and all that other juicy stuff going. Now, is that the best tile for the Petra? If I'm taking a moment to explore and think about this, uh, there is a potential aqueduct campus here. That's not so great, is it? No, I don't see any reefs here, so there might not be a campus in this city. We'll think about it for a moment. Uh, we'll think about it. Now, this Petra would hit one, two, three, four, five Petra hills, which is really damn nice. Um, I could put the Petra over here if I wanted to, but that could also be a mausoleum at Halicarnassus as a follow-up to the Petra, which is a fantastic wonder, if I can find it in the list. Oh my goodness, where the hell is the mausoleum? <laughs> I'm so bad at this part of the game. It's like finding things in a list. Okay, let's go through them one by one until my brain... There it is. Uh, does the production exploit still work? No. Nubia, my pick for most underrated Civ. Uh, do you know how you want to win? I have not yet decided on how we want to win. Mm, probably definitely want to get a religion at the very least. We would like to get God King because we want a uh, Pantheon this game. I'm going to plug in. Well, we already have that delicious deer tile, so let's lock that in. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab myself another one of these two food, two production tiles. That'll get me churning along nicely in the capital, which means I feel a little bit more confident about skipping urban planning and getting God King so that we can get a uh, Pantheon up a little bit quicker. Uh, I think I'm going to plug in Discipline here because I don't have any scouts, so the survey doesn't make any sense. Potato, don't forget to settle in the desert for additional 20% production districts. Yes, I know. Um, I did. Ooh, that's a good point. So pet... Mm. This might have to go, this might have to be a Nubian Pyramid, and then this might have to be where the Petra goes. So that'll have to be a little bit of a modifier. Now, I know Moreau isn't next to a desert, it's not the end of the world, because we are going to use both of those desert tiles for something else. <clears throat> Industrial center where Petra is seems really good, especially with the aqueduct. Yeah, it would be. Okay, so if we settle here, one, two, three, we can potentially settle another city on this Plains Hill right here. And that'll kind of take care of this northern area as well as a few other little things. So kind of like just kind of plotting out our potentials right now. Haven't fully committed to anything. Um, so there's kind of a choice here. Do I want to go explore this tile or come all the way around with this guy? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore this tile with my warrior. To send my slinger up to the north because this is the fastest way to get the most scouting information. Uh, I would like to get foreign trade because galleys are going to be important for me scouting. I'll just put a few turns into that. Uh, religious settlements, choral music. I haven't made any decisions about that. We'll make those decisions when we get to that point in the game. Place patch on the coast. You can get a Nubian period next to... Yep, definitely Durkle. Uh, what was the production exploit you mentioned two minutes ago? Uh, basically, it, it was a way to store your city's production. Um, over a long, 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 long period of time. So you could build things in one turn whenever you wanted. You you could basically save up production forever. And it was really, really overpowered. And it was really, really broken. And it worked in multiplayer. And it basically ruined the game. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to place down this holy site in a moment. Once this settler is finished. We're not in a huge rush to get our religion. And I'm not too worried about it if I don't. I want to pick up sailing. Because I want to be able to get fishing boats. And I also want to be able to get galleys. That's why we're unlocking foreign trade. Keep exploring this way. There is Fez. Did I meet them first? I did not meet Fez first. So that is uh, no es bueno, mi amigos. That means there is somebody else to the north. 
and I need to keep an eye out for them. What happened to the A to Z episodes? I don't know what you're talking about. You are the best YouTuber. Thank you, Trenton. I don't agree, but I appreciate the sentiment. Alrighty, let's have a little bit of a scooch around. A scoochy booch. About five turns from getting our first settler off. Beautiful. Good scouting happening. So we have our early game plan. We don't really want to plan more than three cities until we, you know, see a little bit more of the map. I think your first three cities... Oh, Jesus. H. Christ. It did have to be Scythia, didn't it? Well, Scythia is a big threat, so we're going to send her a delegation. And we're going to also sell her our Jade for five gold a turn and nine gold up front. You want to sell off that luxury because that luxury isn't really doing anything for me right now. But now it basically doubled my gold income because I settled on that luxury, which is pretty damn nice in my opinion let's go ahead and pick up that tribal village there we are maxed out on population in our capital because we're not on fresh water so actually an aqueduct is going to be necessary in this city for it to be useful in the long term that's also going to make it so that a harbor is necessary in here as is a granary in order to be able to maintain our population okay <clears throat> Are you back on YouTube stream versus Twitch long term now? Yeah, I think I think I'm going to try experimenting with streaming on YouTube for quite a while and see how that works out for me. All right, there is our settler. Now, I would like to settle the Petra city first for a couple of reasons. However, if I get a city up to the north really quickly, I can kind of block um, Scythia from being able to do anything to me. So what I'll do is I'll move on to this marsh and then next turn with the scouting information from this slinger, I'll make a decision about whether or not I go straight north with this slinger or settler rather, or if I go over here because it doesn't really make a difference to the movement time. Now we are going to go ahead and pick up our holy site. Oh, I should have had to think about whether or not it would have been better to put it here or here, but I'm going to assume that this is a better spot for it. And then delete that pin. Now, do I need to work immediately on my holy site? It would take seven turns. I could get my hands on another settler. This will let me get my Pantheon a little bit quicker, which means when I switch off to craftsmanship, because I don't want to finish foreign trade, if I have a chance to maybe find a thing. Okay. All right, scouting info. So if we think about this, one, two, three, I can block off this entire northern area with a very defensive city right here on this tile if I can get a settler all the way up there. Now that would be one, two, three. Do, do, do. So that would all be locked out. And then if I settle here, that would all be locked out. And then I could place another city on this cattle to sort of provide fire support uh, to this city. So I think in this particular area, situation even though i really want to get this city settled as soon as possible in order to just have a buffer between me and scythia i might send units up north and i'm also going to have to research my potato archers too as soon as i have sailing finished uh cool now how about a canal city on that narrow stretch of land uh, i've already got cities planned i mean i guess in theory i could move this city across to this tile if I really wanted to, which would open up settlement opportunities over here a little bit more. I could maybe settle on this salt, for example. But, yeah, I mean, I guess I could do that. One, two, three. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could settle on this hill instead of here. Is, is that really valuable, though? I guess maybe actually having a canal city does have a lot of value to me here. So I think we will settle here instead. This basically claims all the same tiles, but just kind of shifts exactly where they go. And then I can settle, for example, right here. And then also on the salt, I believe. That's not three tiles, one, two, three. Yeah, that's... So this should all work out just fine for me in terms of the settling plan. So I need to get her on my good side, if at all possible. Or at the very least, I need her to not hate me and not want to go to war with me. Okay, there's our very first barbarian. Let's go ahead and keep heading north. Hey, what's up, VS chap man? Uh, I think the salt settle is better anyway. The salt settle is better, I agree. Potato archers? Yes, that's right. I'm probably not going to go hard for a religion. He said as he goes hard for a religion. Ooh, okay, so that is dangerous stuff right there. 
Now, the loyalty pressure in here will be a little bit of a problem, but we're going to basically try to just get slingers out of this city, which means we will be looking to finish craftsmanship and pump out slingers. Are you drinking whiskey right now? I am not. I don't drink much anymore. I, uh, more or less. I gave it up. Let's keep going. Holy Jesus Christ, we have nearly 900 people watching me. Okay, now, are they coming towards me is the question. All right, we got the Holy Side of Moreau giving us a nice bit of Era Score boost. What I would like to do is to get my hands on some kind of unit to support this in some way. Hmm, I really want the Shrine. I really want to get a Religion, but I'm worried about... You know what, I might settle the Salt first, actually, now that I'm looking at this. Because I actually don't mind if she gets this land up here all that much. And this is, like, really difficult to defend. Whereas if I settled the salt, I have, like, secured my border with her. There's just a little bit of contested land, right? I secure my border with her. I also get access to another copy of salt that I can sell to her to cripple her economy. She'll pay me a bit of money. It's not much, but it doesn't matter because I'm taking money from her for a luxury that I don't care about. And this is a much more defensible position. In fact, I'm probably going to just spam like two slingers in here just so that I have potato archer upgrades uh, to be able to hold off and potentially even maybe kill or take a city here. Now, I could also go for a shrine if I wanted to get my religion faster. I do have passive faith gain, so I can do the government reset exploit here to switch out God King. I'm going to get to work on a shrine or a settler. Shrine or a settler? Shrine or a settler? A settler shrine would secure my religion settler is the better choice that's the difficult thing that we have to do right now <clears throat> she's going for fez try to snipe it um she might not be able to get it considering it has walls but we will definitely look into that as an option moreau is going to need a granary so we'll need to pick that up after archery and then we're also and after we get the granary we'll need a campus uh, this is a really weird map, I agree. It is called uh, Shuffled Fractal, Fractal Shuffle or something, or F F Splintered Fractal. I can't remember what it was called. But let's go ahead and start taking out this barb camp. And we shall... Do I want to work on the shrine? That's the hard thing to decide, is do I want to work on that shrine? The shrine is really, really good. It gives me lots of faith. It gives me my religion more securely. And there are people already working on a religion. So I'm going to go for the shrine. It's a very greedy play, but I think it's a good play. So I'm just going to, like, keep an eye out. Keep swinging here. What Civ do you recommend if you're going for a fast naval victory? Uh, Brazil can do it. Uh, the Dutch can do it. Quite a lot of Civs can actually pull it off. You would be surprised at how many. So if I attack here, as long as this doesn't spawn a Barbarian, I'll be able to promote and then clear it in two turns. I am fond of pig. Okay, that was exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to step to here. And we're going to take the battle cry promotion. Then, I mean, this barbarian could basically kill my entire civil, or this uh, warrior could kill my entire civilization if I'm not careful. Oh, I forgot to do the government reset. We do have a pantheon, religious settlements, perhaps. Okay, we could pick up religion settlements. That would give me another settler, which is very valuable because it means I basically get to have my cake and eat it. I'm building a shrine and getting a settler at the same time. On the other hand, we could go for something a little bit more um, long term. Purchase shrine. I don't have enough money to purchase the shrine. If we go in here and have a look, it's 280 gold. I have only 139. Uh, Indonesia is also a really good naval save. You're right. Uh, settlers and prayers in the holy site. Uh, let's see. Happy moment catching the stream. How's it going, Joseph Blonde? Decky Gamer, potato notice me. I have noticed you, Decky Gamer. El Yardino. Well, what do we have? Uh, where is a potato McWhiskey nickname coming from? <coughs> My name came from me. Uh, so basically, uh, this was maybe 10, 12 years ago. I was playing uh, Battlefield with a friend of mine who uh, I killed. I killed him and he was really, really angry at me. So he tried to racist, like, think of the most like racist name you could think of for an Irish person. And he called me uh, a potato whiskey bastard because I killed him in Battlefield. And then I like immediately went into like the game settings and changed my name to potato whiskey and continued to kill him all night. It was a great time. And that's where I got the name from. And I have worn it ever since. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. 
What is the A to Z challenge? The A to Z challenge is basically playing every civilization in the game A to Z order, winning on DD difficulty. Let's see, the Divine Spark. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bam, plus one great person point. This could be nice. Haven't decided on how we're going to win. Probably will be some kind of passive victory, like science or something. Lady of the Reeds and Marshes, maybe. Lady of the Reeds and, Reeds and Marshes doesn't look so great for my current positioning. We, we do have a few marshes, but I, pr I think marshes are better if you chop them. So I'm thinking the Free Settler is just always, like, such value to get a Free Settler. It basically catches you up with the Deity AI. And I'm, I'm really having a hard time. Like, I really, really like um, River Goddess, but I don't have that many rivers in my empire. Was he English? No, he was American. <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. fishing boat fishing boat production is always cool on this kind of naval map but I think ultimately I, th I really do think religious settlements is just like the best choice now the problem with religious settlements uh, is that there is I can't actually clear this barb camp because there's a scout wandering around in the fog of war who might decide to take my settler if I clear the barb camp scouts only become aggressive when you clear their barb camp so that's something worth considering. So I'm going to take a moment here and just see if I can sneak the settler over unescorted and uh, see if that just works out for me. So I'm hoping I what I should have done this turn. Right, I have the next turn screen, a little exploit for you guys. If you don't know, you can click on uh, a civic that you have already researched. And since I have already researched Code of Laws, I click on that. And then the game tells me to choose my civic. But then if I press shift and enter, it will force the turn to end. And the game will think that I finished a civic, which will allow me to switch my government for free. Without having to pay the money. It is one of my favorite exploits. Let's go ahead and finish off craftsmanship. Yes. T is only just okay. That's right, Burke Anya. Send Settler North. I'm not going to send the Settler North because I want to get this Petra City established as soon as possible because this city needs to grow and do all sorts of great stuff. How do you feel about City Patron Goddess? I think it's a very weak pantheon. Hey, 1,000 viewers. Hey, Helga Torp, new member. Thank you so much, Helga Torp, for becoming a member of the channel. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, I didn't know that's how it worked. Good tip with the scout, I mean. Hey, we actually found Canada. As well, yeah, well, I would like to sample your hospitality. Now, I need to be careful about this scout. Ooh, it's going to be close. He might actually steal my settler. Huh. <laughs> might have to delete the, the stream VOD if he comes down here and takes my... Okay, no, no, he went back, so I'm fine. All right. <laughs> I was going to be like, oh, quick, delete the VOD. Don't tell anyone how I live. So I'm feeling less pressured than I thought. I still will get the sec the third slinger. And now I'm feeling very safe to clear this barb camp because the scout is not in threat range of my settler. And then we can just get, get, get around to like clearing all this out. There's craftsmanship boosted. We're about to get the shrine up. We are currently a little bit behind on great profit generation. Not a big deal. Then we can go ahead and pick up. I'd like to get state workforce. I'd like to get my government plaza nice and early. The earlier I get that, the better. I'd also like to pick up some wonders. So this card would work out really nicely for me. Could go for military tradition. Trying to think about what I want to do. Might be a good idea to come in here and plug. Uh, well, I'm... I could plug in a GOG, which would be nice, but I am also fighting here. But this guy doesn't actually need the Discipline promotion to survive there, so I will plug in a GOG. That'll let me finish this Slinger slightly faster. Do you lose the one culture when you do this trick? Uh, no, you save your culture. You actually get to keep the culture when you do the culture trick. If you go for culture win, uh, should spies steal great works of gold? Gold, and then you use that gold to purchase archaeological museum and archaeologists. <clears throat> uh, why back to YouTube? Uh, because basically, all right, so the simple version is um, uh, I was I had like a Patreon, I had like a Twitch channel, I had a YouTube channel, and I had all this stuff going on, and I was like, people were always asking me, well, which, you know, should I support you on YouTube? Should I support you on Twitch? Where should I help you out and like be a part of this, you know, content creation journey that you're on? And like, the, I didn't know what the answer was. So then I was like, I'm tired of not having an answer to this question. So I said, what the hell? I'm just going to stream on YouTube. I'm just going to stream on YouTube. I'm going to delete my Patreon. I'm going to roll that into YouTube, YouTube membership. That way... The answer to that question is, you just find me on YouTube. Uh, and it also makes my life easier. It makes people who want to follow me. It makes it so much easier. If you want to see me live streaming, you check YouTube. If you want to see the video I put out, you check YouTube. If you want to give me the money, 
you go to YouTube memberships. You want to give me super chats. It, it just like simplifies the entire conversation. Now there is a risk, right? Because I'm invested in one platform, but you know. Did you remember to send Canada a delegation? I did not. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, oh well. Okay, so we got our shrine in here. Now, how important is a religion to us? I would say that a religion is pretty important to me this game. I would like to get that. So I'm going to do at least one holy site prayer just to make sure that I can secure a religion a little bit better. It'll take up four turns of production in our capital, which would ideally be put towards a settler or a builder or something like that. But I think it's okay to do. Now, over here in Shat, <laughs> over in Shahat, or, or I don't know how to pronounce the city's name, we are going to be working on what? Hello from in Indonesia. Hello, Ivan. Uh, good to see you. Now, do I want to get a builder or do I want to build a holy site? Do I want to get a scout? Do I want to get military units? I think I'm okay on military units. I'm feeling pretty secure for many barbarian shenanigans. So I think I could safely grab myself a builder in here. The alternative is to slowly build a monument in here, which will allow it to grow and capture tiles, which is essentially a gold boost because I'm going to need to buy these tiles. Otherwise, um, I think we'll get the builder. The builder works out really nicely for me. Now, when do I get my Nubian Pyramids? So this will be a major victory for me. And I kill this guy. So that's like, if, if, if you're wondering how do you kill like a barb camp when you're up against multiple things, just kind of like very carefully navigate the terrain and you'll be fine. Uh, okay. So we have our two slingers holding off. We're going to be getting our third slinger. Then we'll be able to take three Patati archers. Maybe go up here, start a war with her, get her to give me some gold or something. We'll see about that. How can you work on what if you have not researched it yet? Wait, what? I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, is production saving still a thing? No, production saving is gone. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, Lydia names. What happened to Alexander? I missed the beginning of the stream. I <laughs> completely forgot to... I was doing the A to Z challenge and I accidentally skipped Alexander and I was like, I'm not restarting the stream for Alexander. Is Norway finally good as a September update? They're okay. They're decent. Uh, hello from Argentina. Hello, Joe Lujan. Deity. Yes, this is Deity difficulty, of course. Always assume that I'm playing on DVD difficulty. Hello from Connecticut, the most advanced state in the world. Okay. So, looks like she is coming for my booty. Uh, we are two turns away from getting our potato archers, which is kind of unfortunate timing on that, because she's probably going to declare the war a turn before I'm ready, which is un in ideal. I do have the gold saved up to get those potato archers, so we're well defended there. We've completed the slinger. I might go for a fourth potato archer. Is that what I want to do? A fourth potato, ar potato archer seems pretty good to me. Uh, build a gallery, galley and be the first to meet all civilizations. Yeah, I will build a galley, but right now I'm far more concerned with uh, what is coming down the pipeline in the form of uh, Scythia. You can see the Scythia is bringing an army down here to uh, start causing me issues. Right now we have 29 out of 60, so I think one more holy side prayer will secure me a religion. And that'll be all we need to invest into getting a religion. Ted McWhiskey, hey dude, yesterday I won my first DD game at Scott's and it was all because of you, thank you. Uh, Philip, did you post in my Discord? I think I saw your message. Thank you so much. If it indeed was you. Hello from Scotland. Lou May, hope we join you guys in the EU soon. If you're going to start a war with City, you might want to do it soon. Get their unique pretty early. Yeah, yeah, I get my unique unit pretty early and so does she. She's actually coming down here to start a war on me right now. You can see the units coming out of the fog of war. But I have already secured my upgraded units. Now... When do I unlock the Nubian Pyramid? Because that is... Oh, I don't get it in time. I was hoping that I could maybe get a Golden Age. I can't remember when I unlocked the Nubian Pyramid. Is it at Masonry? Yeah, it's Masonry. Got it. Action is coming. Yes, it is. Uh, you should get the fourth slinger. I'm working on the fourth slinger right now. Uh, it is now Patati Archer. Do you have a Discord? I do indeed have a Discord. It should be linked in the description of this Twitch stream. Right? Is there a description? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hey, I'm from Scotland too. High five to whoever that was. Yes, yes. Meet with each other and be friends. Uh, so I think I want to declare war on Scythia just to kind of trim down her army, honestly. Uh, so we're going to declare a surprise war on her. Uh, now this will cut my income significantly. But we're basically doing this just to kind of start ripping through her army and promoting our... Our, our archers to start doing a whole bunch of damage to her. Call every city Alexandria in the honor of Alexander the Forgotten. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'll think about that one. 
We can do a cheeky thing. All right, there's the classical error. We did just get a normal age, which is not perfect. I could go for Exodus the Evangelist. I could also go for Free Inquiry. I think I'll go for Exodus because I am going to be getting a religion. Step up onto the hill. And we're going to just very slowly approach Scythia. And mainly we're looking to thin out her army and kind of just get her to waste her time building units with my Putati archers, which are far superior to her horse archers. Kill Scythia with potatoes. You said Twitch stream, you were on YouTube. When did I say Twitch stream? <clears throat> I, I, I switched. I now stream on the YouTube. Alrighty, so we're thinning out her army already. She's still building units. She has nearly 500 military strength. Holy Sight completed. Holy Sight prayers completed in Moreau. We're 10 turns away from getting uh, our thingy because we're getting two great people points per turn. Dido, more like... Oh, okay. Uh, do you know what victory type you're going for? I haven't made the decision yet. Do the one, t one tile city challenge after this. The one tile city challenge? Canada will be pretty mad. That's okay. I'm not actually going to do anything to Scythia other than like declare war on her and kill her units and then maybe damage her cities and get her to like give me peace and maybe I'll steal a settler if I can or something like that. But I'm, I'm going to basically... I'm just going to war to try and like weaken her. I'm not trying to actually kill her. Let's see here. So we have Temple of Artists, Monument, Patati Archers... I think Settlers make sense right now. Then we can swing back for Early Empire. Actually, if I'm going to do something... If I'm going to get a Monument, now is the time to get it over a Settler. And the reason being is if I get that Monument early enough, it'll get me up to Political Philosophy early enough to take advantage of the Settler uh, card thingy that allows you to... Bum, 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 not the Settler card, the Ancestral Hall building. Five turns for a Religion. Yep, we shall get ourselves a Religion pretty quick all right so we are going to take an archer shot here which is far from ideal but it's fine these like units running around here are a pain in the ass in my opinion okay now that we have that done i'm going to get to work on the government plaza in here government plaza harbor yep that looks good to me so government plaza right there i want to build the government plaza in a city that's forward because it's most likely to get the loyalty pressure as well as i just need the government plaza to get the governor title also i should probably have picked up one of these guys by now completely forgot about that am i going to go for magnus this game magnus is the best um so i think we will go for pingala right we want to go for pingala pingalo ping pingaloo 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 I'm going to put Pingala in the capital to start maximizing how much research and stuff like that we get. Okay, we'll step forward here. A step forward here. We'll kill that archer. We should be able to... T oh, I'm really annoyed that that didn't die. Okay. It's bad news. Bad news, bears. Now that we have sort of our basic early game stuff, we're going to want to pick up Celestial Navigation. But I really need to get riding first. So I think I'll pick up riding. Now getting this city up to enough population to be able to support the districts that I wanted to is going to be difficult. So I'm kind of tempted to go for the granary instead. Oh right, I have two luxuries I can sell to Canada. That is definitely something I should be doing. You'll pay me four gold per turn. You'll pay me everything. You'll even give me open borders. So you'll give me everything for these. Beautiful. So that'll help out a little bit. I'll have plenty of gold coming in. Now the builder over here is finished. What do I want to improve? I think ideally I would improve both of these crabs tiles because that would give me some housing. I need to figure out how to get housing in Moreau. Let's have a look at the tiles that we are working. Okay, those are fine. Should probably have gone for Magnus in the capital to be able to chop out the pyramids. When I finish the government plaza, I'll probably swap, swap those in. Let's go ahead and grab... What are we going to improve? with this builder. I think it would be good to improve the cattle. That'll give me the boost towards horseback riding since that counts as a pasture. Uh, da, 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 da. This place does not need a granary. It doesn't need a holy site. I'm going to secure religion without that. I would like to build galleys, which means I think I'm going to swap out this card for... Oh, I don't have that card yet. I'll get foreign trade and I'll swap that card in. But yeah, I, now I feel safe to build a galley or two. Uh, got any tips for people who want to start playing on DD? Uh, really, just kind of do it and, um, you know, like just, just play on DD and learn f and try to learn from your mistakes. That's really the sort of what I did. Oh my god, that flood timing was insane. 
Now, we do have promotions on some of these guys. I'm going to have you step back. You're going to step forward. Those are horsey men. The horseman is a big threat, so let's kind of put some shots into him. These uh, city-state units are an issue. Okay, so we're, gonna, we're probably going to fall back here. We're on very bad terrain against a very large army. Um, so we'll kind of just start taking some steps back here. I think it's safe to step forward with you. Step back with you. Shoot there. You shoot there. We're cutting them down piece by piece. So we're in a pretty dangerous spot here, but I'm, I'm not too worried about it. We're basically just trying to cut down her army. Let's keep exploring down here. As a Canadian, I demand a delegation to be sent. Okay, fine. When he stops, well, when he's no longer unfriendly, I will send him a delegation. There's foreign trade. We can get a trader now. I would like to be trading with Fez, plus I'd get a trade route up through here. Um, I do have the gold. I'm thinking of doing pasture, which give me horseback riding, and then these two um, crab tiles. That's going to be expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's expensive in terms of gold, but I think it's worth it to do. There's our religion secured. Beautiful. We shall found the religion of... Uh, what are we going to do with our religion? Um, let's see. Uh, test religion. Oh, Jesus Christ. Test religion. Please ignore. And we shall use the elephant. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> when you click on the thing. Test religion. Please ignore. When you click on a new symbol, it deletes your old message. Wow, what a spawn. I know, it's a bit of an odd spawn. Uh, right, so... We have to make some decisions here about what we want to do in terms of... Hey, click, Clickety-Clack just became a new member. Thank you so much, Clickety-Clack. I don't know why the little thing didn't play. Potatoes. There it is. Boil em, mash em, stick em in a stew. Boil em, mash em, stick em in a stew. Thank you so much, dude. Rip Alex, what do I want to do? Don't forget Alexander. Oh, don't forget Alexander? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. What symbol? There we go. I'll do the fish. Don't forget Alexander. <laughs> Continue the good work. Hope these videos will go on YouTube. They will. Potato, let chat decide. Potato, you guys already did decide. Alexander, the Forgotten's Cult, a Jesuit. Uh, man, I don't really like Jesuit education because there's so many good things to spend your faith on. <clears throat> I don't like work ethic either because it's just kind of weak. If it was 2%, it would be amazing. Um, religion should be Alexander, the Forgive Me. Uh, Church of Safe Streams, enough of the fireworks already. Choral music. So you skip theater squares? That is an option. Choral music is really nice for that, be for being able to skip theater squares. That's the real power of choral music. It's actually probably not the strongest, but one of the strongest uh, religion beliefs. I'm going to take choral music because it's incredibly powerful. Then I might take church property. Because that just gives me gold. It, lets me, it gives me a way to transmute my faith into gold. And gold is a little bit more useful than faith. So these are, this is like, this is like what I would call the metagame religion. This is, this is like no, no theme to it. It's just like, these beliefs are individually good. <laughs> Don't forget Alexander is the true path of salvation. Please ignore all the other ones. Religious community, you don't want, you don't have any fresh water. Uh, I'll be fine without fresh water. I have a lot of coastline that I'll be able to build um, harbors with, and harbors will make up for fresh water over the course of the game. We are going for the naval air strategy, although we are kind of flubbing it a little bit. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take the heal on you. We're going to go for a volley. We're mainly looking to kill land units here. You're going to take a shot, and you're going to take a shot. And then you're going to take volley as well. So we're starting to rip through these units. I'm also tempted to declare war on Fez just to kill its units because they keep getting in my way. All right, looking good. You have Fez, which gives signs for religious con conversion, I'm pretty sure. I do have Fez, which is a way to convert my faith into science, which is really, really powerful. Okay, so if I step forward one more time. Okay, that was really bad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Step you to here, step you to here, shoot that. I wish I could cross this river, I cannot. It's just very awkward terrain, thanks to the Fez running around. 
then you're going to come over here and start improving these because I want to get two of these online, which will give me the boost for celestial navigation. And I want to get my harbor up pretty early this game. Looks like we cannot circumnavigate around, although there is land here to the south. A little bit awkward right now just it's like very 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 awkward uh, i'm very scared to cross this river because if i cross the river i won't be able to move afterwards but at the very least i can start threatening her cities um which should maybe make her panic a bit okay there is the monument in this capital city ideally working on settlers now is the right move i have two settling spots that i'd like to get kind of cleared up I'm going to need a governor title to be able to occupy that city to keep it safe. Let's go ahead and pick up settlers. Three turns away from the settlement card. I totally forgot to plug in the boat card. I will very quickly... Let me just double check. I have no more units that need movement. Okay, I'll very quickly swap my government. Completely, somebody somebody actually reminded me in chat to change this, and I just completely Life forgot. All right, there's the library campus. Swing up here, early empire, bada bum, political philosophy. Then we come in here, we switch out a GOG for maritime industries, because we're trying to get a couple of naval units out. We're trying to get a couple of naval units out to be able to get shipbuilding boost. We're also working on celestial navigation with this builder over here. He's coming over to improve these two tiles. In terms of technology, I really want to get celestial navigation now, I think, now is the time to get it. It's going to be how I get the majority of my gold this game. I'm really scared to step forward too much. I really want to pillage that commercial hub. I'm going to start stepping forward just very kind of cautiously. I have four archers. Really what I'm looking to do here is to kill his units and pillage, uh, pillage her tiles, rather. Okay, there's the government plaza. Now, in this city... I can do what? Well, we have a lot of tiles that we can improve. We have things that we could work on. I really do want a trader, actually. Getting a trader would give me the boost towards currency as well. Let's see. I'll be able to get a missionary here in not too long. I need to listen to El Gato Loco more. I feel like choral music and church property, 80% of my games. Does anything that needs to work religiously like the pantheons? I would actually be... See, look, she's willing to give me a ton of gold. And what I'm looking for is I want her to give me much, 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 much more stuff. So uh, basically, so how, how like demanding peace deals work is you basically build up kind of like a war score. But there's like a war score mechanic in the game. Although I don't call that a war score mechanic. Basically, you build up like damage you've done to someone's civilization. And once you do enough damage they will uh, sort of be willing to concede, give you concessions. So if we just continue doing damage to her, killing her units and all that sort of stuff, she can be stuff. Now we have nice gold tiles. I really want to get the harbor up here. We're working in the harbor. Bada bang, bada boom. Happy days. Tile wise, looking good. I'm happy with these tiles that it's working. They're not ideal. It's kind of, this is actually a very bad start. I will, in most, my, if I was doing this for single player, I would probably have reset this. Luxuries like air conditioning that okay, there is the Early land. Empire. With air? Now, Early Empire, we're going to plug in Colonization. Okay, I can keep this archer alive. Now, that's a lot of horsemen. I don't want to be... So, here's what I want to do. I'm going to step you to here. I'm going to sh shoot that guy I'm going to step you to here and shoot that guy I'm going to step you onto this rainforest tile and shoot that guy and then I should be able to kill him like that now she's starting to become extremely unhappy being at war like if we go in here and offer her peace she's willing to give us more and more every turn that should go by as I do more and more damage to her the question is do I want to go for Magnus here if I go for Magnus, I should be able to get a builder in Sedanga, chop out a whole bunch of stuff in here, and then look towards stuff. Alternatively, I could promote Pingala and get a huge amount of science, which will make up for the fact that I'm delaying my campuses. So I think I'm going to go for that. Allow like It's only four science per turn, but that's like nearly doubling our science per turn, right? So I think that's a significant boost, and that's going to make 
stuff like celestial navigation come much quicker especially now that we got the boost for it and it kind of makes up for the fact that i'm delaying my campus now in terms of where i want to place my harbor i'm going to place the harbor here and the reason i'm placing it here is because it will just be adjacent to a lot more stuff Hey, Potato, planning on playing on my first DD game today? I usually play an Emperor. What save would you recommend? Uh, Rome is a really good, sort of easy save to play on high difficulty. Make sure you check how many Envoy City has on Fez. That's a good point, actually. They usually don't have enough. I can't tell. Influenced by Tamiris. She has one here. This could go really bad for me if she flips um, Fez. Now this archer took a ton of damage. And I can't get into the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to step you back. There's a movement cost of two. You're going to shoot that guy. You're going to come up here. And you're going to screen. Oh my word. That is a lot of horsemen. All right. So we killed another horseman. What kind of piece would she look at? I don't think I can survive a f many more turns being at war with her. She's in really bad shape. She's even giving me diplomatic favor. Um... Let me think, can I survive another turn at war with this lady? Rivers. I gotta I gotta check how much river movement costs. So here's the thing. Um if this horseman crosses the river and attacks here, and this horseman comes here and attacks here, I lose a unit. So there is a potential for me to lose a unit this turn. So it would be intelligent for me to piece her out. right now i've done a bit of damage to her i didn't get to loot any infrastructure but my units are hurt so i think i think now i'm going to piece her out and that'll mean we're at peace and she can't declare war on me i'm going to extract value out of this now, i could take both of her luxuries but i think i'd rather take the diplomatic favor because i can transmute that into gold by trading with um what's his name wilfred so i'm going to take the piece here there is peace and now we could just chill out for a bit. She has no funds though. Maybe go, maybe her troops will disband. Ah, no, basically, so what I, basically the goal is achieved. Basically what I was trying to do was to thin out her army and just do economic damage to her. And I think we've achieved that goal. So we don't need to be at war with her anymore, especially since we're now risking potentially losing units. So now I'm just going to retreat back down here and uh, sort of keep doing what I'm doing. First galley is finished. I definitely want to get two galleys for the tech boost. Unit needs orders over here. All right, great. So we've done some scouting. We are gonna have to do some naval settling i think this game i'm gonna avoid settling down here in the tundra i'm gonna ideally look for naval settles so probably go celestial navigation into shipbuilding to be able to embark boo no peace uh well i mean peace is like objectively the best move uh, in the situation i was in i feel and i feel like i explained my rationale for going to peace pretty clearly but if we ever do go to war again we'll have pretty upgraded units in defensive terrain if she decides to come at me in 10 turns Now we can also go in here and extract some value from her by offering open borders. Uh, do I want to do open borders? She might even give me some horses. No, she won't. She wants those horses really bad. Okay, let's go ahead and get you in position over here to go exploring to the east. The fact that she can't thin army is still huge. Yeah, that's true, but I thinned it out. I thinned it out and, and did some damage to her, right? So, um, even if it's not, like, perfect, it's better than the situation we were in. And it's better than if she had attacked me. Uh, Potato, you can block the north with your archers in case she brings a settler forward. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, I might look to try and block these tiles with my archers so that I can maybe get a settler up here. Although it's looking harder and harder to settle here with the loyalty pressure. So I might just leave that to her and then look to settle islands instead. Hey, what's up, Malawani Pro? Can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? It's a good song. What about the Pyramid and Petra? Oh, we'll work on those. They're just not priorities. The AI is usually pretty slow to pick up Pyramids and Petra. And if they do pick them up, I'm not going to lose sleep about it. 
I forgot there was a um, barbarian scout there. All right, looks like she declared war on Fez, which is cool because I can be kind of obnoxious. Okay, galleys lose to quadrireems unless you have the combat card plugged in and they get the first attack. I'm only going to get the first attack here, but I do have a city that I can safely retreat to without any problems. So I'm going to take the free experience and just kind of thin out that galley or that quadrireem rather. I'm going to... Stay here. I'll give this archer a pathway. It might be better actually to block the archer off. We'll see. So there's a bit of nonsense going on here. Classical era, celestial navigation. Beautiful. So we can get to work on the harbor once the city hits four pop, which it has. That's going to be a priority in here. We won't work on it just yet. I want to finish that settler first because I want to get this fourth city settled. First trader is finished. We'll teleport this trader over to Moreau so we can trade with Fez. So we get a nice long road up through here. You can get attacks for free in the city. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of quadrireams. Okay, um, we have our government plans done. We have five turns worth of production in here that we can do. I think we'll just work on a third galley. There's enough enemy barbarian ships out here to justify it. Uh, I assume it's 8-8. Eight, 8-8 eight. Eight, eight what? Uh, is it possible to go to production exploit? No, the production exploit has been fixed. I had a silly idea. Add Fortress Assault to the Snow Petra. It's patched. Steel Fez. Snatch it from her. Um, ideally, I would just like declare war on her in... Uh, four turns and help Fez survive and just keep Fez alive. I don't want I don't want to actually own Fez. I want Fez to be around. Also, completely forgot that I should purchase a missionary. Spread my religion. If I can get my passive religion spread going, it'll be quite good. Especially since it is worth two error score to convert a city. So I'm going to swing up here and see if I can convert. And maybe even I, if I can convert a city at war, that would be an interesting thing to get going. I think I'm going to try to block this archer from Nubia, from um, from Scythia being able to get to to it, and that'll just kind of help Fez on the defense. We're also kind of choking up the landscape, just making it awkward for the AI. What is the A to Z challenge? The A to Z challenge is winning uh, a game as every single civilization from A to Z. Um, skip. I accidentally skipped Alexander. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> huh. Okay. That is a bit of an awkward spot for that to happen. Now, I really want to... I'd love to start building districts in here. It would be really, really nice to be able to get extra food. The city is not being able, being fed very well. So the granary in here makes sense. It's going to need a lot of food. So it is 65 production for a granary. That would give me plus one food, plus two housing. Or it is 97 production for a harbor, which will give me plus two gold, as well as more food and housing down the road. So I think the harbor is the better investment here. As much as I'd like to do other things. You're hanging on. Let's trade with Fez because we want that road. So this archer is now in bad shape. That's okay. We kept it alive an extra turn. Don't forget, don't forget Alexander, A to Z. This should passively convert on its own. I'd rather get the religion spread pushing to the north go ahead and take the volley promotion we want to do damage to land units over anything else if you can defeat your enemy's land army you should be able to make your way through their cities it's the kind of logic that i like to use now we're in a bit of an awkward spot because there's a lot of cavalry here and i want to declare war on her so let's see if we can't get into slightly more advantaged terrain like so Oh my sweet Jesus Christ, that's a lot of quadrireams. What is going on there? <laughs> the trade route is over water. Oh no. Did it really go over water? 
Damn it, I was hoping it would go up through here. I saw like a road thing. I thought it would. Oh, it's all right. Not a big deal. Potato, are you blind? I am. That was a water route. It's okay. I saw I, I saw like a little road and I was like, yeah, that's my road thing. It's okay. It's not a big deal. We'll uh, we'll fix that later. Okay. Uh, we want to settle here. Then we want to work on a... I'd like to get a galley out here to be able to scout, which means we should reset our government... Reset our government so that we can do things. Yeah, yeah, reset. I thought A to Z was for civs. I do it by leader name. Because that's the list, that's the order they're listed in, in the browser thing. Okay, we reset our government. We're not building settlers right now. We're going to plug in urban planning. We are still building boats. Shumfaduda. Okay, we can declare war in one turn. Let's have you. Positioned in defensive terrain. These horsemen are going to be hard to beat. Which I would have liked to have built more potato archers, but the fact of the matter is that I had to like... You should be able to attack and then retreat for a heal, right? No, you won't make it. Governor title, I know, okay, relax. I just unlocked the thing. I don't, like, here's the thing. I could get the governor title. It would give me connoisseur, right? I don't need culture right now. Culture doesn't really do a whole lot for me. And having this just sitting here is fine because it leaves me open to options. So, for example, I can pick up Magnus, right? Like, sitting on a governor title is actually fine. Because I can make the decision if I want to go for Magnus, if I want to go for Liang. Whereas if I just use it now, then I might find myself in a situation. Whereas, like, if I get the extra culture, it doesn't really do a lot for me. Um, like, it gets me some of these things a little bit quicker. But I'm not really pushed for that. Maybe I want to get Victor to be able to defend this city easier, right? And by sitting on this, I kind of give myself the ability to pick up another governor if I need to. Whereas if I actually use it then I, I, I can't make I, I can't make that decision anymore. Like it, it's I've used up that opportunity. What do you do when the AI is killing all your suzerains? Uh, you cry yourself to sleep and because uh, you can't really do much about it. All right, so we don't forget Alexander has been converted here. That can be two era score. I could promote this. This wouldn't be terrible. Like it wouldn't be a terrible move. But I really want Magnus. So that I can get a builder in here. And do what? Do what with a builder? Get a builder in here. Chop out the political philosophy building. And then go for settlers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to appoint Magnus. Put it into Dainga. So I can start chopping some of this stuff. How much for a builder? 215 gold. I might be able to swing that. Let's go ahead and talk to Canada. I have that 13 diplomatic favor. What would you give me for this? So you would actually give me all six gold for like 11 or 10. So if I give you 12 diplo favor, you'll give me six gold per turn. Seems good. So I've basically crippled the economies of these guys. Now, next turn, we will potentially look to declare war on Scythia. Because we can get some free unit kills. Hey, Potato, I used to hate your voice, but I'm absolutely hooked on your content. And I love your thick, majestic voice. Thank you very much. Uh, your people need room to grow. There's plenty of ocean that we can use. I'm not really concerned about that. That's not a problem. So, Scythia has some grievances against us. Let's see. No Cass's belly. I'm tempted to declare another surprise war. Here's the danger, though. Well, she's still at war with Fez, right? Yeah, she's still at war with Fez. So she has to fight me and Fez, which is a big advantage because she has to kind of walk through here. And this is all really undefensive terrain. And I have really highly promoted archers. So I think this is the right move is to declare another surprise war on her. And just like start again, thinning her army. Now we are in a little bit of a worse position 
than we were, were, were in when we declared the first version of this war. But if we swing up this way, we can get a lot of damage on her units, no problem. So this is this is an issue, all these quadrireams floating around. You'll be able to take a promotion. Uh, so no, Petromids, I mean, we will, right? It's just, we have other priorities. Like, I mean, you have to ask yourself, at what point in the game have I had an opportunity to go for these things? And none, I have no opportunity. I have to deal with the things that are happening in front of me. If I just go blindly for the thing that I want to go for, I'm going to end up crippled and dead. Like, that's just what happens in Civ. So you have to really focus on the things. You have to really focus on, like, dealing with the situations that are in front of you rather than trying to go for the things that you really want to go for. Okay, in terms of government here, autocracy is great, especially if I want to swing over for government. So again, the thinning out army doesn't really work, I think. I, I mean, it's objectively, objectively working because she has literally no economy right now. Like, look at her gold. We've crippled her um, to an extent that is, like, kind of ridiculous, actually. Look, look at her army size. She has the same... She has less army than Wilfred. She she doubles her units. She has a tiny army. Look at her science. Look at her culture. Look at her gold. We, we've crippled her from doing this. Which means we don't have to worry about her. Um, uh, because she makes... Da -da -da. No, no. No, no. It works. I, I, I just demonstrated that it works. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let us pick up mysticism. Aren't you going to build walls? Why would I need walls? They're not attacking my cities. <laughs> if you attack them, they can't attack your cities and you're fine. So, if I go to here, yeah, this is fine. We'll have two galleys coming out next turn, or two galleys ready to fight. Choose civic. Hmm. Die to my archers and to Fez. Now I'm thinking theology could be a good sort of follow-up to this. If I wanted to do a bit of a faith-based play, it would be a great way to get extra culture. The alternative would be to swing up for defensive tactics into early feudalism. I think I think I like going for the extra culture here from theology. I think having a strong culture game is pretty decent. Let's settle this city. Yeah, we'll delete the woods. That's fine. Now, Kawa has very little in the way of growth, but it has a great tile for... Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It has a great tile. Actually, you know what? There's an amazing campus, right? Well, not amazing, but it's a really decent campus. So if we felt like we needed the science to stay relevant, and um, I do feel like we kind of do need to get that science, but I don't have a way to get it efficiently right now. The granary would give me lots of housing and growth, and I think the granary is the right move because it'll let me work more tiles, especially since this is not on freshwater, so granary is the right move there. What is the A to Z challenge? Play every civilization uh, from A to Z and win a game on deity difficulty. That is the entire challenge. Hello, catapult. Let me just be very careful in the way that I move. Okay. Kill the catapult. Beautiful. Look at that. Her army is just getting murdered. She wasted all of her units on Fez. Uh, Kawa means river in Japan. I feel dumb now. I've looked through the options multiple times, but I could never find it. Uh, what are you looking for? You don't need a mod? Yeah, it's in UI options, right? Go to options, interface. Then you go here. Show yields in hood ribbon. Click this. Set it to always show. Or show on mouse over. If you put it on show on mouse over, then it'll, like, you just put your mouse over it. Bum, 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 bum. I play it. Honestly, I get that question so much, I genuinely was tempted to turn it off so people would stop asking. <laughs> Change my government? Did I forget? Oh, I totally forgot. I was talking about... I got distracted. Um, bum, 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 bum. I will do that next turn. Hold on. Okay, we got a galley in here so we can do a bit of exploration. We want to attack with this guy. 
and then kill with this guy. There's bronze working. That got me an envoy with Fez. We want to do damage with this guy. So we completed the galley. We need a granary in here. The city is growth locked. We also need a builder in here. I could purchase the builder, so we'll work on the granary. Uh, we got a galley in here. I want to get the harbor up. We can delete that pin now. Uh, will the footage be available on YouTube VOD? So basically what I'm going to be doing is... Um, so, brief explanation of how YouTube works. Um, if people see a video that is uh, currently one hour long, uh, this final stream will probably be like six to seven hours long, that'll just show up in your YouTube feed like a normal video. Nobody's going to click on a seven hour long video, okay? Unless you're insane and you're specifically looking to watch a VOD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the full VOD in the sort of hidden members area of my YouTube. You pay $2 a month and you get access to all the members videos. It's just a way to like not just delete them off my channel and still give people a way to access them. And then I'll take the raw footage. I'll edit that down into like an hour long video or something. So people who normally watch the channel but miss, miss the live stream get to see all the good bits. But if they really want to, they can go watch the full thing. So that's the plan. Don't know if it's going to work, but it's what I'm going to do. Spread our religion to there. Oh, shoot. I forgot. To, all right. Uh, if you accident, if you're in the middle of a turn and you spam click on a thing that you've already researched in the civic tree, it can sometimes, okay, not when a disaster pop up, but it can sometimes trigger a government reset. I don't want to spend the gold on that. So, damn it. I can't believe I didn't pull that off. But and that actually works. And I don't know how to prove it to you because I've done it before. Oh, when you're stuck at work? Yeah. It, like, I mean, if you're stuck at work, then you have a job and you can afford to play the, pay the $2 a month, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, that's tornadoes. I don't like tornadoes. Let us deal with... Fez is now following my religion. Beautiful. Let's come to here. Shoot this guy. You have a promotion already. Uh, I want to kill this, but I also want to promote. I'll, ki I'll prioritize killing. Let me just be careful about how I go about this turn. Okay, now I'm at end turn. What I do is I click here. I click on a civic I already researched. I press shift enter. And I'll be able to switch my government. Can't wait to see a good Georgia game, Kappa. Tornado outbreak. Yeah. Oh! Jesus. Uh, one trick for tornadoes is if you actually stand on the t tile that the tornado is on, it can't do damage to you. A bit weird, but it is what it is. Right. I want to get a promotion on you. We'll take her, take that out. Truthfully, I really wish Venice was in the game. Is she even attacking you? Uh, no, she's panicking. She's trying to run away. She sees my units are really scary and is just like trying to run away. Um, so that's because her army is, she feels threatened. So she's trying to hide, basically. Go here. We reset our government. I accidentally forgot to change this. I think I'm going to go for Classical Republic because it's the best government for Sim City. So there is, we can now plug in the settler card and the builder card, and we can plug in the. Do, 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 do. Well, do I want. Actually, this card could be worth a lot of gold to me. I'll take two influence per turn towards earning envoys. Really want to be Susan of you. But now I have my religion coming. Okay, there's Islam to the north. Who founded Islam? Was it Wilfred Laurier? Unknown player founded Islam. Okay, that's interesting. Are we going to kill Scythia now? No, I have no plans to kill Scythia. Not with this army. I just built these units to hold Scythia back. I So I prefer not to go to war in my games. So usually I build an army purely for deterrence or just to cripple someone. I, I feel like it, I feel like the game is too easy if you go to war, basically. There is um, I hate that I use the exploits as if it was needed to win. And eternity. It's more just educational. It's not necessary. And um, so that really just comes down to like the philosophy of playing to win like um a person who plays to win believes that there is no unethical strategy right 
like within the confines of the game. Like if the game allows me to do this, I will do it if it increases my chances to win. And so that's why exploits are okay. And it is up to the developers to fix it or for me to self-impose for a specific challenge. Otherwise, I'm just not showing people the most effective way to win. Uh, right. So now we can finally come back and maybe think about getting pyramids and stuff. We got ourselves a builder. The leader UI, the leader UI is available in the base game to anybody uh, who owns the game. You just go in here, you go to options, in the top right, options, bam, you go into interface, show yields in hood ribbon. I swear to God, they need to do a PSA or turn that on by default. Um, also, people, read your goddamn patch notes, okay? <laughs> they said it in the patch notes. All right, so there is Buenos Aires. Beautiful. That got me. Uh, I was the first to meet them. So that's plus two production of the capital, which will help when we're building the thingy. Will you take that city at, at least? No, I'm not going to take any cities. Uh, I don't think... I, I don't think... Taking cities is too easy. It's too easy to win the game doing it. All right, so now we have a predocument. Okay, so best chance of survival for this guy is to come into the forest. Let me shoot here for the level up. We'll shoot here to kill. Shoot here to kill. And then you're going to shoot here to kill. Okay, brilliant. So you're in defensive terrain. You're all highly leveled. We're cutting her army down. How long until she wants peace? Four turns. Uh, exploits might be okay for you, but don't assume the rest of the DD run community is in agreement with you. Uh, I think it's a matter of just philosophy. Some people, again, like I explained the rationale pretty clearly um, about playing to win. Like, in my opinion, anybody who doesn't use exploits is just playing incorrectly, right? You're playing it wrong unless you're specifically playing without exploits as a part of a challenge. Because using exploits is the most efficient way to play the game. Now... If, if you want to take the speedrunning community sort of stance on that, you can say, well, in the spirit of the game, this exploit is so powerful that it actually ruins the game, so we're not going to use that one. That's a stance I can understand. But just saying that I hate that he uses exploits, I think that's a really dumb take. I think that's actually just like the dumbest response to someone using exploits. I think there are far more intelligent arguments you can make against someone using exploits. It's too easy to win. Yeah, I... This is, like, internally consistent, right? It's too easy to win using... <laughs> it's too easy to win just killing people, so I don't kill people. But, like, using exploits doesn't make it too easy to win, right? These aren't, like... <laughs> these aren't mutually exclusive statements. Okay, uh, we need to kill at least one of these... We need to kill this warrior and this horseman in order for this archer here to survive. So let's make that happen. Alternatively, I could take a step back, and that works too. So, like, doing, like, saying killing people with war makes the game too easy isn't mutually exclusive with using exploits, because these are two different things. Using exploits, using certain exploits don't make the game too easy, right? Uh, isn't saying taking this is inconsistent with anything is fine when you're playing to win? No, because I clarified that if you choose not to play in a specific way because it makes it too easy. You get it? So, like, I choose not to kill people unless I'm specifically going for domination in non-domination games because if I do that, it makes it too easy to win. Whereas using an exploit, that's just, like, efficient play. That doesn't make it too easy to win. Like, the, the point is, it's the difference between, like, using a, a mechanic and using a, a strategy as well, like... And, and a style of play, it's... I'm trying to think, how do I explain this adequately? So, like... In, in the speedrunning community, you have certain... Um, like, you will, you will have certain glitches that are allowed, right? And in my opinion, the sort of government reset glitch isn't game-breaking. Does that make sense? Most efficient is not the same as required by all players for all reasons. I, did I say that? I don't think I said that. I don't think I said it was required to play that way. If I did, then I misspoke. And I, I should have been more like... Um, players who want to you know, play incredibly efficiently should play that way. It's probably a more nuanced way to state that. Uh, he's pretty clearly gone for how most efficiently can play, which means 
If the code allows it, it's okay. Yeah, so it's like it's like an it, like these are just my own internal rules like that I have decided are okay. It it is somewhat arbitrary because I've just decided that this is the way that I'm going to do things. Like certain exploits are okay, but certain exploits aren't okay. Like in the majority of my games, when the production exploit was available, I didn't use it because it felt it was too easy. It, it kind of ruined it, it ruined the fun because because the objective I have when I'm playing the game is to have fun. So if an exploit ruins the game, then I won't use it. So like. Similarly, if a strategy ruins the game and I feel like killing people kind of ruins the game for me because it makes it too easy and I don't enjoy war, all that sort of stuff, you know, like that, that's because because the objective I'm playing is to play efficiently but also have fun. Like I could sit here and optimize this game to a ridiculous degree, use every possible exploit, but I wouldn't have fun anymore. I think the most important thing is to not enforce your own values in other words, it doesn't affect you. I don't think I was enforcing my values on people. I think I was saying that certain ways to an analyze how you use exploits are dumb like saying i don't like them is kind of dumb like i don't know or nice chat please in speedrunner you're gonna say we run at this argument all the time it's tying off to bit because there's some pretty simple logic to it yeah exactly like there's it's like <laughs> i don't know it's exa it's exhaustive or exhausting exhaustive exhaustive is a different has a different meaning all right we're going to work in a lighthouse this is going to give us plus two plus two food because we have two tiles two food tiles that we're working or potentially working over here when the city grows a bit more also it's going to give us housing plus three which means you'll be able to grow more then finally get our campus now in terms of settlers i'm going to hold off on getting settlers until i have the ancestral hall building um i'm going to harvest to finish this granary use the overflow production that'll take two turns off that and then i'll chop these two tiles as well and that'll finish that i learned a lot about civ six by watching you thank you very much tyra i appreciate that um i don't i don't like i don't have this conversation enough to really adequately explain why um why i've come to the conclusions about exploits and stuff that i that i have but it, it basically boils down to um some exploits like it is somewhat arbitrary right that i find some exploits are just more fun to use and so i have no problem using those ones and i find some exploits just kind of ruin the game for me so i don't use those ones um but that's um different from just saying i hate that he uses exploits like the reason i use exploits is because it's the most efficient way to win but there's a certain point where optimizing for efficiency destroys the fun of a game and i think the greatest example was um if you go onto youtube uh preferably after this stream if you look up is it is it Carl Jobs who does those um, streaming or, or speedrunner videos? Okay, so I've lost an archer. She wants to give me gold. I'm going to take that gold. It's time for peace, right? Because I'm I'm starting to lose now that she's counterattacking. He he did it. He did a. Am I winning? No, I'm not winning. I'm doing damage to her. Those are two different things. Um, he he did a video on Goldeneye where basically, uh, lighthouse for trade route. In Goldeneye, there was an exploit found where if you looked up or if you looked like at the ground, the game ran faster because the, the game would like render frames quicker, which theoretically led to like lower speed running times. And a lot of people said that this basically ruined the game for them. I don't think those people are wrong. I don't think they're wrong to say that the game ruined, them, ru ruined it for them. But I also don't think the people who said, well, you should use anything you can to win the game are wrong either. Or, or to be to do the best. I, I don't know how to adequately describe it, but it's it's something along those lines. I think it's say we move on from talking about the exploits. Sure. Really appreciate the exploits. I think the pressure is death to fix them, which long term improves the game. That's also another aspect of it. I part, part of the reason that I cover exploits is because it um, exploits negatively affect the game. And here's the problem. Um, if some people know about an exploit and some people don't, then it gives the people who do know an unfair advantage. So the only way to have a level playing field is to tell everyone about the exploit. If everyone knows about the exploit, then we have a level playing field and some people don't have an unfair advantage. I should have totally had Magnus moved over here, but that's fine. I'm going to be purchasing another builder in here to chop out the um, pyramids um, to get that done nice and quick. Oh yeah, so, so if only certain people have access to this knowledge, then they have an unfair advantage. So the only fair situation is in which everyone has access to that exploit knowledge. Then the next level analysis is like the, um, by spreading awareness of the exploit, you put pressure on the developers to fix it because 
if it's a kind of niche exploit that's like hugely affecting the game in one negative way, the only tool players have to get that fixed is to raise awareness about it. So that's why I kind of take the stance of everyone should know about every exploit because it's the only way to have a fair playing field and it's the only way to get them fixed. It's the only thing I can do as a player, aside from like submitting a bug report, to get the exploit fixed or whatever, right? Uh, ah, Vladislav Boshnakov. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Why does she give you money? It's so dumb for the air. Uh, she is superior. She so basically how the war how war uh, how there's like a I don't know how to describe it. But basically, there's a war score mechanic because I killed a whole bunch of her units and my units were near her territory. She felt like she was losing. So she, did she ever did they ever fix the selling great works in the first turn for infinite gold bug? Yes, they did. They fixed it by um setting it so that the first turn that an, a great work exists you get no gold for it which is kind of like a reverse of that um but yeah so basically as you do damage and kill units and sort of invade their territory the ai will build up war weariness and like a reluctance to be in war you essentially build up a war score against them and so by using that knowledge as a player you can do a lot of damage to an ai and even though they have a much bigger army than me and they're much more ready to kill me and they would be in a much better position, because I was on the offensive and I killed a bunch of their units and I'm near their territory, they'd be like, okay, okay, go away. I'll pay you off, right? So they... It, it leads to... It's basically... It only looked dumb because I was exploiting it to make the AI act in a dumb way. That's really why what they did there looked dumb. If, if you think about what the AI is seeing and the data that it has access to, it actually made an intelligent choice there. It's like, I've lost a bunch of units. He's invading my territory. I should lose. Uh, so I'm going to piece him out for gold. Okay, there's the Ancestral Hall. I'm going to need another builder over here. But it's time to start pumping out settlers, which also means we'll want to plug... Uh, we have the colonization card in. Beautiful. Uh, FK, only one... Star. Only one streamer promotes multiplayer glitch exploitation spiffing Brit. I mean... I do it too. So will the A to Z challenge be streamed on YouTube? Yes. And hopefully the VODs will be edited down as standalone videos as well. That is the objective. Run away. Hopefully you survive. He's going to take a shot. He should survive because he has a promotion. Then this guy should get a kill. All right. Looking okay here. So with these four slingers, well, one, three slingers and one potato archer, we managed to like basically not cripple her, but make it so that we don't have to worry about her declaring war on me, which was my objective. Alrighty. So I'm going to harvest this, uh, it's a woods tile. Okay, I want to harvest these hills because we can put mines on those hills. A lot of them do, but they aren't as famous. Bluffing, you're more powerful than you actually have. Super common. Bluffing that you're more powerful is super common. Don't forget to swap Magnus. I'm actually thinking about whether or not I want to swap Magnus. And I think it's worth it. The city, it'll lose me five turns of the thing. Also, I did just get the connoisseur promotion so i will actually plug that in even though i'm reassigning to sedanga i was thinking about not swapping them but i feel like it's probably the right move it'll it'll slightly lower my culture and science in the short term but it is the overall long-term best move so we've got a nice chunk of land over here that we can settle which is great we've also got another chunk up over here i might settle on the truffles i think that's the right move there settle on truffles Keep up the good work. I love your content. Thank you so much, Aaron Ting. Harvest under the aqueduct too. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll do that. I like to Don't you I worry like about that. Point. So that'll be a kill. He'll shoot me. I'll kill him. I'll promote. It'll be all gravy. And I have two envoys now. Do I want to be suzerain of Buenos Aires? I have one bonus resource. That would be that. More importantly, if I take suzerainty of Buenos Aires, I get plus one diplomatic favor, which is really valuable to me at this stage of the game. I should have actually checked what their mission was. Construct an entertainment complex. Not going to happen for a very long time. Okay. So that plus one diplomatic favor is really, really valuable because I can sell it to Wilfred Laurier, for example. I give him 12 of this and he will give me a bunch of gold. Right now he has no income, so... Vibe check. Vibe check? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Thanks, CK2. While watching Potato Play, Civ is frying my brain. You're going to need to chop the aqueduct. What are you talking about, vibe check? I don't understand. You got to say more words than uh, two for me to understand what your message is. Try playing CK2. Money. Okay, Otto. <laughs> you have used up all of my patience. Send vibe check one more time. I dare you. Sorry, Otto. Uh, time out. Wait. There you go. Now, there's a really good harbor in here. We got the granary. The city's going to grow. The harbor is the right choice here because this is going to give us a bunch of gold as well as trade routes, as well as all that juicy stuff. Hello from India. Missed your live stream. Thank you so much, Chirenit Ray. I appreciate your message. Uh, vibe check is a meme. I don't know what the vibe check meme is. Is, is Spiff a boomer? I can neither conform nor deny the identity of Spiff as a boomer. Try harder to make it unwinnable. Okay, so we're going to hang on here for Magnus. Scouting. This is the kind of phase of the game where things slow down and we have to make sort of more long-term decisions. You didn't accept that trade. Did I not? I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to accept the trade because I want gold per turn rather than gold. I prefer to get gold per turn. So now I need to escape with my little galleons. Uh, hey... Hey buddy, watching from the hospital, thanks for picking the, today to stream. No worries, Ninza. Thank you for always teaching your videos, even though some people think it'd be harsh. I think it's the best way to show people how to be optimal in the game. Yeah, I mean, like, look, here's the thing. You're free to disagree with me. But if I think you're disagreeing with me in a dumb way, I'm going to call you an idiot. That's just what it, I mean, you know. Joshua Zyre. Thank you so much, Joshua. So I don't think I can win this fight. Uh, so I'm just going to run away and hope that I can survive and heal up fast enough. Thank you much, uh, Joshua. Really appreciate it. Potatoes, fellow younglings. That's right. Uh, so era score. I didn't get the golden age, which really sucks, but it is fine. We're going to take that again because we'll be able to spread our religion a little bit more. I think it's time that we got ourselves another missionary and sent it up to play with this lady. Actually, you know, it might be a good idea to get rid of this goddamn barbarian scout. He's just being annoying now at this point. Is there any other way to explore? So there is some land mass over here that we'll go check out. This is some great land here. I'm going to need units to clear this out. Also, uh, pikemen are a problem. I don't think going to war with her again is going to work unless I have access to crossbowmen, which isn't going to happen for a very long time because I opted for a low science opener. Oh, leader name. Uh, let's see here. New districts built by this player act as a culture bomb. One little trick, if you vote for yourself twice with this, you'll always win it. And uh, the AI basically always votes for production here. Watch me be wrong. Yep. Vote for yourself twice. The AI, for whatever reason, with this particular World Congress session uh, item, they just always only vote for themselves once. Whereas, so you just vote for yourself twice. You probably don't even need to vote twice, honestly. You could probably get away with voting once just because you're top of the list, you'll win. Um... But I voted twice, and I just always win this. And then the AI just, like, always goes for um, production. Almost always. Did you go to war with me, or vice versa? I went to war with her specifically to, to thin her army out. That was the entire objective in going to war. So, and now I have really highly leveled archers who should be able to hold their own, not, like, amazingly well, but pretty well into the mid-game of her potentially sending units to attack me and then i've got a city to fall back on if i need to let's get inside the city because it's faster healing you're going to come back to heal as well missionary making your way downtown walking fast faces fast and you're homebound uh magnus is finished in here let's go ahead and chop chop and then we'll chop chop here that'll finish the pyramids that'll get this guy plus one build charge and then we can put mines on both of these tiles uh, I've seen the Vote for Faith a few times. Uh, hi, can you speak about how the harvest yields scale? Basically, harvest yields scale the more technologies and civics you have researched. That is really it. So harvest yields and district costs scale based on the number of things you have researched. Larry Long, please, for the love of God, do not vibe check my chat. It is just annoying. It makes it hard for me to read. <laughs> it's probably a good meme somewhere, but I do not appreciate... Okay, Larry. All right, Larry. Larry. 
Okay, Zoomer. Get out of here, Zoom. Zoomer's out. Boomer's only in this chat, all right? Officially passing a decree banning Zoomers. All right, we got Temple, Mahabodhi Temple. Good stuff. Larry Long, just why is there no volcano juice available here? I mean. Volcano Juice is exclusive to Primordial Maps. There is the Temple. Now, we can, if we want to, purchase ourselves the Temple next turn, which I think I might do because it's worth a lot of culture. I'm also going to harvest here. That'll finish the, the pyramids. Beautiful. Pyramid. Get ourselves another builder. Now, this builder, let's have a little bit of a think about what we want to do. Do I want to go for a settler? I'd like to finish the lighthouse in here. That's worth a trade route, which is worth gold. And then I can go for a settler. All seems pretty good and Gucci to me. I think I'm going to go ahead and chop this as well. You may lose some people at this rate. Hides. We're doing a zoomer check. All right. <laughs> Does anyone know a zoomer meme <laughs> that I get zoomer check? Everyone who has TikTok installed on their phone, leave my chat immediately. <laughs> Is that a zoomer check? <laughs> Did I say TikTok or TikTok? Oh, God. Did I actually just become the ultimate boomer? I call TikTok TikTok, I think. <laughs> oh no, I am a boomer. Heard announcing you should not be a surprise. Uh, do not ever. So pro tip, um, if the AI makes a demand of you, never meet it because if you meet their demand, it actually makes you hate them hate you more. Uh, what is better, lumber mills or mines? It depends on the context in which you ask the question. I've played this game 400 hours, still suck at it. Don't worry, I've played nearly 2000 hours and I'm still garbage at it. Uh, wait, who's Joe? Boomers are people who were born like minus 45 to 65 ish. Mines are king mostly. Mines are king mostly, but there are certain situations in which I would consider lumber mills to be better. Um, very few and far between. We'll harvest that. That'll finish the lighthouse. Then I can get the trader in two turns. I can put a mine right here. Then we're on the pathway to potentially get apprenticeship, which will boost these mines. So we only ever built mines when it was appropriate to do so. What the hell even is a zoomer? A zoomer is uh it's you, you ever have a dog and it um gets excited and it starts running in circles that's a zoomer except it's hu in human form and it's generally for people under the age of, of 25. Uh, a zoomer is gen z phone bad phone is bad don't you guys have phones let's go ahead and yeah we'll hold on to our envoys here what about you bandai brunei construct an encampment i don't know if i want to construct an encampment with you let's go ahead and pop over here never install the TikTok anyway it's chinese propaganda hi from argentina uh, I forget. Does Argentina speak Spanish? I don't. I don't remember. Like, is it Hola, mi, mi amigo? I think they speak Spanish in Argentina. I think Brazil speaks Portuguese, but Argentina is like on the Spanish side of South America. Uh, Docks, Ireland. Do, 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 do. Uh, mills on flat, mines on hill. Yeah, I would say that would be a pretty reasonable way to think about it. Never got why giving it to demands makes the AI hate you more. It's just a bug that never got fixed. Uh, Keegan, yeah, Zoomer equals hive mind gen. <laughs> My dog always did that. It was so cute. Zoomer is gen Z. Oh, cool. Don't you want to do the wall overflow trick? All overflow production tricks have been Without removed production. from the game. So the overflow tricks do not work anymore. So unfortunately, we have to play a little song for them on the way out. All right, I want to build three mines, which is going to require me to get this guy over to here. Pop a mine right there. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. The have the trade route. I'm going to trade with Sedanga just because I want to road up through here. Even though I hate that trade route, ideally I'd be trading with Pazirk for the twelve gold. Oh man, trading with Pazirk would be so good. I gotta do it. Twelve gold per turn. Don't forget to purchase your temple potato. Plus four faith and plus four culture per turn. There is the trader. Now we can get to work on a settler. Uh, that potato is a spy. What which saves difficulty scaled AI intelligence instead of production benefits? Uh, here's the problem: uh, AI is a lot harder to program than it is to just give them free things. So you know, this is what we're stuck with. I mean, it would be better. I agree. It would be way cooler if the AI was intelligent. But you know what? I think it's actually a little bit more fun that the AI is a bit done dumb and just has these huge bonuses. Because I I've always really really liked the feeling of being an underdog in video games. So for example, oh Jesus Christ, that is two quad volumes. So for example, when I would used to play. Um, Medieval Total War and, and Total War and all those sorts of games. I used to really like playing on like kind of a medium high difficulty and then like defending sieges. It was just something really, really fun about being the guy 
who didn't have much and was like, I used to love holding off like 10,000 soldiers. Well, it was more like a 2,000 with like, you know, a, a couple hundred guys on the walls or whatever. Cancel unit harvest resource. Yeah, isn't the... There is... The harvest overflow trick has been fixed to my knowledge. She is going to declare war on me. Uh, she's welcome to because I've killed her in every war that we've had so far. Probably will grab walls and maybe a couple of more archers in Sedanga next. We'll have to think about that as our next move. Uh, why trade with Scythia when she will declare war on you? Um, because gold. If she declares war on me, it doesn't like delete my trade route, you know? So I'm hopefully, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this guy tank a hit from this quadrireme. Then this guy will be able to take to hit it itself and then you'll run away. So I'm having a bit of a bit of an issue managing these quadriremes. Uh, this is what I'm talking about when I was talking about how hard quadriremes are to clear out with galleys. Uh, just wondering, why do you give chat, why do you give chat reads like a few uh, seconds? Because there is a delay. I'm actually reading the messages in chat instantly, but there is a delay between when I read the message and you hear it. So I actually read the messages basically instantly. Hey, unblock Otto von Bismarck. Boy, he should be just ta timed out. He shouldn't be blocked. Let me have a look. I think he was timed. I don't know how timeout works. Designing a superior AI could be graduate CSA. Well, I mean, like, there's interesting things coming down the pipeline in terms of AI that might, you know, result in interesting things with regards to the whole, you know, better video game AI problem. But it's just like, the problem is, it is just a really difficult thing to do, is to make better AI. Now, this guy is fortified on this tile, and I don't like it. But I would like to take this island if I could. Now, I could sneak. I could sneak a little little settler over here. Question, what is the most efficient way to settle this island? Hmm. Well, I could settle here. I could settle on the cattle. In terms of settling, I think it's best to settle on the jade. And if I settle on the jade, then it's probably better to settle on the wine. More wine. If I settle on the wine, that gives me access to a really great harbor in between these two crabs, also adjacent to this. It also leaves a bit of room for this jade city to take advantage of things. This city has a really, really nice harbor right here. So I think we're going to settle the jade and the wine. We're also going to go ahead and take a moment just to get ancient walls in here. The city doesn't have very good production. I think it might be a good idea to purchase ourselves a builder in here just to get a couple of mines up and stuff like that. Uh, yep, I definitely want to get the Nubian Pyramid in this city. That'll give me a bit of error score. More importantly, it gives me a 20% production boost towards building districts in here. This city really wants to build the Petra. I have to buy that tile if I want to build it. Do I want to build it right now? I can't right now, so we'll just hold off we'll get to work on the granary to get the city growing uh the more they're time to spend the less time they can spend developing the actual game yeah i think that's true too plus the ai like i'm of the mind that the ai doesn't actually really need to be that good it just has to be like interesting for a player to play against so an ai doesn't have to actually be good at the game it just has to provide an interesting challenge to the player that's why a game like ai war is so cool a man on a horse is spiritually as well as physically oh right i forgot the scout his encampment was killed, so he's going to go to war. Or he's going to look for kills. Right. Completely forgot about that. derp de derp de derp de derp What can I buy? I can buy a scout to chase this down. That'll be fine. He should be able to handle that. derp 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 I do that sometimes. Just forget about those things. And buy a builder. Uh, playing the leaders in Alphabet Gale or not save name. I don't know what the improved coast mod does. I downloaded my coastal cities king. That's neat. I try to avoid playing with mods so that people who are watching me don't have to like modify the strategies that I give when I'm playing for like, m you know, the normal game. Uh, chat is very different over here on YouTube. Wouldn't you agree? Potato? Yeah, it's way more active and I really, really like it because it gives me an opportunity to try and keep up with them. Now, if I attack here, this guy will do, he's likely going to kill me next turn if I do that. So we'll just leave that the way it is. It's, I, I really like an active chat. How long have you been playing? I have been playing roughly speaking about an hour and 45 minutes for about 93 turns into the game. Go ahead and start whacking that guy. Step up there. Also, uh, it's time to send a delegation to Wilfred. He won't go to friendship. Oh, he will. Awesome. So we have a friendship with Wilfred. So we'll be able to get an alliance with him in the not-too-distant future. And we might even be able to get him to do a joint war on Tamiris in the not-too-distant future. Now, he actually doesn't have any gold at all. So I could take that from him. Tamiris, how much gold do you have? That is a question that I want to ask. I'm curious, how much do you pay for diplomatic favor right now? Not much, so it's fine. Uh, flying all leaders in alphabetical, not by saying the name. 
Ba -ba 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 One, two, three. I can't remember how much movement tri quad quads have. Quad Rireem have three movement. One, two, three. It would kill this. Okay, you fall back. You go to there. You heal up. Put a mine there. There we go. We get apprenticeship here in a moment. Goddamn Canada, eager for friendship. Well, like, I mean... I think I see Mali there too. Okay, so that scout killed himself and I get this guy back. Cost me 120 gold to do this, but you know, it was kind of necessary, I feel. Let's get some more mines up over here. Then we shall improve ourselves a lovely wine tile. More cheese with my wine. Harbor first. It's 131 production, 4 plus 4 gold per turn. That's absolutely still worth it at this stage of the game to go harbor first. And then this right here, let's do a little bit of city planning. This will be a aqueduct because this is off of fresh water. Last time I said you don't know how to pronounce my name and also said I am Russian. I don't know, you look Ukrainian or something. You use Cyrillic letters. Aha, I called it before you even said it. I said, I said you're Russian or Ukrainian or I said you use Cyrillic letters. I know the different people use that same my name is Ivan the Terrible Ooh, spooky hello Ivan the Terrible where is Ivan the okay <laughs> all your base belong to us that is an old ass meme right there uh, what would you say is the hardest easiest ac aspect of Civ for new players oof um, depends on what you mean by the type of new player are you talking about new players and new to civilization games in general or new specifically to Civ 6 like have you played other Civ games before um, the hardest thing to grasp is to just don't do things that don't help you in the game. This is something I run into in basically every single, um, or when, when people ask me for advice, that's the thing that I run into all the time, is they spend a lot of their time doing things in the game that don't help them win. They just kind of basically screw around and then wonder why they're not winning the game quickly and why they're bored of the late game. It's because you're not playing efficiently. Um, so that would, that's the hardest thing to do is to learn like what the hell I should put my time into. Uh, new challenge, I did play the Maori in Alabama, but you can only settle islands and limited three to land. Deity, uh, old world age, disaster level four, and go for it. What do you think of the River City Harbor commercial triangles? I think they are really cool. Uh, I used to do them all the time. Okay, Boomer, that's an old meme. I'm talking about your I'm talking to your generation. <laughs> I tried making a sieve on a ludicrous map once. Thought, what was that? Even though I had a high end game, read the game, kept crashing on turn on the tree. So I had to end the game there. It translate, translates to Ivan Koshevoy. New to Civ 6 specifically, well if you're new to Civ 6 specifically, the hardest part, the hardest thing to learn is uh, which districts are worth building in which victory types and when you should break that rule. Like that's a difficult thing to learn and know how to do. Uh, Petra, by the title for Petra, good call. I do want to finish that granary first though, but I will get to work on Petra after the granary. Uh, let's see here. Potato, is YouTube your job? Yes, YouTube is my full-time job. I do it. This is how I make my money. And good God, do I love doing it. It is fantastic. Five gold for 30 turns. Refuse demand. Uh, I will admit, um, the, the harder thing about live streaming versus um, just let's playing is that it's easier to forget things, but the advantage is you have a chat. Okay, all uh, right. Time to retreat. You have a chat to remind you. Okay, so she is definitely looking to go to war with me now. I am working on the walls. That's fine. Uh, what do you think of the challenge? Uh, the challenge was interesting. The... Shoot, I can't remember the name of it. The Maori Primordial... Or Maori Island Plates. You can only settle island for limited three tiles of land, deity. Uh, it would be an interesting challenge. It kind of has way too many, like... Rules, if you get me. I, I prefer challenges that are really simple. Can you settle a plane south of Bandar and name it Wales? Plains south of... Oh, yes, I like this. Not sure where I'd settle in here, but I would settle in here somewhere. Potato, why aren't you honoring my mother? Uh, I already did last night. Got him. Fucking roasted. Okay. Uh, let's see. I definitely need units to get over here to this island. I do need to spend a bit of time building military units, and I think this is the time to do it when units are half price. Scythia is angry. And uh, we're going to need to deal with that. Also, I should have someone down here fog busting to prevent any barb camps from appearing. Let's go ahead and place another mine down. That's really nice. 
this city has a decent production line. It could definitely use another builder. We're making crazy amounts of gold. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. There is the Pamukkala. Probably not my favorite natural wonder. Uh, do you exploit NPCs like Wilfred or Dada by selling them to zero gold and start selling Diplo favor? No, because I think... So, the here's the distinction between... The um, so, like, government resetting is a fairly, like... Yeah, it's a fairly low-level exploit. Whereas something like exploiting the AI to get infinite gold, that that's game-breaking. Like, that ruins the game for me, so I don't do that one. Um, so that's the kind of distinction that I make. Whereas there's a difference between something that, like, gives me an advantage and something that, like, breaks the game. And because I'm kind of operating in isolation, I get to make the rules, right? Because I'm just kind of playing for my own enjoyment. So I get to kind of decide what the rules are. Um, Potato, my mother is Victorian. Look it up. Goddamn right she is. And she's got a secret. A Victoria's secret. Uh, have you played Civ 6 and Nintendo Switch? I have not played Civ 6 and Nintendo Switch. Chancey, making a Patreon where subscribers and max donation mail get one-on-one -on -one coaching for a game save. Uh, I have a Patreon, but I'm getting rid of it. And we're going to go full-time on YouTube memberships instead. But if people want to do coaching stuff, like I'll just do that for free. Like That would be fun thing. That would just be fun to do. Thank you for making great content. Thank you so much, Vladislav Boshnikov. Thank you so much for your dono. Super chat, super chat. Thank you for making great content. Thank you for your super chat. I really appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, I would probably just do that for free because that sounds like fun to just like coach people. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't charge people for that. Like, here's the thing. Ideally, in, in uh, ideal circumstances, I would never have to ask anybody who watches my videos for money, right? And I would get most of my money from ad revenue or sponsorship. That way, I'm taking corporate money and turning it into entertainment for normal people. Um, but unfortunately, the reality is that I kind of just, I, I do have to kind of pass the begging hat around, right? And kind of be like, look, guys, you know, I don't make that much money. And it's not a very sustainable job. So it would be cool if you could uh, subscribe and super chat and all that great stuff. But ideally, you know, if I can grow to YouTube to a channel where I just don't need all that, then, you know, that would be great too. If I could just rely almost exclusively on like sponsorships and ad revenue, then I don't have to go around with my hat out basically asking people to sustain, you know, my lifestyle or, or YouTube channel. I would love you to do coaching for me, but I would just want to donate to you for your time just because I want to support you. Uh, if you want to donate for my time, go ahead and get a membership uh, on the YouTube channel. I think there's like a button on the stream somewhere. I have no idea where it is or what it looks like. And basically, it's mad to get gold and buy stuff and you try to only build those uh, things you can't buy. Uh, try a bloodless domination victory using only France's loyalty, flipping, Pangea map and no offensive attacks. Mm, I would... Uh, I'm kind of interested in the idea. That just seems like a really grindy and painful game to me. So I'm, I'm kind of dubious of it. Oh, there's all the people in the world. Hello, nice to meet you. So there's some of the other players. Uh, it's fine to take corporate money. They aren't people, lol. <laughs> True! I don't know how I managed to send that guy the wrong way, but I did. I need to get rid of this. This is very annoying. Um, I think now that these walls are finishing up, I think I feel a little bit safer sending off some of my archers to do their thing. So I'll send one archer over here to clear this island out. I should be building settlers, really. And I am. I'm building one in Merro. And in fact, I should definitely have the provision promotion plugged in there. I really want to settle... Let's think about how we settled this island. Uh, Potato, why do you hate pastors, lol? Why are they improved? I find them pretty unhelpful. Yeah, um, I just don't really have the builder. Don't really have the builder charges to justify a pastor right here, and I'm not sure if I want to keep a pastor here. Because if I drop a harbor here, that's a plus five harbor. I could put something there that would make it even better. So I'm not sure if I want to put. A pasta there. I might harvest it. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just, I haven't made the decision yet. Now, I could work on settlers in here. I think settlers would be the right move as much as I want to get the harbor up. I think getting settlers out. Do I want to improve this or do I want to improve the coastal tile? I think getting the pasta online is better. Hey, Vincent Engler just became a true spuddy. Thank you so much, Vincent Engler. I really appreciate that, man. NZ as well. Thank you so much for becoming a member too. Although I don't think your message has popped up. It should pop up. Who is ringing my phone? Uh, hello? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew.
Sorry, was talking to my brother on the phone. Okay, uh, right. Uh, but then, uh, so I missed some members. Sorry about that. NZ, Potato Biscuit Boom joined. Thank you so much for the do 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 do. Members, hey man, just want to say great enjoy your content. Just want to watch you during chemo. Helps a ton to have something to focus on. Glad I could give it back to you. Thank you so much, dude. I don't I don't feel comfortable taking chemo money. <laughs> it's like, just I don't know. It just feels wrong. I don't. I guess your money's as good as anyone else's, I suppose. Um, okay, I would like to get the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. I'd also like to get a campus in here. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself another settler. I have a settler here. Do you have a backup plan if YouTube does not work out for you? Find a tall bridge and end it all, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's get a Patati Archer in here and uh, stop making such dark jokes. Uh, rest of Pepperoni 2019 to 2019. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. The potato is returned. Praise be. Austin awesome L, what's up? Andrew Morris, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, dude. I really appreciate that. Or becoming a member or whatever it is. Uh, do -do -do. All right, so we improved two of these fishing boats. I'm not sure what else to What's the challenge? Uh, the challenge is just to complete the game in order of all the civilizations in the game. Let's go ahead and put a mine there. You know, over here, I got settlers. Hey, potato. Uh, I hope the chemo helps you get better. I also hope you get better, NZ. Whatever happened to the multiplayer game mode, I was going one, World War One. I was really looking forward to it. Do you know? I think it's still in the game. Are you going to play Age of Empires Definitive Edition next week? I would like to. Don't you have Nets Exile? F? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you make my chemo treatments tolerable. I, it's the very least I can do. Don't feel bad. I have wanted to do this for a while. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. That you would support the channel. Uh, it means a hell of a lot to me. That people actually, like, first of all, care to watch. Second of all are like, yeah, I'll give this guy money. It's like, you don't know what I'm going to do with this money. I could do anything. You're basically giving money to a homeless man. We're all apprentices. I mean, from a certain perspective, you know what I mean? All right, there's apprenticeship that's going to unlock the industrial zones. More importantly, that's going to give us plus one production on our mines. We're 30 turns away from getting the Petra. I would like to get another builder in here. And I think I might purchase that just to get these last couple of mines online. That would sort of speed things along. I'd also like to purchase a trader. Uh, try winning the victory types that save is worth for Vaughn Auto Von we're gonna pull back on the losing world one. Do you follow Quill 18's content as well? He's another YouTuber I support too. Yeah, I love Quill 18's content. I watch like I wouldn't say I watch every video because I just don't have the time to anymore. But I used to watch almost all of his videos. Uh big problem we have right now is we're lacking science. I also would like to maybe kind of poke up this way towards engineering and stuff like that. So I'm gonna pick up the wheel as a sort of cautionary step in that direction. Let's go ahead and jump over here. And we're having a big problem with quadrariums, which is why I need this potato archer to head over here. You're going to step onto that hill. Crossbowmen are up for Fez. You're going to come over this way as well. Uh, don't even try to interact with Otto. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. All right, we got issues that we need to deal with over here. Oh, that's bad. I should not have let this get to this point. Would it be smarter to have a backup plan? Probably. I, I'm i mostly joking. I have a backup plan. Don't you worry. But on the other hand, the other way to, to look at it is, if I don't have a backup plan, I just do whatever is required to make it work. And pretty much anyone can make it work. The big problem that most people don't find success, success on YouTube, in my opinion, is because they're doing it wrong. Not because like YouTube screws them or not everyone can make it it's like it's because most people aren't really trying to make it uh i basically like grinded my way to turning this into a job um through sheer just like grit and and like just like doing lots of things to make it happen right and i think you know most people who would want to try it could probably achieve at least somewhat of a measure of, a, of success in it i think backup plans Here's the problem with a backup plan, is that it would make me less committed to what I'm doing. Because I know I have a safe way out. But if you don't have a safe way out, you just, you just like, you just do what you have to, to make it work. And uh, I think that's far more attractive to me as a person, because if I have a backup plan, I just get lazy. Uh, the swords and the crossbow are there to da -da -da, uh, playing a game as you speak. Need one error score. Golden boy, funny boy, goddamn, he's reading Don't only my shitty comps. What are you talking about, Fox? Uh, hey, Potato, whatever happened to the multiplayer game mode that was World War 1? Do you know what I was really looking forward to? Do you know? I'm pretty sure it's, it exists. You just... I'm pretty sure that exists in the game right now. 
Um, okay, so we picked up a little bit of science. Right now, the science that we work on isn't super important. I guess you could make the argument that going for mass production would be really good, as well as picking up education. So I might pick up education ahead of mass production. I really want to pick up machinery, though, to be able to defend myself. So that's kind of like bronze working into machinery, right? Yeah, it's a lot of turns. It's pretty safe. Capital is not far away from becoming seven population, which will allow me to... Um, seven population will allow me to build another district. So I need to deal with this in here. Uh, Fox, GTO, he did. Did you even notice he answered? Yeah, I already answered that. I, I've answered your question twice. With all the buildings you buy, why don't you promote Lang, the city of the governor for the plus one build? Um, I don't have a governor title. And the governor titles that I have used are more important than having Liang. Uh, with plus one build charge right now. That's the short version of that answer. If you watch enough of like Quill 18's videos, you'll see Potato contribute to his whiskey and chocolate fund. Don't you think the Congo needs a slight nerf? I don't really think the Congo is that overpowered. How much caffeine are you running? Uh, basically, I can just do this forever. You have to understand that I spent like basically, I I've been doing this for three years of just being continuously talking and it's just a skill that you develop. If you do it enough, you just get good at it. I can continuously talk for pretty much 24 seven if I really want to now that I've done this. I will be absolutely exhausted afterwards but i can do it for like an extended period of time because it's just something you practice and you get better at when you when you do this thing enough uh civ is not unpopular just not mainstream yeah that, i would i would agree with that sentiment do barb spawn units based on your tech or the ais i actually don't know what the exact rules are that dictate what units barbarians spawn that is something that i lack in terms of knowledge about the game and I will readily admit that. Okay, so we have a three-charge builder here that we can play around with. We're 23 turns away from getting the Petra. Moreau has most of the tiles that I care about improved. Let's have a look at Sedanga has most of the tiles improved. I think there could be some room for improvement over here. I would like to start to work on a campus in here. Civ is one of the most played games on your Steam year on year, mate. Yeah, I mean, like Civ is huge, but it's not mainstream. I think that's a reasonable... Hey, Potato, are you in any wars yet? I've been in two wars against um, Scythia, and I won both of them. Uh, basically, it w I declared wars on her just to slow her down. Hey, Potato, were you in any wars yet? Da -da -da, lay down for a quick snooze three hours ago, and suddenly I'm here. How in the flying fried potato did that happen? Who knows, Pepe's best friend? Who knows? Okay, so we've got a bit of an issue and we don't have any tissue. Are you homeless? <laughs> no, I'm not homeless. I'm I was joking about the homeless thing, don't worry. Don't take out don't take things that I say seriously. It'll it'll end poorly for you. <laughs> Ugh, another quad. If you take what I say seriously, you'll probably end up like very concerned for me as a person um barb spawn the highest current unit available i've been told chat what are the games do you guys play i play everything i play whatever is put in front of me uh excusez-moi no i have one charge builder here what do i want to do with him i don't want to chop that jungle do i i guess i could chop that jungle that seems fine uh quick need error score need a quick error score help uh civ could benefit a lot from scaling down from multiplayer every time i want to play my friends sounds like fun until they're four hour and barely one quarter way through the game that's why you put turn limits on um and you make people play fast problem is people sit around jerking themselves off thinking about what their next move is when you should just click on a button and get to the next turn because that's far more interesting than trying to optimize away the fun of a game okay so we got another potato archer in here okay i want to Get up here. This guy's going to take a pretty hefty hit, but it's across the river on defensive terrain, so that should be fine. Uh, what's your favorite game? Mm, I don't really have like it really. See, that question is so difficult to answer because it's like, well, what qualifier is he adding to that? It's like, what platform am I talking about? Like, it's just my favorite game of all time. Well, I, I don't know what my favorite game of all time. I could tell you what my favorite game from the 90s is. I could tell you what my favorite game for 90s PC is. I could tell you what my favorite game for 90s Nintendo uh, SNES was. But what my favorite game is? That's a harder okay, question so to answer. Boil em, mash em, stick em in a stew. Boil em, mash em, stick em in a stew. 
Are you still accepting save? If you are, where do I send them? And should I just send the latest save or also the two before? Uh, if you want to send me a save, send it to potato McWhiskey at, uh, plus Civ Disasters. I don't know where the email... The email is listed in my disaster videos uh, at gmail.com. It's like potato McWhiskey plus Civ Disasters at gmail.com. Civ 6 Disasters. I can't remember what it is. Somebody go find it for him, please, and then tell me what it is. It's difficult, not a concern, since YouTube isn't a mainstream computer. I just worry about your future. I'm not worried. Um, if I'm not worried, listen. Uh, if I don't make it work, I don't make it work. It's like, that's just how it is, and I'll have to deal with that. But I think, I, like, I mean, I feel like um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty not dumb. <laughs> I think is a reasonable way to state that. Like, I know that I need to not waste my money. I know that I, like, any money that I make from this basically goes into investing for retirement because YouTube might not last forever, right? So, and that's why I'm always trying to maximize my revenue. Everyone, click that join button, sponsor my channel, give me money. Um, ah, oh, this is so frustrating. I hate when this happens, when you clear out a barb cap and then the next turn a unit spawns. That is um, genuinely the worst thing in the world to happen. Um, yeah, like, I'm, I'm not, I don't think, I think I'm in, I think I'm smart enough to A, or at least, I think I'm at least not dumb enough to do the wrong things. I think I'm smart enough to make the right choices and, like, plan for my future. Uh, whoa, 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 careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll post it in chat. Let me just get that right there. It's going to hide your things because it's like, you're posting an email in Potato's chat. There it is. Um, if you plus five campus in the new city with two reefs and two districts. Yes. You are correct. So I'm thinking like if I plan this long term, this would be a campus. This would be a harbor. Bada bing, bada boom. And Potato actually has a really good subcontent already. It's just a matter of keeping momentum. Yeah, pretty much. Like, um, I think I think I'm. How do I? I don't know how to say this without sounding like I'm full of myself. But basically, I'm confident that I'll be able to make this into a sustainable career, at least in the medium term. Um, long term, that's all up in the air. Who knows what's going to happen with this? But I think as long as things are continuing as is in the sort of whole YouTuber streamer space, I think I can carve out a little slice of territory for myself and make a living out of it. Now, again, whether that trend continues, dream. Uh, the fact that this campus is getting flooded won't be a problem. Which is the most difficult and challenging Civ game you've ever played? Uh, like, do you mean like individual game or do you mean like which Civ, like which civilization game? Um, cause I'm not sure what the answer to that is. Okay. I want the plus three campus here. It's time to start getting some science going. We've delayed our science very significantly here. Like, oh, Aust I, you know what, man? I hate it when Australia is in my games cause he always has crazy good science. Crash. Yeah, there was a bit of a stream crash. Uh, did Tundra Pantheon disappear? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, Australia declared a friendship. Is back. Short hiccup. Yeah, exactly. These things happen. This is so annoying. I hate it when this happens. It's like... I don't know. It's uh, I, I, it's very few things demoralize me in like Civilization Six, but a few of them, like a couple of things that really get me down, is like when I run into like a, a wall of barbarians that I can't deal with, and when oh he killed Fez, that is, or she killed Fez. That's not you good. Um, it's when I run into a wall of barbarians or I lose a city. Did this kind of like make the game less fun for me? And like, in, in fairness to myself, it wasn't like I could deal with this earlier. Like, I was dealing with so much other stuff. It wasn't like I could get units over here to deal with this. So I, I don't feel like I can take too much blame for that. So I'm, of course, going to be trading for gold because gold is the most powerful resource in the world. I've got four turns until the city is ready to pop off. I could potentially build a trader in those four turns and then I'll get to work on this. I can get the Mausoleum of Halakarnassus. I don't think I'm going to build that in this city. I can get the aqueduct. I actually don't need the aqueduct, so I could put the mausoleum here if I really wanted to. But then the theater square spot is kind of taken. 
does Brexit affect Scotland? Yes, pretty much any country that is in the North Atlantic archipelago is affected by Brexit. <laughs> I love calling it that. It gets English nationalists really annoyed. Um, so, all right, we got the Merchant Republic, Reformed Church, Theocracy, Merchant Republic, Mercenaries. Do I want to go for Mercenaries? I'm trying to think about what I want to do. Save three. The Lost Archer was level three. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, save is one, two, three, six, or DD the hardest. Um, I don't know. I haven't played enough of the other saves. I don't really play with barbarians, but I'm after definite no for having them. Yeah, I, I can, I can see that argument. So I want to unlock civil service, and I want to also get diplomatic service. I also want to unlock my tier two, my tier technically, yeah, my tier two government. Uh, which government am I going for this game? I think I'm going to go for a science game, which kind of pushes me towards merchant republic. But the question is, do I want to stop off for civil service first to get alliances and then go for exploration? I think I'll go for alliances first, then head to exploration. I think you could handle the barb situation, but unloading all the archers at once perhaps a bit further east. Yeah, I probably could have handled it, handled it better. But the real thing was, my real objective, like if I had been able... So like I had a unit here ready to jump up and then like a, a thing appeared and like it was just... I, I, got, I got kind of screwed by RNG a little bit there because the plan was going to work just fine. But the RNG really got me. Um, the plan I had worked fine. And then I like once my plan broke down, there was no like jumping into the water to escape because there was crossbowmen and a, uh, this is the ranger unit. So the, there really wasn't a whole lot that I could do. Can you explain zone of control? Uh, horses ignore it. Melee units have it. If you step into a unit zone of control, you can't move anymore really that simple uh the only thing i have a positive to say about is making some dumb jingles we look really dumb by the way i liked the video you made about it i don't know what you're talking about there do you have anything positive to say about brexit oh yeah should i should play brexit back in scotland make it politically incorrect as possible that would be fun that would be very fun all right let's pop that down there keep explorer amorizing So now that Scythia has dealt with Fez, I'm likely next on the shopping block. There's another settler. We'll be going straight over to that. Question is, do I want to keep building settlers in here? It's only 10 production. I really want to get the harbor in here. I really want to get an industrial zone in here. I really want to get a campus in here. So it's kind of hard to make these decisions right now. Um, ultimately, I think settlers are the right choice for my long-term growth and prosperity. I do remember the video about Brexit. I just, I didn't remember what you were talking about. Um, I, I lost one of the conversation. F? F? Who's F? Wait, what died? No players died. Victoria is mad to restore the British Empire. No. Je ne pas le British Empire. Or the British Empire, je ne pas? I don't know how to say that. It's amazing the UK just kept their old colour passport jackets. Brexit probably would have failed. <laughs> God. Some of the conversations about Brexit have been the dumbest conversation I've ever witnessed in my entire life. And I'd rather not get into it because it's really just, it's actually saddening at this point. It's just sad. Uh, would anyone like to buy some of my luxuries? I have spares. You there, sir. You already have turtles. Never mind. Hey, Canada. Get, get some turtles. You already have turtles? What the hell, man? Congo. You already have turtles. Pedro. You already have turtles. F to pay respect. Yeah, I understand the meme. F for who? Who died? F for who? Guys, please. All right. Kaiser, you're on your last warning.
God, I shouldn't even give people warnings. It should just be insta-ban if you're being obnoxious. <clears throat> I'm too kind. So will you take Fez back? Probably not. As a Polish duel, I mostly end time by Brexit. The thing is hilarious. And if it makes the EU fix itself, then it's great. Fez, lol. Oh, F for Fez? Fez has been dead forever. Dude. Hasn't Fez been dead for like a very long time now? Happy Potato, funny, have a live stream. Thank you, Daniel Matos. Appreciate you stopping in. You are a good dude, Potato. You should get to know me better. Uh, press F for Fez respects. I don't respect Fez. Alright, I got 700 gold in the bank. I got some choices I can make. I would like to do what? Trader. Instaban. I'm too nice. Too nice not to instaban. What is the ability of potato archers? They move faster and then have more damage. That is it. More like four turns? Four turns what? Petra. Shall be done soon. This goes over to Shat. We have a harbor. We have a thing. I want the campus. It's time to start getting my science going. I've been neglecting my science. How dare you? Potato doesn't respect Fez. Fez can go and... For all I care. How do you like that one? Take a moment to heal. Respect the dead. E2, they voted against William Wallace. Rolled over his grave twice. <laughs> Dude, you could fucking power the entire country of Scotland with how fast he's spinning at the moment. <clears throat> the Lord made this all out of eye. Alright, there is... Thingy. Suzerain. Band of Brunei. Suzerainity. Beautiful. Another bit of diplomat. Let's see. Who wants to buy a diplomatic favor? What is the A to Z challenge? The A to Z challenge is completing a game on DD difficulty with every single... Civilization from A to Z. So what if I were to give you 50 of this? What would you give me gold-wise? You would give me 14 gold per turn. That is a really bad deal. Let's talk to you. How would you do if I gave you 50 of this? You'd give me 28 gold per turn. That is a fantastic deal. 31 gold per turn and 200 gold. Now we're cooking with gas. Uh, let's see. Hey, Potato, I heard that Imperator Rome had a huge update. Very reason was a lot changed. Uh, will you do a series trying it out again? I actually have played the game since then, and it is really good. I love the game. It's just the problem is, uh, whenever I play a game that isn't Civ, nobody watches it, and then it hurts all my other videos, and then I'm like, well, kind of stuck here. So that's why I'm starting to do the live streaming thing. So I'll be doing more edited videos, and then, like, the old gameplay, like the old videos of me just playing Civ, that'll be what live streams are now. Let's make a crusade to save Fez. I'll probably wait on that one. She has more science than me. And a bigger army, so I'm probably just going to play defensively until I overtake her. And then we'll kind of we'll deal with that when the time is ripe for it. Uh, why does the AI love Diplomatic Vapor so much? Because it's just, it's just a valuable resource. It's not that it loves it, it's just like, it's it's appropriately valued. Um, now, I wanted, to, I wanted to do this for gold and production to speed up the Petra. But how much is two production and two food really going to speed this up? I guess it could speed it up significantly. So I'll trade with Moreau. That'll take two turns off the Petra, which means two turns that we're benefiting from it. Ouch. I haven't seen anyone do a diplomatic victory. It's because diplomatic victory... I, I, I hate to say this, because a lot of work went into the, into the development of the diplomatic victory by the developers. It's just kind of crap. <laughs> like, I hate, I, like, I really don't like saying that, but that's how I feel. It's kind of a crap victory. Um, it's just not fun. I'm going to plug you into Kawa for now, Liang. Just, yeah, it just isn't fun. I just don't enjoy it. I don't think many people do. It's, like, well-designed and stuff like that. It's just, like, for reasons other than the actual, like, thing itself, it just isn't fun for me. I'm going to actually put these guys onto alert mode because I'm tired of telling them to go to sleep every turn. Same for you. I spam so many videos at A to Z. My life is complete now. Oh, you told people to do the A to Z challenge? Or... Were you commenting? Because, like, like, a few people asked me to do something like this, and I don't remember who they were. It's really hard to get the new air points, the newest update. Uh... Should be getting open borders with people, too. 
Patrick on DD, what foolishness is this? I mean, we're just having a good time. I'm not trying to play efficiently. Or anything, forehead. Ah, oh, forehead doesn't work on this website. Damn it, we need to make up new memes. Oh yeah, I mean, like, Patrick is just fun. Like, sure, enough. I, I, I put, like, to a certain extent, I will play as efficiently as possible. But, like, certain things are just fun to go for. Like Petra, Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. In fact, I kind of wish I had changed how I laid this out. Because I would have liked to gone for Hol Mausoleum in here. Instead, I'll likely be going for Mausoleum in the capital instead of this. Uh, espionage should be a factor in diplomatic victory. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the lighthouse in here. That's going to give me another trade route. I have four available, or four, three used, one available. Do I want to purchase another trade route? I'd like to trade with more Scythia. I think that's gold well spent because it'll pay itself off. What else do I want to purchase? Right now I'm just waiting to purchase um, libraries and stuff when I finish my campuses to boost my science. How's my religion spread going? It's not too bad at the moment. Should I spread it more? I think it's fine to let it just passively go. Uh, what's the A to Z challenge? Good God. <laughs> I need to appoint a chatter to answer that question. <laughs> We've been asked it so many times. Somebody take responsibility for that question. Uh, okay, builder. Builder, builder, builder. I made you out of clay. Builder, builder, builder. And with builder, I will play. Uh, I think I'm going to start purchasing an army. I'm going to get myself a quadri ream in here to start, hopefully start just doing a little bit of damage to some of the units hanging around here. It's really triggering not to see the monuments being built. I know, I know, I know, but my culture is fine. And I really should be building monuments, but I just have stuff that I'm a little bit higher priority on. I will get around to monuments, but here's the thing. I have, the reason I'm skipping monuments is because I have really good culture gain from this right here. Um, plus four plus four from temple and plus two from shrine and i'm settled on jade and i'm settled on jade which is kind of making up for my need to build monuments so i'm just kind of focusing on other things right now how frequent will be do you be doing the streams i haven't made that decision yet about exactly how frequent i'll be doing them but i'm hopefully tr hope uh, what i want to do not hopefully i want to do it multiple times a week so i'm going to try to do it that place the future petra mine uh we will look into that hello tamar probably will purchase a builder ideally i would purchase the build, start purchasing builders exclusively in kawa where liang is and then kind of send them out where they need to go uh mistake nathan kessler why skip alex yeah i just made a mistake really that's all it was so i need to get more settlers out we're waiting for these to finish we have another trade route i need a better trade route than that i'm gonna put this in kawa You come back over this way, head over to that city. Quadri room, start cleaning this out. Turtles are online. You're growing to the truffles. Go to the truffles. Tribal village there, beautiful. What exploit were you talking about earlier? Which exploit was that? Um, do you remember what it was in reference to? It's an option to the vanilla menu. Uh, let's see here. Clay Matthews. A potato. How do you get the yield banners? Also, oh, you're joking. Okay, got you. <laughs> <laughs> ban him. I'm I'm kidding. Don't ban him. But ban him. Oh god, I need to cough. <coughs> Turn off the microphone. Woo! Saved your ears. <clears throat> you can thank me later, chat. All right, <clears throat> we got ourselves some Scouterinos. Now, let us do the thing that we demand. Analytics. Uh, cause, yeah, w uh, why do you only play Civ 6? Civ, Civ 6? Because what, that's what the people want to watch. Um, whenever I play anything else, no one really no one really watches me. So I just like, you know, it's like I, I play other games. I just don't like play them on YouTube. I just because just, people don't want to watch that. I, I Play the game that people want to watch, and then when I don't feel like playing that game, I just play other games, and then don't put it on YouTube. It's it's a fairly simple, straightforward system that I'm following. That seems to work quite well for me. Let's go ahead and get some kills in here. You got yourself a promotion. Beautiful. I think he died. 
Uh, no, I coughed myself to death. Uh, Julian, it was the one. Oh, where you get uh, effectively unlimited gold? Yeah, that that one. I, that one. I make a bit of an exception for that one because that one feels a little bit too far in the direction of no kind of game ruining. Let's have a peek around, see if we can find people. Domination series at Rome or Ottoman through loyalty flip only. That sounds rough, dude. I just, here's the thing: those challenges are great. They they just don't sound fun to me, and that, that's the thing that really kind of draws me into a challenge is if the challenge is fun if the challenge sounds like it's a, like a great idea then i'll do it <clears throat> but if the challenge just sounds like some kind of like painful slog it's not really why i'm here to be on youtube i'm here to have a good time and just kind of like hang out with people and you know have a community and stuff like that like obviously part of the motivation is to make some money out of doing it because it's like something i love doing i love sitting here i love talking i love playing games i like making videos all this stuff it's a dream come true all that sort of stuff. That but like, I just, I don't find that kind of thing fun. And so I'm just not going to do it. I, I like the Outer World stream. I'll be, I'll, I'll be hopefully finishing that game on stream. Those were mostly just tests to try to try things out. I would like to get lumber mills now at this point. Maybe I also, now that we're starting to build campuses, it would be a good idea to unlock the university. Over here, we got ourselves another camp, uh, another settler. Do I want to get even more settlers? Yeah, I think the ideal situation here would be to build a harbor, but I also need to get my settlers out. This is the best city to build settlers in. It is time now to reassign uh, you to Moreau and then to reassign Magnus to Sedangus so that this city doesn't lose population anymore. Uh, wouldn't that just be utilizing the entertainment district? Uh, I'd like game Civ 6 the least interesting. What's the ADC? Too bad there's no Auckland or Woosh. They're very long. Wait, what? I mean, why not larger games with like 10 or 12 civilizations? They're just, they're just longer. And I do actually have, in this particular game, 10 civilizations right now. Any city-states can really determine some, some games. Yeah, city-states definitely feel like they can be sort of kingmakers. I like how the Warhammer mod added some really lucrative city-states. I haven't played with the Warhammer mod. That's an interesting idea, though. I do like Warhammer. It is a neat thing that exists that I enjoy. <coughs> I need you to escape onto the island. Uh, playing all leaders in deity in alphabetical order. Correct. Thank you for answering the question. People who answer the question get a golden cookie. All right, there is a plus three error score from our campus. Now, instead of doing the thing that, you know, is expected of me, I'm just going to purchase my library, get it done instantly, and then I can go back to building settlers in here. Although I really want the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, so I'm going to get started on that. It'll take 24 turns. Ideally, these would be settlers, but I mean, the Mausoleum is just so good, I can't really delay it much more. Plus, we'll have the Petra done here in a moment. Uh, speaking of the Petra, it's time to purchase myself another builder in Kawa with a five-charge builder. Oh, Jesus Christ! <clears throat> I forgot to plug in Serfdom. I just lost two build charges. God damn it. Oh, I need to cough again. <coughs> Excuse me. Excusez-moi, mon ami. Uh, right. Uh, all hail to the Omnisia. Omnisia? All wands will break. Uh, convert. I'm going to do the convert a religion thing. I got a few cities that I can convert. Hey, 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 convert. Hey, convert. Should we evangelize? What do you have a galley parked off Buenos Aires? He's hiding. Um, and scouting. Not really much else to do with him. I can't scout up this way. There's way too many quadri rooms on the map. So I'm just kind of hiding. And he's just keeping an eye in case stuff comes over this way. Like if, if someone comes to settle this way, I can kill it. Okay, we got the granary over here in El Kuru. I would love to get to work on the campus. And I think in this particular city, the value of a harbor is diminishing in comparison to the value of a campus because if I get the campus early enough, I'll be able to save the city with the flood barriers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna focus on getting the campus. Science right now is just really important to me. I've been far too behind on science for far too long. We're, they're already working on Renaissance great scientists, which is a bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and, oh, sh shizzle sticks. Uh, but you don't convert at all. Mausoleum is really good. Getting double grade engineer charges is really strong. No, there was a tribal village underneath Buenos Aires. He can't pick this up. 
do I want to put a pasture here that would give this this city a 3-1 tile which is technically not awful we might replace that later but for now that'll be fine do I want to harvest the woods on this tile I think I'm going to harvest to get the city growing and, and going a little bit quicker I think that's a worthwhile thing to do plus one production per turn isn't as good as getting 93 production right now in my opinion um now harbor wise there is an amazing campus right here so i'm going to be putting a campus on that tile and a harbor right here i really really love the changes that they've made to the whole like campus thing that's a plus four campus will be plus five so i'm gonna put a harbor right there then this guy will come down and chop this get that harbor done a little bit quicker um it probably is about time that i started getting monuments though i've been really really delaying my monuments in many 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 of my cities and at this point the value that i'm missing out from not building my monuments is really really high i have them in here so i think i just can't really justify not getting them anymore harborwood culture bomb that's true delegation is welcome thank you your delegation is welcome so people are sending delegations i am four turns from being able to get alliances oh sweet baby jesus campus complete in here let's go ahead and purchase the library settler out you go builder down this way uh let's send you out to convert this city you're going to go do buenos aires then the campus is done in here let's go ahead and grab ourselves a monument for the culture gain you're jumping into the water to escort the settler you're hanging out there good 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 and easily saving the potato. There's a city state where if you're a citizen, you can just purchase Extra city projects and the barriers using space and easily artists. saving your cities. Yeah, I believe that's Valletta. Um, Valletta is really, really good with that. I am going to need to build myself an encampment in a city somewhere. It might be Shat. I'm not sure if Shat is where I want to do this. I would like to get a campus in here. I also want builders to come over here. Um, so Shat is a little bit behind in terms of um, stuff so i'm gonna get the monument and water mill knocked out right really quick here because they'll pay, start paying themselves off really really quickly um <clears throat> so i'm thinking i would like an encampment in one of my cities and i think this is the city to get the encampment in i also i don't know if i want to get a campus in this city i definitely could justify a holy site right here that is a petra hill though that's the problem with that it's a petra hill like hmm what do you think? Yeah, I, ha I hate playing against Australia. They're my least favorite save to go up against. I think we'll, we'll make some decisions about that a little bit later. I'll give myself some time to think about that and ruminate on the decisions that we can make. Take a moment here. You guys are going to be swinging over this way. I'm not building any settlers right now, which is definitely not good for the current stage of the game. Is Auckland in the game or awesome? I, I don't see enough of the map to know that yet. What I really need to do is to get an alliance with uh, possibly Australia, because they'll probably explore the most. I'll get a military alliance with Australia. Although, really, a science alliance would be perfect with Australia. So I'll probably get a, mm, a science alliance, then a military alliance, and then a science alliance with Australia. Uh, let's see. Personally, I think Pipikikis is the best city name. I really should be like naming my city after people who donated. Um, that would probably be a good idea. Uh, take the Petra Hill. Would Brian Baru be a fun leader? I'm sure he could be interesting. I mean, I have full faith in the developers to be able to make basically anything in the game and into an interesting leader. Now, the question is, do I want to send this builder over here to chop this? Or do I want to... <coughs> I have a little bit of a cough, uh, 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 phlegm problem right now. Uh, I think these Petra Hills are just so good that I can't, like, delay them. Another builder. I just got back from work. Thank you for knowing how to pronounce my last name. Bruce Fika? Fika? Potato, have you tweaked around with your new wet cold map type settings? What do you prefer as map settings? I kind of, for me personally, I just kind of do whatever I feel like in the moment. Oh, yes. I actually... Mm. So I actually would like this to pass because I could liberate Fez. I have a navy that could do that. But I'll put two votes into it 
and we'll see if we can make it work. So Wilfred Laurier is in the fight as well. That's what I was really hoping for. So if he's in the fight as well, he has a really big army comparable to, if not better than Scythia. And I can start getting stuff like crossbowmen and bring these galleys around. Um, so we should be able to make that work. Uh, what did you do? What did you work with before YouTube? I basically worked in construction is the uh, simpler answer to that question. So I'm going to switch over to, this is going to really hurt my gold income, but I'm going to switch over to internal trade routes. Um, what is the best city to internally trade with right now? I think it is Moreau. And Sedanga. And Kawa. Get moving potato archer. Okay. All things are looking okay for me at the moment. I have another builder. Tempted to chop and place a mine here. I think I'm going to come down and deal with this. Alright, so we need to have a plan to deal with Scythia here. We have a single crossbowman and a single city with actual like defenses. I'm gonna need some kind of unit. Uh, only one only need one to take Fez. Go military alliance with Canada. Probably a good move, actually, considering we're uh, at war with the same target. Would you pay me money? You would pay me a small bit of money. Then I'll take a science alliance with you. You're going to demand five gold. That's fine. I'll take the research alliance with him because um, it's better to take a research alliance if you are the person with the lower amount of science. <clears throat> Otherwise, you want to avoid it. Now, feudal feudalism. So I would like to plug in the feudal contract card to start building crossbowmen more efficiently. So what, what, that'll be what I do after military tradition here. I'm going to harvest this. That'll finish the monument. Then we can get to work on the harbor. And once we have the harbor, we'll be able to place the campus. Uh, go to warriors, two sluggers, try to snipe barbarian scouts ASAP. So it sounds like something declared. It was Buenos Aires declared war on me. So that's something I just need to keep an eye out for. Um... Claim a great person. We have a great admiral. What do you do? Grants one free copy of the luxury on this tile to your capital. I might send them over to get the whales or the clams. Because we won't get them for a long ass time. Go do that. Alrighty. So I'm going to cancel this settler because I need military units to deal with Fez. We're going to work on crossbowmen. We're going to come in here. We're going to swap this. I'm not building settlers right now, so I can plug that card out. And then we're going to plug in the mm, ba -ba -bum, feudal contract so we build crossbowmen faster. That way we're building crossbowmen in four turns in this city. And then we're going to start slowly but surely just poking our way forward to Fez and start clearing that out. Uh, I had Petra and Ruhr Valley in the same city once. Uh, we could potentially do a Petra Ruhr here if we wanted to. We could do Ruhr Valley here or something like it, you know. If we wanted to. Uh, is that Whale Island over there? Yeah, this is Wales. <laughs> we did abundant resources. Things got a little bit crazy, actually. Uh, in terms of resource distribution. Uh, use Admiral with Navy? Eh, I don't think that's going to matter. Because we're just going to go University into Cartography. In fact, we should probably just go straight Cartography. First, now that that's a priority, yeah, we'll go straight cartography first. Um, I don't think plus five combat strength is going to matter, and we can grind this down with ranged units anyway. You got to do a Scotland game. Uh, I need declared war in Scythia. What kind of freakish map even is this? Who knows? Uh, so when you capture a city state, the walls disappear. When you capture any city, the walls disappear. That's plagiarism. What's plagiarism? Can you pay other AI to join war so you can improve relation? Mm -hmm. Who wants to go to war with Scythia? So it really depends on who Scythia knows. And she doesn't know anyone, so I can't bribe people to go to war with someone they don't know. Like she just doesn't know enough people. You're a dum dum. Uh, definitely do a Petra River, please. Someone you capture. Uh, you're a dum dum. 
Bro, there's no river? What are you talking about there's no river? There's a river right here. Never mind, I'm the dum dum. At least you admitted it, okay? I was gonna I was gonna shit I gave you a moment to, to like admit it before before I went hard on you, okay? Good job. Did I accidentally take movement speed on this guy? No. Convert the city, beautiful. I would never admit that I said something wrong. I would just deflect and deny. <laughs> he pointed to the tile, he could. Uh seriously, because the mods of the patch, she is really strong. I don't, I, I don't, so here's the thing. I don't like to use mods too much on YouTube. When I'm playing on my own, I'll, I'll use mods willy-nilly. Yeah, <laughs> willy-nilly. Um, I'll use, <laughs> I'll use mods willy-nilly um, because they're fun. But I don't want to, um, if somebody is watching me to learn how to play, I want them to be able to follow what I'm doing very easily without having to worry about things. So I'm going to get a cultural alliance with the Congo. For two reasons. A, he has more culture than me. B, he's not anywhere near me, so I don't need to care about his loyalty pressure. And C, for the extra diplomatic favor. Economic alliance with you. Probably religious alliance would be better. TBH. Uh, never mind, it's dumb dumb. It's like a stream. Oh, you call that a river? It's like a stream. Tory potato. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Willy nilly. I don't know why, but the phrase willy nilly is hilarious to me. Uh, what's the best way to do the district discount strategy for a cultural game? Um. That's a hard one. It would probably be something like triple holy site, double campus, government plaza into just mass theater squares. Because I, I, it. It's kind of an awkward thing. I'd have to really sit down and like have a look at it um, to be able to develop a strategy there. Off the top of my head, that's what I would maybe consider. Uh, no one asked about the A to Z challenge in like 15 minutes. Don't you dare. Not you two. Okay. Um, I would like another canal city. So let's, let's actually finally start talking about how we're going to plot our cities here. I definitely want one city beside this piece of desert because we can use that to make the very, very nice... Um, Pyramid. Nubian Pyramid. Which uh, <laughs> requires a uh, desert. What is the A to Z challenge I just joined? Oh my god. Have we figured out what fixture type we're going for? Probably science. Nice chill. Nice chill science game. Um, so this settler would like to go here. So I definitely want one city beside this desert, which means one of these tiles needs to be occupied. Now, which tile... I also would like it to be coastal so they can get a good harbor. That really means there's only three tiles we can settle the city on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's probably going to be right here. Yeah? We can all agree it's going to be right there. This is fresh water. But this captures more boats and leaves more room for cities over here. So... Plus, there's a really nice reef right there. So I'm thinking a city right here. Right now. Right here. Can we sneak in? Uh, I don't think we can sneak in. No, there's no sneaking in happening here. Oh, this archer is dead. It's in range of that crossbowman. Derp. Um, Sean, uh, do, 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 do. where are the toasters? Tomas Jinx and Sean Altomas. Sean the non-believer. Sean the non-believer. One, two, three. Maybe you and me. So here is current thought process. Maybe settle cattle. Cattle settle. Settle cattle. Cattle settle. Settle cattle. Cattle settle. Settle the cattle. Campus right there beside that. Bam. Maybe something here. Maybe harbor, commercial hub, something like that. Then, brum, brum, brum. then we can go city here, campus here, harbor here. Huh? Looking good. Then we'll worry about that later. So with all that in mind, we'll be going there. Okay. Uh, I got bogged down and distracted. Oh no, he's going to pillage me. I fucking forgot I'm at war with this guy. Can we, peace, peace. 
No. No peace. Alright. First tentative step forward. Uh, no canal? Okay. Uh, just nameplate. Well, I mean, is, is it necessary? Is a canal necessary here? Like, what does it do? You always gotta ask, like, what does a canal do? Rather than, is it just a meme? Don't get me wrong. I'm totally on board with, like, getting canals just for the meme of it being a canal. But, like, here, this canal is functional. It, this body of water can't connect to this body of water. So this is, like, useful. Um, does the Nubian Pyramid give anything for government plaza adjacency? I don't think so, actually. I, I don't know off the top of my head, though. I could check for you. Nubian Pyramid. No. Doesn't look like it. Those who in quarrel... I'm worried. I'm worried. A, a lone crossbowman just isn't enough to be playing aggressive with. We we have plenty of time to win this city state emergency. Okay, we got our commercial we got our monument in here. Really would like more um crossbowmen. So I'm gonna be spamming crossbowmen for a little while. Okay, it's awesome to know you see your name Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain. Oh my god, how did you get so many envoys? It's kinda of mind blowing actually. Um I'm amazed that this guy survived. So I don't think deer are very good tiles. I'm going to unlock this and harvest it. There we go. Mausoleum, five turns sooner. May as well improve that. And oh, I could put a Nubian Pyramid here or a mine. The Nubian Pyramid would be not that great. TBH. It would just be this tile. Plus one production. Far better than put a mine. Yay, live steam. Hello, Hamish. Hamish, Hamish. <gasps> ah, run. Uh, watch the horseman come down on you like locust. Uh, yeah, but a crossbowman horde beats a, a, a locust swarm of horsemen, I think. So we could do some damage to this city. Also, he's building the Colos uh, Colossus. Colosseum. Not the same thing. Those are different things. Those are different things. So we could start doing damage to the city. I'm not interested in that just yet. It's going to this defensive tile, so we have control. First crossbowman popping out right now. I'm going to harvest this. Now it's in seven turns. Beautiful. Let's make sure that we're filling out these nice patcher tiles. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Food. Those yields. I know, isn't it beautiful? It's part of the fun. Like, we gotta have a good time. Like, sure, we should be, we, we need to play efficiently, but we also gotta have a good time, right? That's, that's, that's important too. Uh, do you, did he all saves in order of their names? Pretty much, yep. Uh, honestly, Cynthia's like hard reset for me if it's just me and her on a continent. I mean, I feel like you should scroll back. Anus to Zanus. Okay, Dale. You get one of those. Um... Yeah, I feel like all you got to do is uh, either engage her in diplomacy so she doesn't go to war with you early or attack her and use defensive terrain to cut down her army. Like, that's really, really what it boils down to, to me. I don't want to sell you that. I need my iron. I might want to build a knight or two. So there's a massive army uh, battle going on here. Aha, so this is what I was expecting. But I'm on defensive terrain and she isn't. So there's buttresses and tech boosts. I'm actually going to have these guys back up. Um, because I don't want them to think the city is under threat. I want them to think that this is just like a crossbowman duel happening right here. Which it is. That's what's happening. But I want them to not like panic and think the city is under attack. Might get myself a catapult actually. Uh, I need more crossbowmen first before I get a catapult. Uh, I come late. You took out Cleo. I did not take out Cleo. What map is this? This is Splintered Fractal or something? Yeah, you're right. I've been in so many statements whether I just concede defeat. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally understand the perspective of like running up against a civilization that you don't like fighting and then just being like uh, tapping out and not wanting to play anymore. Like I can respect that because I run into that situation sometimes. 
Well, it doesn't have to be that way if you don't want it to be. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to work on an encampment in here. We always want to have one encampment across our entire empire so that we can build military engineers to be able to finish the flood barriers more easily in the late game. Uh, this has been cleared out. I think this will be a lumber mill. Now, I have lumber mills unlocked. I do not have lumber mills unlocked, which is bad. I'd have to divert for four turns to finish that, which is far from ideal. Okay, we have one missionary charge. Let's go do El Kuru. Pillage crabs and fez. Uh, actually, it's a good call. Pillage that next turn. Settle here. It's obviously not where I would love. I don't really love this settlement, but it does the job. Oh my god, I never unlocked plantation tech. What is wrong with me? Right. Plantation into cartography, into lumber mills, into education. Let's do the purchasing. Uh, so now I'm at the stage of the game where I need to start purchasing these buildings because otherwise they're not going to pay themselves off fast enough. So we're going to start off by purchasing the water mill because that's the 25% boost to the city's production. We're going to immediately start on a harbor because that's a big boost to the gold income. Uh, I'm not sure what it is going to be. I'm not spilling atoms here. i got to say I love the videos, especially when I watch them at 2x speed. I mean, I can act at 2x speed if that makes you happier. If that makes you moister than an oyster, I can act at 2x speed. Ah, I'm being chased. Run. Why? Okay, there we go. Use quad to shoot Fez. Thousands have lived without... <sighs> well... Quadrium is busy right now. Um, is the problem. I'm trying to clear this shit out. It will go help, eventually, don't you worry. Did I just sip really loudly in my microphone? With nearly 900 people watching me? I'm an idiot. Oh, wow! They, uh... That's... An outstanding move from the AI. Oh, please settle that city. Do me a favor and settle that city. Alright, uh... Whales... Just don't kill this, okay? What mod shows the other player's details? It's not actually a mod. It's built into the default interface settings. All you got to do, you come up here to the top right-hand corner of the screen. You click these three little arrows, or lines. You click on the options menu. You go down to interface. Over here, it says show yields in HUD ribbon. Click this and set it to always show. If you always want to see what these numbers are. Also, time to get more friendships with people. Declare friendship. Also, Brazil. How are you looking uh, in terms of how much you pay for this? Three gold per turn, that's a really bad deal. Wilfred, on the other hand, you are broke. Never mind. Congo, they usually they will pay pretty good price for like Diplo favor. Ah, okay, so they will pay 50%. 50% is a good deal. What I mean by 50% is if I put 40 in, they'll give me 20. <clears throat> Sometimes the AI will pay up to 150%, which means for every diplomatic favor I put in, I'll get 1.5 gold per turn off them, which is pretty tasty, let me tell you. Um, so can you go pillage this? I mean, it, it only got me health, so, like, pillaging fishing boats isn't really super useful or helpful or important. But, I mean, people ask me to do it, so I will do it. <coughs> mm -hmm. Let's keep getting ourselves some crossbowmen to keep fighting this war. Uh, thank you so much, Mind Blown. Three little lines are actually called a hamburger. Your mom's a hamburger. Got them. Roasted. Just like roasted hamburger. Roasted clams? Steamed hams? Steamed clams. It's an Albany dialect. Oh, I went the wrong way. <clears throat> uh, add, that detail, add that detail to your video description as a FAQ. Let's be honest here. Nobody is reading my FAQs if I ever put them in. Ah, it's a quad. Get out of here. Uh, it doesn't only happen when you run out of your uh, saves, city names. Uh, we bow to your knowledge and save. We are not worthy. Your mom's worthy. Got him. All right. We're, uh, we're, so we're at the... For those of you who don't know... Oh, I meant to put a lumber mill there. Oh, well. I finished the mausoleum. It's fine. We're at the um, your mom joke phase of the game, where basically 
Uh, each turn, I need to entertain myself or I go insane. And so I'm just going to make your mom jokes until we get out of this phase. Now, these are some tasty yields. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Now, I could go for the Colossus here. That would be plus one trade route. Uh, you wouldn't roast a burger? Uh, All right, I'm ahead out. Race fast for me. And only ever appearing in my non-religious games. I mean, I'm not going to race fast. I'll raise the roof. Now, what do we want to do here with the mausoleum city? I could start building a settler in here if I really wanted to. I could, for example, focus on growth. I have Pingala in here. I've got five turns until I could build my next district. My de next district is likely an industrial zone. So we should really start thinking about where we want that to go. Um, I don't really have a very good industrial zone location because I killed things in here so it might actually just be a theater square that gets popped down in here although a theater square isn't really super important so i could instead mm, there's not really a whole lot of districts in here that give me a whole lot of value so this might just be a city that gets settler your mom some tasty yields got him damn right you did got him ha got him uh, okay, so I definitely want some steamed clams here. Ba-bam. That's 300 gold plus a free luxury in the capital. I accident. Oh my god. People are even talking in my Discord about how I accidentally skipped Alexander. Oh no. Oh no, no. I'll just hide the video until I stream the Alexander game. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Did Potato Nuke Gandhi? Not yet. We're working on it. Don't you worry about that. All right, there is Medieval Fairs. Now, we got ourselves another governor title. And I think Grants at this stage of the game is a pretty reasonable promotion to take. The other one is potentially go for Aquaculture to get the Fishery Tiles. It would make this city a little bit more workable. Um, we're pretty close to getting Harbors. I think I'm going to go for Grants here. I really like Grants. I was waiting for the yields on that desert mine hills by the arch with the Petra. Oh man, I'm going to do that one last. <laughs> All right, crossbowman completed. Starting to get what I would call a uh, good Chuchin little army going here. Darn Chuchin, we got ourselves a squad. Let's get ourselves a catapult. Paracult. <clears throat> Oh, that sounds kind of dirty, actually. Let's not say that one. Uh, let's go to Casa Ibrim. Now, I might harvest for food. Yeah, you know what? If I harvest for food, I could build a district sooner in here. I could place the district sooner, actually. Yeah, that seems like a pretty reasonable move. Uh, Grant OP. What the fuck is Congo on about? I have no idea. Does it make a difference in which city the trader starts? Yes. Um, but only because if I tr so if I trade with Buenos Aires from this city this city gets the gold if I trade from El Curu this city gets the gold so yes it does matter if you uninstall and reinstall as a way to ensure your save files yes if you go to okay let me let's hope that I can do this without revealing any personal information okay all right there's going to be a button. I, ha I have this pinned. But you go to like this PC documents, my games, Sid Meier Civilization 6 saves single player. Just copy this. Just copy this whole folder if you uninstall the game. It shouldn't be removed. It it'll usually prompt you. But if you are worried, just make your own copy of it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I did it without re releasing, without doxing myself. We did it. Um, why the YouTube stream versus Twitch? I mean, look at the view count. Whew. We got nearly a thousand people in here on YouTube. I get like a hundred. This is just way more uh, satisfying for my ego. <laughs> no, uh, the the actual reason. Um, the actual reason is basically um, a lot of people were asking me, and I was getting these questions constantly, and I and I felt bad because I never really had an answer. People would come to me like on Patreon and be like, "Hey, potato, I see you have a Patreon, you have a Twitch stream, and you have YouTube, uh, but they all have like subscription options. I can like give you money on either platform. Um, so like, you know, which one is best?" And I was like, I don't know which one is best. Um, so then I said, you know what? I'm just going to stick to YouTube. So I, I'm getting rid of the Patreon. Now, any Patreon stuff is going to be done through the YouTube membership program. And I'm mainly doing this in, as an experiment to see if this actually like helps my channel or does anything as well. Um, and, and that way, people don't have to ask that question. It's like, yep, if you want to support me, here's how you do it. You just you go here, you do this thing, and that's it. 
mission accomplished. So I'm going to step onto the um, encampment here. A little trick that a lot of people don't know. I think I've talked about this in the video about... Um, what do you call the do, 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 the tribal hut village the tribal hut video if you stand on a encampment as it is built you'll be able to instantaneously pillage it does youtube streaming pay better than twitch uh probably worse but the advantage of youtube streaming is perhaps it'll make my the rest of my channel better i don't know if that's true we're running an experiment to find out but uh the other things <clears throat> the other reasons are it just simplifies it because like a lot of people they ask me oh you stream uh i, I don't know when you stream whereas if I stream on YouTube, it's very easy to find me. It's like, you're already subscribed to me. If you want to support me financially, you can do it through YouTube. If you want to watch me play edited videos, you can do it through YouTube. If you want to watch me do live streams, you can do it through YouTube. And that way, just everything is in one place and people don't have to struggle to figure out what the best way to do things is. I just make it so simple for them that, and it's honestly, it's simpler for me too. And I think by simplifying things, I'll be able to put more work into stuff. That Those are kind of like all of the reasons that I'm currently sort of, uh, sort of justifying it to myself with. Uh, one of my first coastal games, Dan, that's smart with the district promotion. Mm -hmm. I saw your address, it said Ireland doxed. Oh, shit. Uh, that Tribal Hood video was amazing. Uh, well, you know, thank Marbazir because I basically just stole his idea. <laughs> Although, uh, I did actually talk to him before I did it. I said, hey, I really liked your Tribal Village video. I was like, I want to do the same thing. Are you cool with that? And he was like, Sounds reasonable. <laughs> I don't know. That was my attempt to impersonate Marbazir. He it was a good... I, I, I give myself a 2 out of 10. <clears throat> okay. Uh, which save is the worst? All of them, except for the one that I'm playing. Probably... Georgia is a hard sell still, I feel. Smash the bell button. I knew you, I knew you did. Lemay and Marbazir is great too. What do I want to do here in Kawa? The hard thing is, I want to build the ancient walls, builder, siege, camera sure. I could just go ahead and get another settler in here. Alternatively, I could get a builder and start improving these tiles with fisheries. That sounds kind of fun to me, actually. Uh, hi, love the vid. First live stream I managed to catch. Thank you so much, Ve Vegasos. Vegasache? Vegasache817. I don't know how to say your name. Uh, so, guys, question. Are we keeping the pasture here? Are we keeping the pasture or are we deleting it? Because if we delete it, then we're definitely delaying improving this tile. Are we keep we keep the pasture just for diversity's sake? Just to have like a tile that looks a little bit different? I think so. Look at that. That's a cool tile. Uh, amazing Marbazir impersonation. Sounds reasonable. I don't know if it was that good. I, I would give myself like a 2 out of 10 on that one. <clears throat> Didn't Georgia get a bit better with the September update? I agree. Can you explain the A to Z challenge? Uh, yes. So uh, we're going to be singing the alphabet back, back backwards 24-7 while we play Civ. Uh, go chat. Uh, it, uh, did I mention it was chat's job to do the singing? I swear I said that somewhere. All right. So we finally cleared out this island. Uh -huh. Calgary. I'm going to trade with... Eh, it's kind of dangerous. Let's just trade with the capital. Uh, Boomer, vibe check. Oh my god. Zoomer's out. This is a zoomer free zone, okay? No TikTok memes, no nothing. Vibe check. I swear to God, Otto. You've already. All right, that's it. Permaban. You were given. You were given warning. <laughs> you were given your warning. Press F for Otto von Bismarck, boy. You got to get yourself a VPN and a new account, buddy, if you want to come back to chat. Or send me an email and beg to be freed from the pits of hell, and I might do it. Um, okay. I have no qualms about... Oh, shoot. Phone call. I'll be back in about a minute.
Uh, Otto is calling Omega Lol. Yes, the Colossus. Didn't you have a list for people who spam or spread bullshit in the comments? I used to, but it was just too much work. Um, got his number. Base cost, 400 production. Do I want to build the Colossus in chat? Uh, it's a free trade route. It would give me a little bit of caution. Sure. Let's build the Colossus. Free trade route. Seems good. Well, it's not free. It costs 400 production. Uh, must be adjacent to a harbor owned by this city. That is not true. Alexander has returned this time to blackmail Potato and put him back into the game. You need a new ringtone, Potato. Why? Harvest. I like being a boomer with my boomer ring tall. Uh, can I be built on a lake? Is Congo calling, saying he's happy that Potato is recognized as a true leader of the world? Yes, exactly. Oh, hello. Look at this. Look how easy it is to manage diplomacy. Look at that. Friendships with everyone except for Scythia. Wait. Did I accidentally get peace with her? When did I get peace? Wait a minute. Did that happen when I was having my phone call? Oh my god. Whatever, we can we can kill the city really quickly in nine turns. It's fine. Why did I peace out? I didn't even realize that I did it. I was just clicking on buttons, trying to click away from things. <laughs> this is what happens when you're streaming, man. It, it, like, it's way harder to concentrate on things. And like read chat and play at the same time. Rest in peace. Uh, why? I'm not gonna bother reloading. I'll just live with the mistake because I can. I, I can fix it <coughs> in a few turns when Fez happens. Although the encampment will be a problem. <coughs> not all who want in peace. Although what I can do is make a deal. Open borders. Shabam. Oh, that won't work. Never mind. Just, just reload. Saves. Come up. Not potato. Pieced out. I don't have a pan. I accidentally pieced her. Listen, <laughs> these things happen. Okay, not the end of the world. It is the end of the war. Quadrireme. I don't know, I, dude. I don't even know how I managed to piece her out. But uh, we will be upgrading caravels. What are you doing here? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Get over here to Kazari Brim. So we can do caravel upgrades now, which is nice. Do do do. <clears throat> uh, put a mine there. My voice is starting to break from talking too much. We shall play more, talk less. <clears throat> Reload because it's the emergency declaration. It's fine. I could just be like, hey, Canada. Can I rejoin your war? Like this, look. Uh, I have to wait till I'm at peace. Uh, I have to wait till I can declare war, rather. Potatoes. Ah! Hey, Kale Beltran, thank you so much for becoming a member of the YouTube channel. I appreciate that, dude. Fist bumps, hugs, love, all that juicy stuff going your way. All right, we got ourselves a catapult as well to participate in this war. Man, I want settlers in here, but I have neglected the city for far too long. It's time to get a harbor. <clears throat> N? Poo? Q? Why are people just typing letters? M N L O P. Oh right, because I said you guys have to do the alphabet backwards. <laughs> oh, never change chat, okay? Okay, monument is done in here. I'd love to get the campus. Where is a good campus spot? Uh, oh, there's a good campus spot, but we definitely need a builder in here. Post haste. Where is my dirty little Magnus? Magnus, get over to Napata. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -boo. Magnus and Napata, we got ourselves a monument here. 
actually don't need the aqueduct in here, so I think I'm going to skip that. And instead... Well, if I get the aqueduct and get an industrial zone... Or... What else could we work on? Really, I just want the campus and an industrial zone in here. So even if it's... Kind of, I don't really want to go for industrial zones. It's not very good for me, this game. I don't have really good industrial zone. I don't really have the empire for an industrial zone game. So it might just be a holy site. Just kind of like a crappy holy site to give me a little bit of faith. Um, oh, well, what is happening to Australia science? Australia... Uh, is presumably getting murdered uh, right now. That's why his science is tanking. Uh, which I'm totally in favor of. I'm okay with Australia getting their, um, you know, proverbial poo-poo pushed in. Shut up, Bernando. Wait, why, why are you telling Bernando to shut up? What did he do? Plus five gold, harbor. Did I build the wrong harbor? Whatever. Uh, does Magnus bonus apply when he's just assigned and not yet established? Your mom says you gave her a disease. That's weird. Oh my god, he's got sparkles in chat. Uh, Quadrairim? Shut up, Kekistan. Ooh. Kekistan is pretty cringe. Not gonna lie. Wait, did I just trade 20 Diplo favor for a luxury? Damn it. The AI is taking advantage of my distractedness. Damn you. <clears throat> is the AD, uh love streams daily, weekly, random? I have no I haven't made a decision on that, but it'll be somewhat non-random. Preferably basically whenever I feel like it. That's where I'm where I'm operating out of. And the reason it's every it's whenever I feel like it is because whenever I promise anything else, I fail to deliver. So if I just don't promise anything, I can never fail. Welcome to fatherhood 101. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do not do as I do. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. Got a kids? Hopefully there's no kids watching this. Oh, no! Go! I make way too many risky jokes for anyone under the age of 37 to be watching. Goddamn Zoomers. Zoomers in my chat. Out. Re. Okay, we finally cleared this of barbarians, so we can get two more settlers for it if we wanted to. We have one on the way. These guys are ready to be upgraded to caravels, which will hopefully make a difference in chunking down Fayez. Uh, so no one will constantly ask the same question again. A to Z challenge, but you have to build everything. Can we just quick sticky that explanation to the stream? No. It's more fun. Look, listen. That's how you get people in. That's how you get engagement. People come in. Hey, what is the A to Z challenge? And you're like, well, let me educate you, friendly chat member. And that's how you, that's how you drive engagement. It makes my live stream look like there's lots of people watching, lots of people commenting. All my YouTube stats go up. Next of all, I'm like the next PewDiePie, except I'm like scuffed PewDiePie. I'm like budget PewDiePie, right? I'm like it the PewDiePie that you have at home. To be able to okay. Uh... So we have shot here. Do, 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 do. I want the industrial zone right there, and then I surround it with mines. That'll bring it up to a plus four adjacency, which is pretty decent. I would like to get a builder first. Uh, I think I lost the Colossus because it was built somewhere else, presumably. Uh, okay, Boomer, it's about Magus. I am the perfect age. Your mom's the per got him. Uh, you never answered the question. Well, I was playing and I was thinking about it. I don't remember if I tested it, and you kind of know a bit a lot about save. Sorry, uh, there's a lot of questions in chat. Sometimes I miss them. You feel free to re-ask. Uh, does Magnus bonus apply when he is assigned and not established? No. In order for Magnus's bonuses, in order for any um, governor's bonuses to apply, they need to be established. Uh, backwards alphabet is hard. So what's the A to Z challenge? Somebody educate the man. Okay, so I want mass production so that I can get my hands on shipyards. I would like to start purchasing shipyards. I also would like to get my hands on military engineering. I have mercenaries too. Three turns away, I'll be switching into that government right there. So the A to Z challenge is clickbait, pretty much. The A to Z challenge is playing all saves in alphabetical order on DD difficulty, yes. Uh, let's go ahead and I don't really don't want to put any things down here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Potato strategy is confuse the audience. I'm down, but I would be if I wasn't confused. Your mom's confused. Got him. Uh, farm triangle? This seems like a decent... This seems like a decent farm triangle location. Uh, a to Z challenge, please. 5x A to Z challenge. Getting all five victories on all saves. Oh my god. What is... 
that would be some marathon stuff right there. All right, Fez is next. How long until I can go to war? Probably the same. Four turns, got it. Four turns lines up pretty well with what I want to do, actually, because I can get these caravels and start smashing the city. Just like I was smashing your mom. Got him. I shouldn't make those kind of jokes on YouTube. I'm not sure what, like, the toleration is on that one. Uh, <clears throat> Potato markets. Alphabetical order based on leader name, except we forgot Alexander. Shh, don't tell people about Alexander. Tomirius was ravaged. No. Uh, Potato, so you already lost the challenge? <laughs> Shut up, Matthew. <laughs> Clickbait is not a crime. You Clickbait is almost mandatory on YouTube. And, like, here's the thing. There's clickbait. Which is like dishonest. And then there's like clickbait, which is honest. It's like, I'm just trying to present this information in the most interesting way. Like, I see clickbait as someone being like, oh my god, you won't believe what happens. Not clickbait, lol. Whereas, like, good clickbait is like, um, I, you know, I made an entire map. Of desert in Civ 6 right that's that's good get clickbait because it's like per, like it, it, it piques someone's interest it doesn't give anything away and it's kind of like I kind of want to see what happens in an entire desert map uh, your mom is Alexander got him that should be a Civ 6 100% speed run the A to Z challenge playing all Civs in alphabetical order on DD difficulty that would literally take months uh, unless he learned some unless you unless you used literally every exploit um, Mom smashing retracted. Clickbait is a human right. You killed Alexander. Chat, educate the man. Education for free? Where are we? Europa? I'm in Europa. Uh, DD level clickbait. Make one mature joke. YouTube goes from 800 to 200 instantly. <laughs> Don't say that. It's my number one fear. Um, uh, What the hell is honest clickbait? So one of my favorite channels. Uh, why your burrito restaurant? Where is it? This guy, okay? Why are burritos so insane? I'm not gonna watch this video. I'm just gonna show you. Like this title right here. Why are restaurant burritos better than homemade? This is like such good clickbait because it's like you're like, I don't know why they're better. I wanna know. And it's like a three minute long video. And you're like, I do wanna know. I wanna know what the answer to this question is. You see this shit floating in your thingy, you say, Why are restaurants? Burritos better than homemade. You see the time, you're like, oh, that's only three minutes. That's good clickbait. Right? Although you could just say that's just like good thumbnail game. Uh, click. Units of the chosen project class came plus five. We shall do ranged. Title says something that doesn't happen. That's bad clickbait. Desert. Oh, world only is very hard we will be uh, we will be doing a desert only world uh, that's something i've been planning for quite a while actually is doing a desert only world i just got to figure out how to actually like observe a game because I, I don't want to play a game on a desert world it doesn't sound very entertaining to be to actually be the player okay so let's uh i feel like university is like the obvious choice here but i don't want to spend the gold on it because i want to upgrade my units i'll be able to upgrade them for about half price anyways another builder we'll purchase at university later on now once we have exploration we'll be changing our government quite a bit is the answer because the restaurants know how to make a burrito oh my god somebody locked that man up he knows this too much he knows too much he knows our secrets the burrito secrets is a if, if a person who serves coffee called a barista is a person who serves burritos a burrito stuff think about it uh next turn very good clickbait is like DLC. It happens, but a year later. True. Uh, potato, third approach, theater square, fix in capital. Theater square? I don't have a theater square. Uh, Petra equals win on Desert World. Hell yes. The day we start do, 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 do,
and change our government. We are going to be taking the builder card. We are also going to be taking the 50% uh, discount on all unit upgrades. We are also going to be taking the trade confederation potentially uh right now i'm not doing much international trading actually so that's probably not worth it however it would be good to take the campus uh, adjacency because i do have really good campus adjacency i would also like to get the harbor adjacency that's going to be what i pick up next for now i might just plug in republican legacy and the um conscription card yeah So in terms of our next thing, we're going to be unlocking naval tradition for harbor adjacency. We are then going to be swinging up for diplomatic service to get our spies. There is the holy site. Now I can safely plop down myself a delicious plus three campus, which is in technically actually a plus uh, six campus based on certain things. I'd like to also pop down a mine here. I'm going to chop that. Uh, incoming free settler. Oh, oh my God. Um, when can I declare this war? One turn. I swear to God, the settler better not run. Uh, so we can upgrade these galleys for half price now. Beautiful. Now we got ourselves some caravels. We should be able to rip down Fez relatively quickly. It doesn't have walls built. It has none of that shenanigans going on. Pop a farm here. We got ourselves a nice farm triangle. We got ourselves a catapult ready to go. Pop a mine right there. That'll be nice for the industrial zone. Pop a mine right there as well. You're hanging out just waiting for good stuff to happen. Actually, cattle over here seems like a pretty good move. Uh, purchase settler. I could purchase a settler. Mm, not really what I want to do. My gold is reserved for other things. I'd rather turn production into settlers because it's more efficient, in my opinion. Oh, God, that's a caravel. Uh, hey, Scythia. Uh, sorry, rather, I want to talk to Wilfred Laurier. Hey, Wilfred, I would like to join your ongoing war with Tomiris. I want to join on the emergency thing. Yoinks thanks uh now step forward shoot quadri ream step forward shoot you come around you come around hit to the city hit to the city thank you for the settler i'm gonna step back because i don't want my unit to get shot for free i'd rather to get paid when i get shot you know what i'm saying uh, we got the industrial zone. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the workshop. We also got a harbor in here. There's the lighthouse. We are going to do the purchase. We're going to purchase base. We're going to start purchasing a lot of infrastructure now that we're deep into the game. We're going to be ideally uh, doing a lot of purchasing. See, I taught you hay farms. Uh, farms are okay in certain contexts, in certain circumstances, and sometimes. They are, generally speaking, not great, but there are sometimes it's okay. So, for example, usually I would get farms in a non-coastal city that needs to be fed. This city doesn't need farms, but I can see there being an argument to occasionally get farms in here. What I really need is a shipyard in here, because that's actually a lot of production that I'm missing out on. I also need to build a lumber mill. I need to find a forest that is untouched. So, right here, I'm going to put the lumber mill on that, just purely for the tech boost. No other reason. We'll, of course, be harvesting that forest later on. I think it will be good to improve that. You're hanging out there. We'll go to the next turn. Uh, does placing mines have a negative effect on appeal for the top? Yep. Yes, it does. So we stole ourselves a settler. Let's go ahead and move up on the city. I'm really annoyed at you, with Canada, with your crappy little quadrireum sitting there, chipping away at the city. Potato, you planned Theatre Square next to the Capitol Mausoleum. I did, um, but I don't need it because I actually have plenty of culture. Let's get this campus in here. We'll ideally be purchasing most of our buildings now that we have a really good gold line. And we'll be hopefully improving that gold line as the turns go by. You hang on there. Alrighty. <clears throat> A to Z challenge is playing every civilization on deity in order. Correct. Gonna, oh! I meant to put a lumber mill there. Nobody saw that. Shh. Chat, don't say a word. Don't even mention it. Damn it. I wanted the boost for mass production. I messed it up. I have a farm as a village to make land less, less boring. May waste some builder charges, but role-playing different uh, roles for regions is fun. See, if you enjoy the game role-playing, hell yeah, dude. You go ahead. What kind of victory are you going for? Science, I think. Science is usually the default victory that I go for on large maps just because it's heinously, 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 heinously painful to go for any other victory type on a large map. 
uh, in particular domination. I, I will only do domination on rather small maps. I remember I watched um, Hadrian do a Roman domination game on a huge 16 player map and watching that was actual torture. Has both. Not like because it, it wasn't good, but just like I could see the suffering of like grinding your way through an entire TSL world. Um, and I didn't like it. Okay, Fez will be mine next turn. We have four envoys. I could take control. I'm going to hold off on doing that until I find more. Was it supposed to be a lumber mill? No, it was supposed to be a lumber mill and I messed it up. So, you know, these things happen. It's not the end of the world. I make mistakes sometimes. I'm not infallible. Sometimes I play too quick for myself. I prefer to play quickly and make mistakes than to play slow and make no mistakes. I'd rather just get through a game than to, like, optimize every single possible decision. Um, just because I get, like, if I do that, I get bored and I get sick of it and I just, I don't want to play anymore. Uh, what about a frozen burritos? Uh, science isn't going well. Uh, we'll be fine. Don't you worry. We're up to 92 science per turn, which is pretty close to the best people. Uh, you know, we'll be, don't you worry about science. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. I've done this a million times. So I'm thinking one more settler. I'll, yeah, I'll get a settler. Could do a theater square. Could do an industrial zone. Theater square here isn't terrible. Play all safely. The science victory is good. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine for a science victory. Yeah, I think we'll get a settler. It'll take 24 turns. It's a long ass time for a settler, but I think that's going to be the last settler in the game that's actually worth building. Any other settlers after that are just memes. <clears throat> uh, okay. We want the library. We want to maximize our science gain, but ideally we want to purchase this li um, the thingies. Do -do. Shoot there. Take with Caraval. Fez is mine. Liberate. A worst part about liberating is that it kicks all your units into the danger zone, and it's like something I absolutely hate. Settle here. Delete that pin. This city is losing loyalty. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves Liang. Plug her into that city. It's fine. I don't care about losing a builder charge. The city will want a library, or not a library. You know what I mean. Monument, granary, all that usual good stuff. Should you take a moment to get yourself healed up? Lumber mill there. Maybe I can get a lumber mill. Do -do, do -do -do -do. If you had to choose between Arabia and Japan, who would you choose? They are both your favorite saves. I don't know, actually. That's a tough choice. I think I would choose... Japan is just more interesting as a civilization because you can do more. But Arabia is more fun for science and, from a science and religion standpoint but japan is kind of more flexible highway to the danger zone hell yes all right we earned member rewards so from now on we get plus one gold from our each of our envoys we also got 100 diplomatic favor so that's a pretty good thing that we did we managed to liberate fez also because i liberated fez i am now their suzerain which means spreading my religion gets me sat. no i'm not having this happen again no 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 no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. If that guy had appeared one turn later, it would have been over. Uh, if you ignore his first name. First of his name. Okay, workshop completed. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a stable. Do we want to get a stable? Uh, yes, we actually do want to get a barracks and a stable in here because we want to build up the... Armory. We want to get ourselves an armory. That's probably going to be my next unlock after industrialization. Is industrialization that important for me? No, actually. In this particular game, I'm not really getting it. It might be worth it for this city, Shan, and that's it. Um, UI. Oh, shoot. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to switch in the harbor adjacency policy over Republican legacy. But bam, gold, huge gold boost. More importantly, shipyards are now going to be godlike once we have them. And we lined that pretty pretty well, right? We got the we got the whole thing set up for when we unlock shipyards. And then we'll be able to get a huge amount of production from improving those right there. All right, you'll take a moment here. I'm going to steal that builder. And then I'm going to take the volley promotion so you're fully healed. You're going to go back here to heal. Uh, I was that close to pressing F, T, B, H. Somebody is traumatized. F for the fishing boats. 
the fishing boats aren't the problem. The big problem was he almost pillaged a settler at sea, which basically instantly deletes the settler out of the game, which means anything I spent to get that settler is just gone, dude. Uh, sure, you can have an embassy. Hmm. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Uh, you could say that industrial zones are pretty shat in this game. Got him. <laughs> Good one, dude. All right, let's start building cheap buildings. These guys are all just going to fortify. Shipyard plus four. Get that in there. Press F to feel emotions. Is there a way to unbind the F key? Pepe Hans. Do, 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 do. All right, we got ourselves a really nice industrial wheezing laughter. <laughs> uh, hello, Sir McQuiskey. Fairly recent new viewer and YouTube sub. Your videos are both entertaining and very educational and have changed the way that I view all my Civ games. Uh, uwu? Is that a vuwu? Usually it's uwu. Is that a vuwu? It was two Vs. Or am I reading it wrong? Uh, it's not working. What's not working, Moondrake? Uh, potato, plug in veteran seat. Oh, sh God, I forgot. Thank you so much. I forgot. I always forget that. I always forget that. I forget it. That new card is so good. Damn it. I just, because it's new, I forget. That's my defense. Veterancy is so good, dude. It's, it's because it's fairly recent in the patch that I just forget that it exists. <clears throat> it's going to be a while before I um, remember that one. That's something I need to consciously like work on in my game plan. Is getting that one underway. So what we'll do is at the end of this turn, we'll switch in... Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The thing. The thing that makes uh, the switching government for free. So we'll switch our government for free. For free. Oh, I was continuing with the joke of press F to feel emotions. Got it. F. John Curtin's in my chat. I hate you, John Curtin. You're the worst. You're the worst AI to come up against. All right, so we can change our government. Uh, conscription now. I don't need unit upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and plug in Veterancy. There it is. Veterancy is so good. So, 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 so. So good. All right, there's guilds. We'll go for diplomatic service. Then we'll swing up to civil engineering. Uh, we just got a builder in Kawa. Let's chop that right there. I think we can get this harbor in a reasonable amount of turns with this chop as well. Unit needs orders over here. You're just hanging out. You are going to go get that fishing boat online. And you may as well do a bit of exploration. Now that we have basically done what we need to do in the war with, what's her name? Scythia. We can just kind of go about exploring and making good times happen, good vibes happen, all that jazz. You know what I'm talking about. Harvest that, get that done. Uh, broken Civ. Uh, they should allow you to turn on a question if you didn't use your free policy change. Turn on a question? What? Uh, worse than Korea. Wait, how does that work? That would be A or B, for instance. Wait, what? Uwu, the happy enemy face? Yeah, whereas like he did like a V a V woo. Press F to tell your mom got him. Damn right. I mean, we'd be at it. Okay, I don't think I'm going to change any of that. I have another governor title. Would be good to get agriculture. Would it? Would it really be that good? I don't think it's that good. I, I think that's overrated. On the other hand. Reina is pretty good because she gives double adjacency. So I can pick a city that already has like really good adjacency on its harbor and get like incredible adjacency. So like this will be doubled to 10 by the card and then to 15 again by Reina. So I'm going to put her in Sedanga because that seems like fun to me to make that into a super city. 
Uh, cool. Why did you uh, fix the tile for Fez? Because it was free and I'm walking by. It didn't cost me anything to do it. Pretty much the full logic of my thought process there. It was an upward arrow thingy? Yes, it was. Uh, Korea is OP and brain dead. So is your mom. Got him. All right. On length there. You jump up there. We harvest that. Nine turns on that shipyard. You, on the other hand, I guess we should may as well improve that with what we can. You pop there. Range attack. Go get the piggies online. Oink, oink. They should add Stalin just for the memes. I don't think... Um, I don't think that's a good meme. I don't think we should glorify the Soviets. Zdasty comrade. We should make fun of them like we should everyone. I'm going to build the shipyard. I'm going to build a few of the shipyards this game because I don't quite have as, as much gold as I would normally do in these games. Plus a few of my traders have been killed and I kind of want to restore my traders. I also need to get peace with Tammy. Tammy in one turn, I can get peace. So if I can get peace in one turn, then I may as well buy out whatever traders I can. Uh, Stalin wasn't Civ 4 anyway. Yeah. I just don't think the developers want to be associated with any sort of controversial stuff. Because it is just... The way they want to make their game. And uh, the bigger the 10 foot pole they can put between them and the controversial stuff, the more accessible and cool their game is, and the less likely they are to be criticized. <clears throat> well, potato, your Russian is terrible. Drasti? Davai. Suka. I have to say that one quietly. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they brought back Ka Catherine for Russia. Catherine is cool, cool leader for Russia. I think. I think they. I think they just wanted to experiment with different leaders, though. I think that's like a pretty reasonable thing to do, in my opinion, is to experiment with different leaders for different civilizations, because you might end up with a more interesting game. You know what I mean? Uh, I would like to have done so far for the leaders avoid people from the last 100 years too much of a hassle or hatch approach. Yeah, they attack you with the ancient air bol bolts while you have battleships. Oh, yeah, it's a bit silly. Okay, let's talk to Tomiris. Peace, please. You'll pay me because I pooped all over you and got a bunch of war score against you. Thank you for the thing. Though saying I pooped all over someone is probably a bit of a <coughs> sketchy way to describe interactions with people. So we're going to trade with Pazirk for the 12 gold. And we will trade with Fez for the 12 gold. We're mostly looking for gold with our trade routes. My cop for another 12 gold. That's what we're looking for. Gold, gold, gold. We want to maximize our gold. The more gold we can get, the more of these shipyards we can purchase. The more things we can purchase, the faster we get to the late game. All that sort of jazz. Catherine brought sexy back to house. Sexy back to house. Romanov. Ah, oh, the Romanovs were some cool cats. And a cat's the only cat. Who knows where it's at. All right, let's go ahead and pop that right there. We'll go to the next turn. Spot on, Harriet. The further back the war crimes, the easier it is for them to cartoonize the leader. <laughs> Too real. Whew. Nubian Pyramid. Straight in for the harbor. Make sure we remember to put the campus on this tile right there. Okay, let's go into turbo mode. We're officially in turbo mode where I'm going to be trying to play the game pretty fast because I think most of the interesting decisions uh, have been made in terms of like settling and all that sort of stuff. And really now we're into what, what I call the execution phase of the game where it's really all just about how fast can I um, execute the turns in a sufficiently good manner. Poop on me song X2. And it's the best song ever made. One criticism you can make is that I lost my alliances here and I got I got a little bit distracted. Again, I'm playing poorly because I'm so used to playing like on my own where I can take my time. Yeah. And not have to read a chat and stuff like that. We occasionally make mistakes. It's demonstrably fine. Let's talk to Pedro. Uh sorry. 
I would like a... Wait, so who is top science right now other than Scythia? Okay, Scientific Alliance with John Curtin makes sense. Webam, because he will give me the science when we get our level 2 alliance. I believe it is here. Every shared turn we get a Eureka that he has that I don't. Then Wilfred. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a military alliance. That's just so that we can more easily defend against what's her name. And then uh, Pedro. Pedro, give me your money, Pedro. Okay, I got Pedro's money. We've got a shipyard over here in chat. Does anyone know how to actually say the city's name? <laughs> For real? Let's get ourselves a carvel. There's a bit of sea over here that we can, we can explore. Are you settling any more cities today? There's a viable St. Basil's. I might settle a city. I think I'm more or less done settling uh, the vast majority of my cities. It'll be like, if I have nothing else I really feel is valuable for a city to do, I might build a settler. Let's go ahead and trade with Calgary. That's 12 gold. And we'll also trade with... Uh, St. John, that's another 12 gold. We've got the harbour in here. I would like to purchase shipyards, ideally. Do I want to hard build that? I'll hard build that one. I don't want to hard build in here. I definitely don't want to hard build in here. So I'll purchase the shipyard. That's plus six production, basically doubling the city's production, which makes it twice as useful. So that's why we want to have money to save up to purchase shipyards. Then we have a really nice mine right there. Although I might go at some point. You're hanging out there. Uh, I'm going to centralize all my production to my capital for now. There's no commercial hubs. So they can't steal from it. Uh, sh I think it's Shah. Shah. Uh, so democracy allows you to pick between three randomlies and fashions. Choose one randomly about your choice. You can always have a leader once in one game. What? Uh, I like the fact that you split the game into phases. Uh, how many phases do you think there are in a game? There is the first phase, which is the opening phase. Then there's the mid game. And then there is this phase right here that we are in, which is when basically all of the really, really important decisions for the game have more or less been made, um, like where we're going to settle, who we're going to go to war with, um, what we're going to do in the late game sort of a thing. Like we've already made those decisions and now it's a matter of execution. So there's kind of like the, I would call the discovery phase, which is like you're figuring out, it's like the first 60 turns, you're figuring out what you're going to do with the game. And then there's like the setup phase which is like the next hundred turns and then there's like the execution phase which is like the next hundred turns after that so that, that would be like the three the game doesn't always follow that format like it, it will be different depending on what you're doing but that's kind of like, like for the way that i play that's the general sort of formula that i find and this is kind of where i can lay back a little bit and just kind of because i know what i'm doing okay so we also um would like to get ourselves hands on the intelligence agency here so i'm going to queue that up and then we'll obviously be purchasing a shipyard in here this city has pretty weak production but it has an amazing one of these also i want another government title to plug into reina <clears throat> or is that yeah that's reina uh potato is this going to be an uploaded as a series um what will happen is i will take this vod and hide it under the members section of my youtube channel and then i will take the um I will take the, do, 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 what do you call the thing? The actual file, my local recording that I've taken, and I will edit that into a video. And that video will link to the full VOD if people want to watch the full VOD and you pay $2 a month to access my full VODs. Why are my VODs behind a paywall? Because if they're not, I believe they will hurt my channel in terms of growth because people will look at my YouTube channel and say, this guy just uploaded an eight hour video. I'm not fucking watching that. So there you go. Um, because YouTube just isn't really good at differentiating VOD content and regular content. I also need to be careful about swearing too much. I'll get myself rated wrong on YouTube and then I won't get advertiser friendly dollars. Uh, let's go ahead over there. This builder. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead up the roof. Uh, holy crap, that's a lot of turns. What's a lot of turns? I mean, I'm four hours into uh, four hours into this game. I would say I'm pretty pretty close to winning. Maybe not in like time turns, but in terms of like what's actually happened in the game, we're pretty close to winning. I would say. Once you have more science than any other save in the game, you've basically won. Um, it turns out the spud died almost immediately, so now Pedro has a really funny connotation for me. Wait, what? Basically, some of my friends are playing Minecraft, they found the spud on Squid. Oh, Pedro. Pedro is one of my favorite names. Pedro, see, the thing about the name Pedro is it's like the perfect kind of name you can yell in anger. 
It's like Pedro. You can just you can just yell at people called Pedro like so well. I think that's why Pedro's get such a hard time. I disagree with YouTube reading our, our videos. Uh, I think you are an anomaly. Joining says four ninety nine a month for me in the U.S. It sh you should have an option to click two ninety two or one ninety nine a month. It should be like two dollars. I'm not sure though if that is what shows on live streams. I know I set it up. I'll have to double check that after the stream, and uh, there will be plenty of opportunities to make sure that we have that all set up correctly. Easy challenge. Yeah, okay, thank you. Appreciate you answering questions for people in chat while I play. Making my life easier on me. Do, 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 do. I got a four charge builder here. Do I want to get rid of that marsh? I think I'll get rid of that marsh and just put a farm on it because it's like theoretically the same yield, but then I get a harvest out of it. Science is good. It's if that's Shahat al Arab, the correct pronunciation will be with a short A. Ah. If you go for a non English consonant, the Arabic emphatic the Shat. Like that? Shat. Like that? Did I get it right? I think I got closer than I was. It's five five pound a month. It should be two. It should be two. I set it up for two. Hold on. It should be two pound a month. Let me check my dashboard, my YouTube, all that jazz. Hello. Okay. Uh, I was checking a thing. Uh, do, 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 do. It should be set up like. Oh, I did it wrong. Now it's I forgot to click the button to like launch it. <laughs> Whoops, I fixed it. It, it, it. I don't know if it'll be like working straight away, but I fixed it. It was wrong. Thank you for telling me it was wrong. The fastest way, the fastest ban in the West coming into my chat, shouting a homosexual slur. God damn, that guy is going for a speed run and getting banned from my YouTube channel. Uh, does anyone know how to get the drop down menu? Uh, go to settings, settings, options, interface, show yield hood ribbon, set it to always show. Bam. That's how you do it. Easy peasy. Da, 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 da. I need spies. I need spies. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves a spy. Da, 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 da. I'm going to harvest here to finish that campus faster. We'll build a library. That info saved my life. This is why I watch. Saved your life. You owe me then. You owe me one. Uh, one dollar. That is the fee that I demand. For services rendered. Hey, E2 Linuxo. Welcomes to the... To, you are now officially a spuddy. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you reaching into your wallet, finding something nice for me. 
I was going to say reaching into your pants and finding something nice for me, but that was like not the thing that I was trying to say. <laughs> Whew. Demonetized instantly. Uh, A to Z challenges where you play all saves. Going for speed run. Great. It's on Switch. Religious lines. Some say it's building stuff in A to Z order. Some say it's all saves in A to Z order. It's so confused. Basically, I'm playing all saves by leader name in A to Z order, and we skipped Alexander because I'm a dum dum, and I just forgot that Alexander comes before Aminatori. That's the whole thing. Science. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Shipyard in here, that'll speed that up. I almost have enough money for another shipyard. Dirty tundra down here. I don't think St. Basil's is really worth settling as city specifically for. Hey, Bjorn Andre Flaker also joined as a spuddy. Thank you so much. Others might build alphabetically, but not this one. You'd have a plus five industrial zone in Abu Simbel, but you'd have to put an aqueduct over there, your pyramids. Potatoes. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Ah, uh, Mutz Mobile, welcome. Thank you for joining as a spuddy. I appreciate that, dude. You are the best. Instantly build a lighthouse and shipyard in this city. Damn. Did I do that in here? Where am I about to finish a... Oh, man, that's actually perfect for El Kuru. Let's... Oh, wait, no, teleport. I want you to teleport. Wake up. Teleport over here. We'll get a lighthouse and a shipyard instantaneously, which means the city could just get to work on its university. We've got the shipyard in here. Let's go ahead and grab the university. We want to get as much science as possible. I'd love to get a campus in here. There's a plus two campus right there. I'd have to give up a really nice mine tile. I don't want to do that. Instead, we're just going to skip the campus in here. And we shall get to work on some other stuff. For example, a settler. Oh my God, there's so many. Patrick Schneider, welcome to the oh, Spotty Club. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. And Aaron Shellen as well. Thank you so much. Uh, don't worry, potato mom jokes are 100% family friendly. <laughs> and the Gathering Storm Infinite can be... Okay. Oh my goodness. There's so many. I don't know how to keep up with you all. Who's the worst save in the game? Or is it Khmer or the Khmer? I think the Khmer is better than Georgia. And I would fight a man to the death over that statement. Jarno Klopstra, welcome to the Spuddy Crew. Or something, I don't know, like, just give it a name. I think all saves are good. I think Georgia is the big poo-poo. Shipyard in here, bam. Free shipyard. And a lighthouse in the city. Potatoes. Bam. 18 production instantly. Oh my god. Mash, Merp the box troll. Thank you so much for becoming a spuddy of the channel. I appreciate that, dude. Uh, Who, what, when, where? Who, what, when, where? Who, what, when, where? What am I doing with this trader? Looking for gold. Not very good gold trade routes on the menu. So we shall send him... To... Klazar Ibrahim. Tamar, yeah, yeah, man. Oh my god, there's so many. Alex Horbatiuk, also joining as a spuddy member of the channel. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that, man. This is like where things are going to go into a train here. I'm just going to be getting uh, 420 swerved on by members. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, we got our final settler that we actually care about. I'd like to get the shipyard in here. That'll take 10 turns. I'm going to work on the university and I'll purchase the shipyard in here in two turns. Then uh, here, this trade route. Oh, look at that. 18 gold per turn. Beautiful. Then we get the university in here. I would ideally like to purchase this university. But on the other hand, I can go ahead and just hard build it. Uh, basically, two pound is fine. Potatoes, but five pound is too much. Yeah, like I thought I, I was like wondering why so few people were taking the offer. It's like it's two dollars and you get all those free videos and stuff. But I just I never set it up. There will be like an announcement video talking about the reasons why and all the things. So if anyone is curious uh, for the full explanations, I have given them a couple of times throughout this stream. Uh, 420, you say? Well, all right. Uh, he plays every save by order of the leader name. Correct. So this is... I, I think this is definitely... Um, 
and I hate saying this because I know I'm going to like kill some of the viewers. They're going to be like, yeah, he's right. It's like this is definitely like the the least interesting part of the game for any like civilization game is when you're like in the late game, and this is what we're entering into now. Is like um. All of the important decisions have been made throughout the game. And really what we're doing now is just kind of like going through the turns. And this is a, this is a point that every 4X game gets to. And I, I think I've talked about this before. And the problem is that every 4X game gets to a point where each individual decision matters less and less. But you have to make more and more decisions every turn. And intervened. eventually you're just making so many decisions a turn that you just don't care about any of them. Even the ones that do matter. And that's why I think it's really, really important if you're making a strategy game. Is that as a game goes on, make sure that there is a limit to how many decisions a player can make in a given turn. It's just in some way or some mechanic. Uh, so, for example, a real-time strategy game just like kind of automatically no automatically limits how many decisions a player can make in the late game, just by sh the sheer fact that a player can only make so many decisions in the late game. Like they only have so much attention, they only have so much APM. Whereas in a in a in a like a four X game like this, you have infinite attention and APM, right? Because you can take your time. It's a, it's a turn-based game. So you, I, I do feel like they need like some sort of artificial limiter. Hey, Andre Berley. Thank you so much for becoming a spuddy. I appreciate that, my friend. From the bottom of my heart that you would reach into your pocket and find me some money. Uh, hey, Big Spud. Hey, Raider0075. How's it going, buddy? Uh, lighthouse, and then we'll save up for the shipyard. Right now, though, we'll just slowly build ourselves a library. That'll be built much faster once we have the shipyard. No hate. Hard switch to military? Why would I hard switch to military? You gotta justify your statements. I mean, we could hard switch to, like, like... Uh, if we find uranium, we could just go around the world nuking people. Like, that's a viable thing that we could do. Hello, Victoria. Victoria has weird, large sausage fingers that make me uncomfortable. Uh, get the niter. Where's the niter? How much do we care about niter? I don't think we care that much about niter. No plan to go to war or anything like that. Some dogs are crying, it sounds like. Yeah, those are my dogs. I need to put them to bed. They love whining. Do 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 do. Go here. Do 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 do. do. Ooh, cool. I kind of want to settle this chocolate island. That sounds uh dirty or something. I don't know. Uh, have you ever offered? Have you ever been offered a job by the devs? I feel like you must have so many good ideas for the dev team. I think ideas only get you so far in the game development. Really what you have to have is some sort of executional skill, which I absolutely lack. I'm sure I could learn it very, very quickly, um, but I'm not sure that that particularly interests me as a person. I think I think I really like, I think mo like most gamers, I really like the idea of making a game, but the actual process of making a game, I don't think I would enjoy very much. I don't like, I don't like, let's be real. I don't like working with people, okay? And having to rely on people to get the things that I need that I want done to be done or having to be the person to be relied upon just doesn't really, you know, do it for me. It's not really my bag, baby, as Austin Powers might say. Now, in Bands of Congo, I'm going to go ahead and steal 2,500 gold a pop from there. You missed the Gandhi stream? Did Potato nuke the world? The Gandhi stream? That, that stuff happened years ago. Well, not years, but you guys know what I mean. <clears throat> Finally getting some good exploration going on here. We did find Nazca. None of these city-states particularly excite me. Your faith? Yeah, I have I have plenty of faith, but nothing to spend it on. I mean, I could evangelize my religion. I don't think it does anything for me. Like, really? Like, the problem is, on deity, by the time you evangelize your religion, all the good beliefs are gone. Because there just isn't a realistic way to beat the AI to the good evangelized beliefs. Rationalism, definitely want to plug that card policy in. Ba bam Veterancy will be woofumping right over there. Look at that, 142 sites. Looking good, Spud. Purchase that shipyard, then we come in here. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to go ahead and purchase two apostles, just to kind of show you how pointless pointless it is to evangelize your religion. Faith, honestly, just doesn't really matter that much. Um, mm, 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 mm. It's, not, it's not worth the effort I would put into spending it. The reward isn't, in my opinion. 
What do you think Civ 7 will come out? Uh, Civ 7 will not be coming out for a very long time. Uh, upwards of five years, in my opinion. And I base that based on absolutely zero facts whatsoever. So if I go here... Campus. Okay. Do we need coal to power? We could. We could use coal. I could settle the coal. We haven't. We haven't unlocked. Well, we have. Uh, I think we do need coal to power. Yeah, I think the settler will be going to the coal then. You're waiting for a guy. You're going there. Repair that. Uh, so science victory then? Yeah, pretty much. It's the objective. Oh my god, think of the Petra we could have had in here. God damn. And with Nazca? I work in the gaming industry. Hi, Brandon. Are you, do you work for, are you the guy who works for 2K? Or is that a different guy? I feel like there's a guy, there's a guy who works for 2K that watches my channel. Uh, but it could be fun making a game. They're not just programming, lots of other okay, stuff, design, game oh. rules, testing, etc. Do you have any stream mods? On YouTube, you'll need one or two just for trolls and to answer questions. I don't have any stream mods right now. I like things to just be free flowing and happy days. Um, I like the idea of that we self regulate, okay? We don't need 100% 100 production to campus is, is something I very much so like. I'll put three votes on that, uh, four votes. Ideally, in this one, I would put nine votes on it because there's nine saves, but I'm not going to do that. Um, Operation Steal Money. Siphon funds at a level a little bit higher. Okay, looks good. Um, I do work with one of the big AA guys. I might be misattributing who you are. I also don't want you to reveal that if you're not comfortable with it. Uh, Congo, hi. You have a lot of gold. Hi, Congo. I would like to part you with that gold by giving you some delicious diplomatic favor. Oh my goodness, Congo. You shouldn't have. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, right. Now I have another spy. I'm going to send this spy over to Neapolis. Neapolis. Rio, Ottawa. Ottawa, you don't make much money. Who, Cairo? There is Australia. Australia, where's your capital? Resident Embassy. There's Canberra. There it is. Wait, you don't have a you don't have a money district? How am I supposed to steal your money if you don't have a money district? Scythia. Resident Embassy. Damn it. Georgia. Resident Embassy. Wait. Ugh. What is this? Georgia, that's gross. It actually does make good money, though. Uh, I work at Activision. I'm sorry, Brandon. <laughs> that's pretty cool that you work at Activision. I think that's cool. Uh, do, 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 do. I, I mean, I'm sure, like, it's presented as a really awesome thing, but I'm sure there's downsides. Everything has downsides, you know. I would like to cast it at Constasion. I almost never build it, but gaining three governor promotions would be pretty cool, and it would take about 34 turns, which is a pretty reasonable amount of time for that to take. Plus, it means I don't have to micromanage that city. I would have liked to get maybe get a settler or something like that in there. I can purchase most of my traders. Uh, otherwise, this city is basically done. Um, how we test the doneness of a city is you take its temperature, and this city is done. It's got everything it needs. So, what I can do for me instead is to just click on that button forever okay uh double the adjacency but bam now the double adjacency on reina is really really cool because if we go into sedanga here you can see that we have a base adjacency of five that is getting doubled by the card that we have plugged in the naval infrastructure and then it is also getting doubled by reina herself which is also doubling it which means we're getting 15 gold per turn more importantly we have a shipyard which is giving us 15 production per turn which is insane uh-huh 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 uh, the ADC challenge was good. Lol, that capital. That is a pretty sad capital on behalf of Georgia. Okay, evangelize belief. I believe I was doing this purely for the sake of someone. 
Yeah, look at those beliefs. Like, these are poo-poo. Religion spreads further, stronger. That's my opinion. We'll take scripture. And stupas. Just in case we need amenities, we can get them. I'm going to set these guys to auto-explore now. I'm tired of managing them. Who needs walls? Everyone is friends. Pretty much. Uh, doesn't that city need walls? Which city? Why would I need walls? Oh, uh, this city might need walls, actually. Astronomy com also, I'd like to point out that I have gotten a zero uh, great scientist this game. <clears throat> Temple. Ah, I right clicked. I really don't like, I really don't like, in Civilization 6, it is my biggest pet peeve, is that right click and left click do the same thing. Sometimes. And it's like, it's not that they do the same thing, it's that they do the same thing, comma, sometimes. Uh, hey Peter, how long have you planned on streaming today? Until I finish the game? Uh, hopefully, which shouldn't be too long. Go away, I'm not going to Warburton Mirrors. Um... Been streaming about four hours. Hopefully, would like to finish the game. Uh, what got you started in the Civ series? What was your first Civ game? I think my first Civ game was actually Civ Four. I never really played it when I was younger. Um, and then I found Civ Four, and I was like, "This is interesting." And uh, then I played a bit of Civ Five. I never was really into them. I'm going to go ahead and get myself an encampment here, for reasons only I may know. Mainly just to give the city something to do. I guess you could make an argument. If the city has nothing to build, I could build builders. I could improve tiles. I think it would be far better for me to just actually come down here. Do campus research grants. I might get an encampment later. How dare you insult her majesty's hands. Oh wait, you're Irish. Blue Gale, I think you're backwards in time. Somebody, somebody, t somebody try to explain to that man that he is like, he has rewound the live stream somehow. And that he's not watching the current updated thing. Uh, isn't it? I'm old school. I go back to save one. Joining is $4.99 for me in the US. It should be only $2.99. Um, I think I had the things. Sithy would easily beat your ass, but she somehow does not want it. Uh, I know Vorname. I don't know if you've been watching this entire time. But we have literally poop stomped Sithia every single time we've gone to war with her. Um, so I don't know what you're talking about. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I've literally been to war with her four times this game and not lost once. So I'm fine. Thanks. Appreciate the uh, concern. We're already building walls, don't you worry. Campus Harbor, anything else is like just excessive. I mean, you guess make an argument for an entertainment complex, but really, like what else do we need? Nothing. We just, city is 10 population. It's got everything it needs. Campus research grants, go. Uh, remember, remember the 5th of November. Sounds like some Brit stuff. Brits out. Get them out of here. Just like the Zoomers. The Zoomers and the Brits out. That's right. I don't discriminate with my discrimination. Uh, okay. How are you feeling? I'm feeling much better as like mine, Hammer. Thank you for the concern. I appreciate that, man. Embassy is welcome. Thank you. Time is wibbly wobbly. She does have the second highest military power in the game. Yeah, but I'm not worried about it in the slightest. Uh, again, I've already been to war with her multiple times, and I've won every single war. Now, what do I want to do in this city? I mean, I guess you could make the argument for going for an aqueduct. I mean, the city doesn't really need to grow much past beyond 10. So I'll probably... Oh, you know what I should have been doing? I should have been getting my hands on traitors. Although, all my traitors... I think... Am I, are my traitors getting murdered by something in the fog of war? Am I crazy? I feel like that's happening. Am I at war with a city-state or something? No. Or did I just forget to get more of them? So, I have the campus, I have the harbour. The city is going to get to 10 population. It doesn't really need anything else, except maybe some builders. The only other thing that I could maybe make an argument for is getting the entertainment complex to get a bit of amenities, just to keep the city happier. And uh, I don't discrimination. I just yell at everyone equally. Hell yeah. It's like, uh, that's an old, I think that's actually an old Carlin bit. 
he used to say, I'm an equal opportunities bigot. Or it was something like that. I can't remember exactly. I hate everyone equally. Uh, that was a good joke that he used to make. I'm going to go ahead and do gain sources in here so that we can operate at a higher level with our spies. Are you a misanthrope? I'm a misandrist. Figure that one out, boys. Tornado outbreak. Got him. Nice. Good shit. All right, there is that. We're working on scientific theory. University. Mm, I'm going to get the shipyard in here. I got the library. Let's go ahead and delete these pins because we have them where we want them. In the meantime... You're going to work on the university. We'll purchase a shipyard in here soon. Hello, Potato. How goes again? The game is going really, really well, actually. Uh, really, really... Ooh, okay. That is kind of scary. Let's make sure that we deal with this. Get into that. Maybe you'll survive. You probably won't. Ah, Leventa. Plus one envoy with Leventa for trading with them. That's always worth it because that's worth plus one gold because I won a emergency war. Let's go ahead and start stealing gold from Tbilisi. I think Civ 5 is better in many aspects. The many system builders, how our words work. Overall, Civ 5 cities have much weight, more weight, bigger pop. I think Civ 6 offers the player far more interesting choices than Civ 5 did, uh, which to me is way more important than any of that other stuff that you mentioned. <clears throat> Civ 5 is just way more interesting to actually play. Or Civ 6 is way more interesting to actually like play on a turn-by-turn -turn basis. No! She's going to take Chocolate Island! Damn you, Scythia. And the flood absolutely obliterated me over here. Are there any go-to wonders? Will this become a video? Ah, uh, potentially. That's the plan. Oh my god, Fez. You're killing me, Fez. All right. Excuse me? Oh, Jesus. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. I need to get field cannons if I'm going to go to war with Scythia soon. Uh, I'm not ready for this. I was expecting a little bit more warning. Yo, Arabia. GTFO, okay? I mean, I'm sure I could win... But I'm just not ready. What was I building in here that failed? Does anyone remember what I was building in here? Casa de Contracion. Uh, let's get ourselves a knight. No? Where'd my I guess my iron is gone. I don't have anything else to build. Let's get some crossbowmen. Well, I guess I could get a campus in here if I really wanted to. It's a plus two campus right there. It's not terrible. Sure. I uh, mean, the different victory type is true. Civ 6 has a much greater variety of play style. No, I just think like the actual turn-to-turn -turn choices are way more interesting in Civ 6 than they are in Civ 5. That's just like my opinion. I, you know, it's like for a player like me, I think Civ 5 was very much so like a solved game that very little changed. If you were, like, there was there was very much so in Civ 5. Excuse me. There was, like, one optimal way to play. It's how I felt. And uh, if you deviated from that strategy, you know, it was just, you know, it wasn't great. That's how I felt about Civ 5. Uh, kill that. Think your chat is out for some blood. I miss Civ 4. You could name some... You taking a city would make the game easy. Tried to get into the other Civ games, but couldn't. Something about Civ 4, 6 that I, can, that I can get my head around in the other games. P Pikemen, since the city of spamming cavalry. Um, Here's the problem. Pikemen are melee units. Melee units are bad. End of discussion. Ugh... I'm not ready. Her units are way too strong. I need field cannon, so I'm gonna vote that down. Nobody talks about Beyond Earth. Beyond Earth was a great game. So it looks like Montezuma and Wilfred did do that. So what I can do 
is I can join his ongoing war with the emergency war thing when I'm ready. So that's the option I have. I just won't get to participate in the actual emergency, which kind of sucks, admittedly. Like, that's not great. No. Canada. How dare you. I think I was coming over here to purchase a shipyard, like so. You mean Alpha Centauri Remastered? I guess you could call it that if you wanted to. My biggest problem with playing um, on a large map is how long the turn timer takes. It's like easily twice as long as it should be. Don't judge someone. In my opinion. So we're just waiting for ballistics. Once we have ballistics and our units upgraded, we'll go to war. Auto explore for me, please. Hey, I need stacks of doom back there. Too dumb without it. This is like a thing that gets said ever since Civ 5 came out. And I just, I've never heard a good argument for it. It's just, it, ju it just has become a meme at this point that people just say it and like accept that it's true. But like, I've never seen anyone like make the argument. I don't, I don't think the AI was that smart in Civ 4. Like, I don't think they were smart enough to warrant that kind of a, that kind of a take. You know what I mean? Uh, now that Nider would be nice. Would it be? Field cannons don't use Nider. What is your PC spec GPU storage? Psh, don't remember off the top of my head. I think one of them is um, I have a 1080 water cool 1080. I have a Ryzen 1700 or an 1800. I can't remember off the top of my head. And I have four hard drive or four, uh, two hard one hard drive that is like huge, and then four three SSDs. I just heard you explaining to me that I'm backwards of two time. Oops, I was like 20 minutes behind. I typed it in chat, but you just didn't see it. Um, for whatever reason, you just didn't see it. So, you know, these things happen. So, here's the cool thing. Um, her cities are really hard to take. Did I say cool thing? I meant, uh, that sucks. And it's not going to be fun. Now, the Niter would be good. Does anyone have Niter? I don't want to improve the Niter, but I would take, like... Like, here's, here's my biggest gripe with trade deals right now. He wants 116 gold, okay? All I got to do is say, hey, can I have one of those? He'll give it to me for six. Like, just let me just let me have it all, okay? For the 120 gold that you actually think it's worth. Don't make me click this button like 21 times just to get Niter, okay? This isn't cool, Canada. I, I think it's just, it's just a weirdness that needs to be fixed about the game. Like, this is obviously the right way to play. And here's the problem with um, this sort of design. It's like, if you have some kind of weaselly way for the player to play, all your, like, your game design isn't actually working. You're just, you're just torturing your players or, or putting your players in a position where they're going to torture themselves by doing this sort of, like, thing where you buy one good at a time. I mean, I guess I could theoretically speed it up by buying two and paying one gold per turn. That's literally tripling the price that I pay for this um, stuff. So, like... You know, I guess you could always make the argument, well, if a player values their time, they wouldn't do this. And it's like, well, you know, some people feel compelled to do this. And so I don't think you should have mechanics like that where players do a thing that is unfun that they feel compelled to do, which basically sums up MMOs. Uh, you need a fast forward button for this sort of thing, right? Real. I hope I managed to at least make it somewhat entertaining by talking all the way through it. Look at that. 69 production. Uh... So, 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 I will actually get a few uh, excuse me? I am not building a nuclear what? What? Is that just a graphical book?
That's weird. All right, that's weird. Harbor, ba bam, growth in five turns. What can you do for five turns? Get a builder in eight. Three gold, one is multiplying by 16. It was six gold. Um, it was six gold going to one gold per turn. One gold per turn is 30, right? So that's 30. So it was like six gold to, to 36 gold. You take 36, you divide it by two because you're getting two copies. So it was like three times, right? Because this divided by six is three. Yeah? Got it. Did you ever question my maths? Okay. Bad point is some of the queue. Where to get Metal Gear? Metal Gear. In the spirit of Gandhi. World's strongest pike and shot. All right. Siphon those funds for me, baby. Well, now we know what the pike and shot is shooting. Yeah. <laughs> shooting nukes. Two turns until we get ballistics, and then we'll sweep through here, upgrade all these guys, and start blasting away. Hey! Chris Munson, thank you so much. Oh, my spy was captured. Here's the thing. If your spy gets captured, all you got to do, go to the AI who captured him, offer them a deal. This is worth way less than what you can steal with that spy, okay? Always take that deal. It's like literally just like, thanks, it's a get a jail free card. Then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send him straight back to where he was. <laughs> uh, it's like five minutes. I don't understand anything. And I've got 930 hours into the game. All right, fuck me. I skipped the part where you got two at a time. Two at a time? Boggers. Uh, two chicks at the same time. Very few people will get that reference. I bet. <coughs> reference me, senpai. Shoulder launch dunes. What is the most important part? XD. Which is the most important part? XD. Got it. Fast forwarding through my videos. How dare you? Alright, there we go. We got ballistics. I would like to take a moment. I'm going to... It's not worth my time to do it the other way. Field cannon. Field cannon. It's like, does you upgrade units? I wish there was a hotkey for this sort of thing. I'm sure I could set a hotkey, but then I couldn't be a hypocrite anymore. So, like, it's just not worth. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and pick up scientific theory and then head back up towards uh, chemistry. Sorry, excuse me. Scientific theory into chemistry. Uh, upgrade discount card? Yeah, I plugged that in. You guys are way behind the times. All right, so there is library, campus. Do I want to get anything else? I could maybe use a builder in here just to do a little bit of tile improvement. Then you are going to improve that tile. No, this tile. Ah, yes, the Adam Savage quote for ballistics. I don't even look at the quotes anymore, man. It's I've seen them so many times. I'm just done with them. What the hell am I doing? I want to pick up nationalism so I can bind my units together. Then this is literally the worst great scientist in the entire game. I will skip him. I got seven points. No great scientific city states, which is sad. I do need to liberate Fez for that end. Now, this is a problem, is a ranged unit inside a district that I cannot do damage to. That's a problem. At least he's not combined. Let's go ahead and take a step back with you. Take a step back with you. You step into the water, you step back there, you step back there. We'll declare war next. Uh, maybe we'll declare war this turn and get him to jibate, jibate his way into me. Uh, Tamiris, uh, sorry, I want to talk to Canada. Hey, hey. Declare friendship with Canada. Alliance. Military alliance. Wham bam. Give me some money. Thank you. Canada. How would you like me to join your emergency war against Tamiris? What's that? You want me to... You want to give me one gold for that? 
Why, don't mind if I do join that war. Fill a policy slot. Uh -huh. Uh, some of us never Mythbuster fan. I watch Mythbusters. What games do you play in your free time? Whatever I feel like. Or whatever is like, you know, it kind of changes day to day, week to week, moment to moment, hour to hour. Whatever I feel like playing, that's what I'm playing. Usually I play Civ um, in my free time. If I'm not playing Civ in my free time, I'm playing like maybe a Paradox game or something like that. Or I could be playing a shooter. I like playing shooters. I might play the occasional RPG. Sometimes I'll play all sorts of different things. What type of victory are you aiming for? This is a scientific... Oh, Jesus, I forgot I had a unit over there. This is a scientific game. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, Brazil, we could be friends. See, this This is... Wow, I did not realize that she had so much culture per turn that she had actually managed to get armies. I knew she had cores, which I was Please fine with, but armies are a different beast all together. This is actually a little bit too much heat for me right now. This army is. This guy is dead. So the only hope for him is to go down swanging. This uh, bombard is the death of me, actually. Might kill Kerma. In that city right there. These cavalry are a problem. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, I like Burial Ground as a belief. It's pretty cool. Which one is that? Burial Ground? I don't remember it. Off the top of my head. Usually if I don't remember a belief, it's because it's not very good. Not throwing shade. It's just reality. I remember the good ones. Just being Lil. <laughs> we got 696 six viewers right now. <laughs> Can you auto explore for me? What is the challenge? The challenge is just to beat the game with every civilization starting from A to Z. You should have her taken her out in the ancient era. Should have taken her out in the ancient era? Guys, we've been over this. <laughs> I told you why I did not. Because it makes the game too easy if you kill people. Too, like, if, if you kill people in a non-domination game, it makes the game too easy. It's the entire point of why I did not kill her. So, I think best move is to delete guy in water. Slowly chip away at these guys. Yep. Alrighty. So scientifically, I'm actually ahead of her now, so victory is assured. In terms of actually winning the game, I just need to like figure out how I'm going to win this war against these cavalry units. Now in fairness, uh, she should be heavily distracted by Canada up here as well. So I need to hammer this cavalry right here with everything that I've got. I think I'll just barely kill him if I do. Not even killing him. That is sad. He is going to heal. You come forward, take your combat range against range units. I'm hoping to bait him into attacking so that he doesn't heal. That he's in a vulnerable spot. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. We've got the university in here. Let's start pumping out... Field cannons. What map is that? It is Splintered Fractal, I believe, is the name of the map. Can't remember off the top of my head. Game gets super hard if the AI gets ahead on science and culture. War is very difficult from here. I think you need, well, lots of things, like a variety of things. What? No. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. I have more science than them. I'm winning. They're just a little bit ahead. I'm, I'm winning right now. This is just like, 
this is a momentary kerfluffle. You guys are crazy, thinking I'm losing this game? Off your rockers. Ought to be locked up for believing crazy stuff. Repair that shipyard. I hate that you can't. Oh, there we go. Universities provide plus four science. That's the kind of great person that we need. Alrighty, builder completed in here. Let's have a look at these tile improvements. Probably want to improve that. The campus right here. Uh, I'm going to kill that forest. I don't care about the forest anymore. Get rid of it. Uh, what do you think of the map, dude? It's an interesting map. I think it's cool. I enjoy it. I would like to play more little games of it. It's a bit weird. It's a bit kooky. But sometimes you got to have a weird and kooky map, you know? I think it makes things more interesting. More like a Fabergé egg. I don't know where I was going with that one. <clears throat> Imagine she could have arrived with a carpet of units. Uh, a carpet of units wouldn't have been a really big deal with for me because I make so much gold I could just purchase units and deal with it. Like, this is... I'm just casually dealing with this. Like, it's not... I think you guys really... Like, remember, <laughs> I, I'm in control of this war. I decided to go to war because I know she's already at war with, like, four other civilizations, right? So it's not like I'm doing this randomly. I'm, I'm in control here. Uh, I could, I will probably lose the city. It's a high, it's a high probability that I'm not happy about. That is so incredibly annoying. I hate, this is like the most annoying part of the game. Um, possible is when a unit escapes with like one HP. Or, like, kills a unit at 1 HP. I'm so... I remember this bombard. Like, that's... Just... Come on. Come on. What is this? Literally 1 HP. And I have no way to get to him. Do I have the logistics card? It only applies at the start of the turn, doesn't it? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. How close is Saladin to religion victory? Probably not close at all. Oh, wow. Actually... Uh, let's get ourselves a couple of apostles to make sure that we don't lose our religion. I have never seen an AI do this well at religion. I am a little bit blown away. Anyway, uh, point being, this is some of the most frustrating things. This is one of the most frustrating things that can happen to you, is this sort of a thing. Um, anyway. Double shot. Is double the coolness. Take the garrison promotion to do a bit more damage. There's the arena. Alrighty. Now you gotta go. You gotta go down to the bottom here. The campus research grants. Enemy cavalry used in Jure. Right? It's just really obnoxious and something I wish wouldn't happen that units escape on like no health. Because it happens to me way too often. Um. That's my only problem with it. I'm okay. Like, the thing is, it just happens way too often. That a unit escapes with, like, no health. Several closely situated granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth. So I end my turn. There we go. So he jumped in the water. This guy escaped. Although my pikeman will get him. Which is good. And my bombard lives to fight another day. And I'll take the unit, anti-unit promotion on him. Ba -bam. Kill there. You'll probably die. There you go. Good stuff. You have a promotion. You have a promotion. Why don't you shoot that guy? Uh, why don't you shoot him twice? Then you'll shoot the district. You'll take the arrow storm promotion. Arrow storm on. Why was this pillaged? Is the world really flooding? No. The world is not flooding. It's just a tornado rolled through. Why are there two builders here? Did I mess something up? I think I messed something up. Uh, kill Arabia. What? How? People ma people make suggestions without asking like the how first. How do I kill Arabia? Let's go ahead and take the debater promotion. And we will take the... Orator promotion. Probably should have started a inquisition with him. So this religion thing, I didn't even realize this can happen. I've never seen an AI so effectively spread their religion. Kind of mind-blowing, actually. A little bit. 
I should probably start an Inquisition. Yeah, like I expected, that guy dies. Religious lights. Sure. So I'm top science. Like, there is no way I lose this game if I'm top science. That's just like, or at least there's no way I lose a science victory if I am top science. I don't know why I purchased a missionary. I, I meant to purchase a guru. It was a mistake. It's a mistake I'll have to live with. Uh, Fez needs you. I will help Fez. It's just like, it's a matter of priorities. There's only so much I can do. I mean, I'm cutting down her army um, over time, right? I've, I've killed a bunch of her units. I've, I've slowly done damage to her. It's just these things take time. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to swap you so you can fire twice. She, she has a tech lead on me, like, that's inescapable. I have to catch up. All right, we should be able to easily kill this cavalry. One, two, three, four, five. Pike and shot. Great stuff. Do not build a campus, eh? Get me some military engineers. I actually have the gold to do a double purchase here. Library, university. Look at that science now. Mm -mm -mm. The city is done. Prepare the other defenses and work on campus research grants. What else is next? I keep telling these guys to auto explore and then they stop moving. You've got two build charges that you're not using. Let's go ahead and get you down to Abu Simbel. Uh, I'm going to have to put my dogs to bed here in a moment. Uh, you can't attack into the water. Okay, launch Inquisition for me because you're not very good. Ooh, you're not very good either. You betrayed... Okay. I'm surprised she has time to build campuses while re rebuilding her army every 20 turns, right? That's what I want to know, is how she managed that. Alright, let's get this bad boy done. Send envoys. Literally not a single science city-state on the map, except for the one that I'm trying to liberate. Alright, you go there, you provide combat adjacency bonuses, you kill there. Good kill on Islam. Now I want to get Inquisitors, I don't have enough faith, that's fine. Harvest... Okay, you're rebuilt. Do I want to build any districts in here? I think a entertainment complex would be bad, but I prefer to get a water park. Um, campus research grants is the only thing that really matters to me right now. Double shot the district. Uh, good night, all being good. Catch up with the VOD later. See you, see you later, E2 Lino, Lino, Linoxo? I have no idea how to say your name. Uh... Fez has been under control longer than it was under its own control? Probably. Begin voting. John Curtin was ravaged. I will vote that up because I want the AI to waste their time on it and do it. Circumnavigating the globe got me three error score. It passed. Religious emergency passed as well, but I wasn't allowed to be a party of it. Even though I have a religion and he is spreading his religion to me. Don't understand. I think it's because I'm his friend, I guess. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh, okay, we go here. And then we do this. Emergencies should give you a, a, an opportunity to backstab. IMO. Just saying. 
that should be a good enough. Well, that should be a good enough reason. Okay, we have a lot of combat strength to get this guy. He's in our holy land. Easy, easy, easy. We push him back his lamp. Good, good, good. Uh, okay, let's get you to Buhan. Let's go ahead and drop a mine right there. Napata. Go ahead and get me that hill. I'll repair that. We'll get that going. Purchase the synagogue. Plus five faith. Seems good. What I really want to do here is I want to move you to there, move you to there, double shot with you, and then I'll move the bombard into this pile to be able to shoot the city next turn. You're hanging out, you're hanging out. Uh, interesting, I haven't upgraded the Ganon Store, still at Rising Fall. The recent updates uh, allowed my apostles to attack into water adjacent to land. That's weird. That used to be a thing. It is no longer a thing. Does she have a religion? Does who have a religion? Uh, would you consider taking a few cities from Scythia here? She is your closest science competitor and would secure safety for Fez. No. I will not take cities. I generally speaking, uh, I, I do not take cities um, in a non-domination victory because again, I just think it makes it too easy. What bug are you talking about, Gabriel? All right. Campus research grants. Almost at the research lab end of things. Harvest. We're going to need another industrial zone over here. Purchase library. Purchase university. I need a. I need power basically. So this is powering up here. I'll want a industrial zone. Somewhere here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm thinking this tile right here. Industrial zone. If I can get the city to grow. How do I get the city to grow? Repairing tiles, farms, all that sort of stuff. Not sure how I do it. Do it. Delicious. Delicious campus research grants. Up to 300 science per turn. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Take a moment to heal, as will you. Let's get up into the city. We'll make Inquisitors soon. Go ahead and get yourself a promotion. Rocket Scientist seems pretty good. She just lost 50 science per turn. That's pretty normal. She probably got one of her cities taken or something. There's like a whole war going on up here. Uh, interface game options, show yields and HUD ribbon. Yep, if you are wondering how I got these yields, you go up here, you go to options, you go to interface, and you click show yields in HUD ribbon, always show. That is how you pull that off. Can you make someone declare war on Saladin to make him weak? I could, but that requires me to also go to war with him. Do you have enough coal for that many? Yeah, plenty of coal. And I can always get more coal. Look. Coal here, just get Buenos Aires. Coal here, just get Banda Brunei. Right? There's plenty of coal around that I can get access to if I need it, which I don't. Okay, so we're going to go urbanization into mass media, into ideology, into democracy. Let's see here. I don't need a space initiative just yet. Okay, we're pumping our way towards the late game. I really want to step forward and do some damage here, but we're going to rely on this formation like so. So we're going to play it safe, re-Islam, um, re religion, victory, danger. <clears throat> Just try to prevent it from happening. We're not going to like go too far out of our way. I do need plus one housing in here. So I'm going to harvest this tile. Bam, nine population. I need that to be ten so I can place an industrial zone there. Uh, I can't harvest resources in my game. There's no icon for it. Uh, what version of the game are you playing? Are you playing with any mods? Uh, war trade routes aren't domestic, are getting pillaged. Sending them again. We'll just get them pillaged again. 
Uh, pretty much, Dennis, correct. And I don't really care for domestic trade routes. He got it. Correct. Without even my help. Good job. I'm proud of you. So, Stephen, what resources are you trying to harvest? Um, who are you trying to harvest them as? Is there no better way to, at the moment to get that barracks down? What barracks down? Uh, n literally, no. Um, there's no. Well, there is. I could go for refining and steel, right? But here's the problem. Look at all these techs I have to go through. One, two, four turns, seven turns, ten turns, fourteen turns to get to this. And doing all of that delays me from getting chemistry. So I'm going for chemistry because I'm trying to win a science victory. So this is really just me kind of chilling. This is fine. This, this is exactly where I want to be. Like, I'm not trying to liberate Fez. I just wanted to be at war with Scythia so I could eat her army. That could have been a, that could have been a very different sentence. Um, with only a few syllables changed. So what we're going to do here is... I'm going to step here with you and then combine. Make a decision about this. We'll just go to Heartbeat of Steam. It's fine. Send Envoy. No scientific city-states. We hold on to our Envoys. I guess you could make an argument for going to like three with these guys and three with these guys. Sure. Not really interested in going on the offensive, whatever religion. You should actually have been moving a little bit more. Uh, have you unlocked the text to harvest to give it a resource? That's also an important consideration. You also need to be able to actually harvest the resource. Uh, from a technological standpoint, that could be an important consideration. Fez, potato has forsaken you. I first took Fez a long time ago. That could have been a very different sentence. Sarah Friedman's got a dirty mind. I am trying to liberate Fez. It's just like, it's not a big priority. Well, like, I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't explain this, but once I saw the 78 city combat strength, I was like, oh, this can wait. <laughs> that was like my thought process. I don't know if I elaborated on that. I am trying to liberate Fez, but more I have kind of switched gears to being like, eh, you know what? Fez can be liberated when I get around to it. Uh, liberating Fez is more of a, it would be nice if Fez was liberated rather than like, this is like a major objective uh, of my game. Hopefully that kind of clarifies that a little bit. Nine, 10 population in here. Let's go ahead and cancel um, all of these. So I remember to place down an industrial zone here. Chat might remind me. You shahat out a nice Petra. I'm in the Renaissance as era as coupe. Good job. Keep going. You'll make it. So this is this is the struggle right here. It's trying to get through the turns. Just trying to get through. Just trying to hustle. Well, also, my land actually is complete garbage, and I'm still top science by nearly double um, the next top science, which is silly. No great works of writing. Put two votes on that. I don't know what the AI. I usually don't care about this one. I'll vote for me. Give me those. World's Fair. And this is fine. So Frigate's fleet is not good enough to attack Fez. Ah, uh, yeah, it would be, but I don't have access to Niter. I mean, I, I could get access to Niter. But then I have to wait 10 turns, and, and then I lose this nice thing that I've got going on here. I mean, I guess, like, if you were really pushing, I could go for the Frigate thing right like we, we just have a massive amount of gold we're saving up a massive amount of gold so that when we get research labs we can purchase them everywhere we need them over here for example we're going to put the industrial zone here this industrial zone exists purely for power hey aj comb dropping 279 canadian dollars in my pocket thank you so much aj comb i appreciate that man it means a lot see that settler left of your boat by the pike and shot Yoink. Didn't did not spot it, but thank you for shouting it out. 
Uh, I believe I did not send a military engineer over here, but I will send it this way. Anyway, settler right in the fog. We got him. Don't you worry. Appreciate it. Watch this. Absolute obliteration double shot from my field cannon. Get out of here. Get that online. You could get that online. Three hundred likes and six hundred viewers. That's a bad ratio. We gotta pump up those numbers. Those are rookie numbers. Get on it, chat. New member is nineteen. God damn. Holy crap! YouTube just throws too many stats at you. All right, let's uh, let let's go. It's -a me, a Mario. Oh Jesus! I completely forgot that this city had like purchasables in it. There we go. We just spent like 2,000 gold to turn this into a real city in a single turn. Look at that. I could even purchase the sewer if I wanted to. I'm not going to. But I am going to get the campus in here. It's a good campus. Plus two science. It'll take 19 turns. We'll be able to fully purchase it. Uh, I do want the whales. Where is... If I get... If I settle around here, where is my campus going and where is my harbor going? I think my harbor is going there. My campus is going there, which means I'm settling here. No. You're not allowed. I guess I'm settling here. Campus is, or Harper's going here. Campus is going there. Sure. Should we ring the bell? Hell yeah. You have my like. Do I have your axe? And your sense of various militude? I don't know what that word actually means. I've only ever read it written down. You step out and you combine. Easy peasy. You should put your campus over there. You have a free governor slot? I do. You want peace? Sure. I'll take peace. Free great work. I have a governor title. I have two governor titles, but I have nothing to spend them on. So here's the thing. I have governor titles. I have nothing to spend them on. I have nothing that is important to me. Nothing that matters. Um, this matters later. These don't matter. You could make an argument for aquaculture. I mean, I could put one point in there. That's fine. Right? But I'm just holding on to them because sometimes it's better to hold on to your governor titles than to actually spend them. That's something I think a lot of people get a governor title and it's like, oh, quick, spend it. We need to spend it. And it's like, no, you can hold on to it. I guess you could make an argument that I could get Victor, appoint him into Kerma. Ba -ba 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 -ba, right? And now that I'm settling this water grave city, no, what is like this very clearly not a cliff here, but it wouldn't let me climb up. Right, that's fine. Uh, damn, Scythia. Cooked your settle. What? Uh, you tripled dislikes with that comment. All right, that's it. I want everyone who's watching right now to dislike the video. Right now. Do it. How dare you? How dare people <laughs> dislike a video when I ask for likes? How dare they? It's like I'm sitting here for the last four hours providing free entertainment. But I have the fucking audacity to say, hey guys, could you press the like thing on my video? Because it helps. How dare I have that audacity. <laughs> uh, I, I, was thinking, I was thinking for the negative six loyalty on that new island. Oh, that's, that, don't worry about that. Varus Militude is roughly resemblance to reality. I don't even know how you managed to spell that from my butchering of the pronunciation. Good job, you. Well done. You have earned yourself one moderator point, which means you're allowed to mute one person who annoys you once. Theodore Murdoch, use it wisely. It jumped from 14 to 36 likes. <laughs> If you like it, put a ring on it. Okay, so what we want to look for now is the power map. 
All right, so we can see power reaches uh, exactly womp, 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 two cities, which means these are the cities that we want to purchase uh, things in. But, I mean, even if we're not powering the city, it's still a good building. Like, it's still plus six science. It's plus ten when it's powered, but it's still plus six. And plus six is still pretty damn good. Plus four in here. No, plus six in here. Yes. Ask Saladin to stop converting. He won't. He's going for a Diplo victory. Uh, don't convert my cities. Disappointed. You cannot see the error of your ways. Oh, he actually listened? Aren't you going for a religion victory? Usually the AI will just not listen, in my experience. They'll just be like, no. I'm trying to win the game, dude. No, well, that means I can... I'm actually... My mind is a little bit blown that that actually worked, because usually that never works for me. Anytime I've ever tried that, it's just the AI is like, what are you talking about? Stop? What are you, crazy? I'm trying to win the game. Inquisitor. Can he mute you? Can he mute me? Oh shit, I didn't think about that. Uh, use that power wisely, okay? Isn't plus six... Is it, isn't it plus 16? Uh, you are... Not paying attention to the context in which I said it was plus six. It is. You are correct. It is plus 16. However, it is already plus 16 if you have it powered. These cities are not powered. That is why it is plus six and not plus 16. Okay, I really do have to put my dog to bed. I'll be right back. We are now officially in the late game. What? Doggo Wolfington. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Pretty close to the end game here. Um, if I was playing on my own, I would probably declare this a win because I already have. So usually, for those of you who don't know, the thing that dictates how quickly you can win a science victory is usually how much science you have. Right now, I have more science than any other player in the game. So it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to win a science victory. Uh, so normally if I was playing on my own, I would call it there. I'd be like, okay, I've reached my win condition. But um, for the sake of YouTube, uh, and people who are watching who kind of are interested in seeing the late game and all this sort of stuff, usually what I do is I play it through, and I give myself the challenge of trying to finish it as fast as possible. Two, and every victory type in one game. That's very hard to pull off. Um, very, very hard to pull off. And doesn't really interest me. How does one put the dog to bed? Uh, my dogs have 
cages that they go into with nice bedding and things that keep them warm. And at night time, they are put in their cages. Uh, and that is where they go. That's where they belong. They go to their cages. And that is their bed. Or Americans might call it a crate. A cage sounds a bit like, I don't know, like they're in prison or something. Um, but I do not care about calling it a cage. Because it is literally just a cage. And Americans call it a crate. Even though it's a wireframe thing, it's a goddamn cage, okay? Don't... Don't sugarcoat the fact that you put your dog in jail at night, okay? Let's be honest with each other. Uh, okay, you go to sleep, you go to sleep. You have to tell the dog a bedtime story. Uh, usually what I would do is I give them a little treat, not pat, give them a, a little bit of uh, petting and telling them they are good boys. It's usually good enough for them. It's good enough for me too, when my girlfriend does it to me. <laughs> if you can walk away from a landing, it's a good landing. If you use the airplane the next day, it's an outstanding landing. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of stuff. Right, I got a uh, flight unlocked. We just being me, a Dutch person, in a kennel. It's not a kennel. A kennel is outside and made of wood or whatever. It's not a kennel. In America, it's when you have a dog indoor in an indoor enclosure. Right? They call them crates. Let's go ahead and I have lost a lot of gold. Presumably because a lot of my trade deals died. Pedro! Pedro! <laughs> Raul! No, not you. Tamar. How much do you pay? No, not for that. Stop. How much do you pay for 100 diplomatic favor? You will give me 51. 51 gold. Tamara is winning right now. So anyone who gives me more. So usually what I do is I type in 100. Anyone who gives more than 51. So he's 49. Currently Tamara is still winning. Uh, Arabia. Arabia. How much gold are you willing? You are broke. Never mind. See it. Uh, Canada. Canada. The land of the hats. 46 gold. Uh, Georgia is still winning. Jan Curtain. How do you feel? You give me a crappy deal. All right. Georgia, here is all of your diplomatic favor. Thank you. Uh, something, something, Epstein, something. Epstein didn't uh, kill himself. I got to be careful about those memes. I don't know if that's going to negatively affect my channel if I start making those kind of jokes. As much as I want to. Um, I don't know if I have the the kind of resilience on YouTube to be able to make those jokes and get away with it. Uh, pl pl planes are very expensive, and usually he's won by the time they're available. Uh, there is a specific strategy you can go for that involves planes, but uh, the person who spoke uh, was correct. The nuke bug was funny. Kanukistan, what is the A to Z challenge? First person to answer him uh, gets a gold star. Him or her. It could be a it could be a her. Who knows? I do get I do believe three percent of my audience is female. <laughs> Alright, go to sleep. Potato, horribly fat kid here. I fucking love you, man. Okay, Michael. Just like reveal your real name to everyone. Epstein didn't pet his dog. <laughs> there are about 19 million results for how to crate train your dog. Correct. Uh, Epstein killed himself two shots in the back of the head. Very common. I know. It's a terrible affliction that's affecting many people in our society, especially those who go into politics. It's very strange. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's pop you up here. Pop there. Hey, go there. Uh, girls like Civ too. In fact, girls love Civ. I think Civ is like probably the strategy game with the largest girl following in existence. Maybe Fire Emblem. I'm trying to think what else would maybe kind of follow that kind of a thing. Um, it's so accessible and just 
cool beans for that like anyone can play it like kids love it adults love it like pretty much anyone who's like turned on to save just, like becomes an absolute addict and that's what's so great about it and the community for sib is like you never have to engage with the multiplayer and like which is usually what turns most people away from it except for like young men who like revel <laughs> in like there's people getting called slurs every day of the week i don't know people are weird man oh my goodness it's a thing. Sandile. I don't know if I said your name right. I have a feeling it's not Sandile. <laughs> I feel like it's Sandile. Thank you so much for becoming a spuddy, Sandile. Uh, I'm totally guessing it had to pronounce your name, though. Uh, speaking of Alphabet, see the Epstein cover video release today. Damn, our media is corrupt. The Sims, it's chill to play every now and again. The Sims is another one that is real chill and everyone loves it really is play this in save one no regrets swing up here girls who i know think that this is a nerd game and then they're idiots and haven't played it that's what you should tell them it's like you're an idiot if people say something you like is nerdy just call them idiots and be like you're a dumbass See how they respond. Report back res with results, okay? Uh, have you played the Red Death mod multiplayer? Yes, I have. It's fun. It's great. I enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Have you played uh, Fire Emblem? And I'm glad I have everyone muted when I'm playing, working. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, do you do uh, QA stuff sometimes when you're working? Sa Sandile? Is it Sandile? 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 Uh, the facts of the case are odder than most conspiracies. Are there seriously eight whale tiles in that city? You're goddamn right there is. Whales. Ever try Endless Legends? I have. I'm not very good at it, but it is a fun game and it's enjoyable. I think it's a really well-made one. I'm really excited for Humanity, which is Amplitude Studios' next 4X game. It's going to be great. In the words of Tony the Tiger. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Just told my wife. She said I need to move in with you. <laughs> Did she say it when she was laughing? Remember, guys, you could say whatever you want to a woman. As long as she laughs, you get away with it. Just call them an idiot. As long as they giggle, you, just, you got away scoff-free. No consequences. Oh, you might pay for it later, though. Maybe. <laughs> uh, QA functional tester. Good grief. Don't mean to make fun of your job, but that sounds like torture to me. Run into this wall for six hours, please, and make sure you can't clip through it. Okay. Is there a suicide booth nearby? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm being mean. Okay. I shouldn't say I, that's too mean. Too mean. I went too far. I'm sorry. Skip. That's actually pretty good. Pedro the Shy. I'm on the senior level of it. I have 400 below me to get that honor. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you should know. What's that? <laughs> You're like the... <laughs> you know that? What's that one game? The Overlord? You're like that dude. And you have like all these gremlins and you just torture them all day. Sounds amazing. Oh, so you do like publisher level QA? That's interesting. You get to push the findings off to the radio. devs. It's a deaf world. That is cool, man. I could be building railroads or I could just not. That would be equally valid decision for me to make. <clears throat> 
It's combining units together. I know, uh, I know, um, I don't know much about Activision, so a little bit about 2K. I know they have like an absolutely gargantuan QA team at 2K, and those guys are like really, really good at like finding the most crazy niche scenarios and stuff like that, from what I've heard. It's like this all works perfectly unless you press this button while scrolling the map to the left uh, using this particular hardware. You need to fix that. It didn't, doesn't pass QA. You can't publish this. Excuse me, 2K? <laughs> uh, Potato, are you, lots of studying at bug reports and cross-checking your docs. Potato, are you excited for CK3? Yes, I'm extremely excited for it. I'm really looking forward to that game. You guys have probably noticed that a lot of what we've been doing right now is actually not playing the game. It is uh, hitting the end turn button and waiting for this globe to spin, which is one of my biggest gripes with the late game. Uh, things will get a little bit more interesting as time goes on. But for now, this is what we are relegated to. Uh, if you guys think this is bad, by the way, I want you to remember that um, Firaxis and 2K QA have to test this game on every speed. That includes marathon. That means full playthroughs. If you think a normal speed game is slow, imagine if you had to play a game of marathon to completion to do one report. Uh, are you... Uh, I see some cool ass bugs. That's interesting. That would be like, I think Tales from QA would be a great like post launch dev diary type thing for developers to do. Like what is like the weirdest thing that went wrong with the game? What was something that like we really struggled to figure out? And what was something that went wrong that like ended up being incorporated into gameplay? Are you planning to finish one game for a stream for the duration of this challenge? Uh, yeah, that is the hope. I think it's far more interesting if we always finish a game. All that sort of jazz. Infuriated several devs by randomly disconnecting my controller in our opportune times back in my PS3 testing days. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, when AA devs capture you, definitely have more QA testers than you have in your studio. Right? Well, I mean, but here's the thing. You got to remember that like places like Activision and 2K and like these super publishers, they have so many resources behind them but not only that they have so much work to do they're supporting so many different companies and they're uh providing qa at like a publisher level to so many different things that like they kind of need that many people and not only that but the games they work on are so huge that they have the budget to be able to afford that and justify it at the same time so there's rocketry we never really had a discussion about where we're going to put our space race district so let's have a quick look at who has the most production. It's probably going to go in chat, honestly. This is 70 production city, and there's a great spot for it um, right over here, right there. Now, normally what I would do is I would purchase this district using um, Reyna, but, but this city actually makes so much production that it's going to hard build it. Make our way to satellites. Then we will head over to launching the Mars colony, and we'll continue on from there. Now, I need to get my hands on... Hey, you're not going to build it. I think Kyrgyz is going to be the one to make the industrial zone right there. Then we'll take the time to purchase all of the buildings in this district. I've got eight envoys. I will hmm, hold on to them. Uh, the team I work with is eight people and we oversee 40. God damn. And the broken controllers are real here. Oh my god, the horror stories I can tell you. I'm excited for CK3, but it doesn't look like the Game of Thrones mod team is moving to it, and I mainly play CK2 for that mod. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, they might change their mind as things get closer to release. Yeah, but imagine being paid to do that. Yeah, that's true. Are you planning to finish one? Uh, clicking. Oh my god, the horror stories. Uh, can you do AW on Marathon, please? Oh god, no. Are you insane, Stephen Hussey? Uh, the Broken Controls real. If this madman actually does a marathon huge map game at Rome, I swear to god, I'll subscribe. <laughs> Listen, lies. Even if you subscribed at the $59.99 tier, it wouldn't be worth it, okay? I just, it would cause me too much emotional pain. So now we need a spy to defend our capital. Sorry, not our capital. We need a spy to defend this city right here, Shat. Uh, so I'm just going to tell him to counter spy here until this spaceport is finished. Go to sleep there. Uh, da -da -da -da, but, in, but, but in the Shat, you can have Shat rockets. That's right. How do you think they're powered? Uh, Myriad's better than admin stuff, but compared to design or asset dev, 
Uh, the team, we work seven to six days a week, six to seven days a week, and 10 to 14 hours a day, and to give you and us video games. Jesus Christ. Nope. I'm good. Never working in video games. Unless I am the owner of the studio. And I get to be the billionaire playboy, okay? That's the only role I'll fulfill. We also got aluminum, which is... Neat. I think, uh, I think I would like to... I, I, I would like to make enough money one day to be able to fund, like, just a small video game. I think that would be pretty cool. Just to make nothing. I don't want to make, like, something like AAA, big, you know, oh, millions of people play it. I want to make something just kind of kind of quirky and weird that a few people like. And that really appeals to me as a person. That's what I would like to do. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot that now that we're not at war, um, we can start getting these uh, lovely trade routes online. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to centralize all of our traders into Shat, because this is where we want uh, things to go well. We also... Uh, should totally plug in Vissel Banking. I don't know why I haven't. I just completely forgot to plug that in. Uh, let me fix that right now. So that I get extra production and food from trading with my allies. Potato, did you already, don't you already work in video games? I mean, technically, yes. But I work in like the best part where I just play them. I never have to do any like QA. I never have to develop anything. I never have to negotiate for money. I never have to like put forward an idea and get it shot down. I never have to work in a team. I can just do whatever I want, whenever I want. It's the greatest job in the world. Hey, chat, what is this challenge? Basically, we just play start to finish. Uh, Ian, just play every uh, Civ on DD from A to Z. No, don't get me wrong. It is like the greatest job in the world that I've ever had. Caveat, it's still pretty stressful sometimes because like there's a lot that goes on that like behind the scenes and stuff like that i like i know it's always so funny it's like people hear you talk hear, people hear you like even begin to complain about the fact that you play video games uh, and that's how you make your money and they'll be like oh fucking cry me a river you play video games for money it's like uh, yeah yeah but whatever uh okay so we're trading with the congo primarily we have an alliance with him and the reason we're trading with the congo is because it gives us uh plus two plus three plus 18 plus two plus one plus one right that's a lot of good stuff we're trading with georgia too uh that does sound like a petty, pretty sweet gig ah dude like i think there i feel like there are some people right and i had this conversation on twitch i think it was twitch i can't remember exactly where it was but i had this conversation with some people it was like uh how do i talk to my child somebody asked the question was like how do i talk to my child about like career choices um should I push them towards something that like makes money or should I push them towards something that they love? And I was like, really? My take is, and I could be wrong. I don't have kids, right? Don't get me wrong here. I don't know what the right move is, but my take is you tell them that like, listen, you can either, you know, have a job really that you're not super, you know, enamored by, but it makes decent, decent enough money for you to live and do the things that you want to do. Or you can have a job that you love and in all probability, not really make much money. And it's really up to you to make that decision about the kind of life that you want to lead. And for me, I would be doing this if I was being paid like 10 euro a day. It's just like, I can't live. I can't, I can't work in a space where like, if I was, if I lived in like the ancient era, I would be like drawn pictures on the cave. And someone would be like, hey, Potato, you want to go hunting? I'm like, that sounds like bullshit. I'm going to paint on the cave. <laughs> I would just be like, I don't want to do the things that are expected of me. It's just, I got to do the thing that I want to do. And it's like, and I'm willing to like take whatever lifestyle hit that lets me do that thing. Uh, right, so there's a campus research grants in here. It is time to start mass producing builders. Not quite. Uh, he wanted to, but he clicked on Aminator by accident. Potato, your video quality has at least doubled, so I'm excited to see your channel growing. Uh, what city are you playing? Nubia. That's right. Uh, I guess it's similar to people playing esports and outsiders not considering what a real job is. Yeah, pretty much any job that has any sort of level of fame or anything like that, people would just be like, that's not a job. That's like fun. And it's like, yeah, your job can be fun. It doesn't mean it's not work, dumbass. Like, um, this is the most fun thing that I do. Traders. I want traders. Uh, Nubia, so Archer Overload? Nope. We decided to play passive today. Uh, we, we, well, we, I say we played passive, like, we went to a couple of wars with Scythia, and I think we had a good time going to war with Scythia. That went really well for us. Uh, that's the secret to happiness. Uh, I think the secret to happiness is having a community that you are close to. I, only understand I think too many people think the secret to happiness is, like, in these really complicated concepts, 
really complicated concepts like having something you care about having something you love to do and it's like yeah sure but i think it's really just down to like do you have people that like you care about and care about you and that you think are good people and that you're like physically and emotionally close to because like if you answer no to those questions there's a high probability that your life uh doesn't feel good all the time um it's like those are really obvious things to me there's a live chat versus a top chat option i know isn't it exciting uh a challenge from a to z love your work keep it up thank you so much Lewis. appreciate that dude all right we're 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 so deep into this game now we're getting into like potato advice hour i did not mean to have that trader trade from the city i meant to put it in chat oops somebody is being killed yes let's be friends i need to renew my friendships congo is important because i'm trading with him australia a little bit less important and canada canadia open borders little trick if you want to make a bit of extra money out of the ai when you get an alliance with them open it open borders with them and then do the alliance uh jan curtain has no alliances for me uh, i mean no one's real life feels good all the time yeah 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 true i mean okay let me let me rephrase that um there's probably a high probability that you feel dissatisfied with your friend group and your life and how it's going if, if you don't have people that you care about and who care about you right i feel like that's i feel like that is an uncontroversial statement okay so let's have a look at the power map mode all right so we got power here that means i should be able to justify purchasing a research lab in here then that will extend the power grid over there i'll also want a research lab in here if i can get it we'll, we'll hold off on that for now let's see builders have been created i would like an industrial zone this would literally only power one city it's not worth it uh, instead, why don't you just go ahead and do campus research grants for me? Uh, I mean, I was, uh, happiness is not a destination. It's a small moment. Most people don't appreciate it as much as they should. Yeah, I mean, like, let's all be real. We're, um, we're a pack of barely evolved apes clinging to a rock, hurtling through this space. And the entire universe is going to die a slow heat death. Really, the only thing that matters are the things that make us feel good in the long run. Which is usually... Just spending time with people we like. Uh, go to a real college and get a real degree and you can still work in games or somewhere else if you want. Take it for a for-profit university is a sure thing. Less than 10% of the state of my friend will ever ship the game. Only half of them are still working? Damn. Lister. Yikes. Dude, game design... Game design is like an insatiable monster. It chews up graduates and students like no tomorrow and spits them out. Uh, no, I free shout when I get real. You're not wrong. I work in a criminal justice and I study art now. I wonder if he's going to play Eleanor of Aquitaine twice in a row. Yep. Free game of gear. And all the free shout is because it's real. Ever read about stoicism, potato? Nope. I don't read philosophy. That's for nerds. <laughs> all right we're into the we're into the weird eras now everyone who's here just to watch me play a game is gone and now we're into the people who are here to hear me ramble about nonsense uh i know a little bit about stoicism but i you know i don't know enough to say like i know what stoicism is i've heard of it i've heard the word um for profit universities thumbs down stubbing your toe thumbs down for profit university thumbs down i did 3d animation now like four people work in and now like four people work in film in general cool 3d animation is a fun one i wanted to do 3d animation when i was a kid but i was just too dumb to figure it out i like downloaded a free version of maya and was like fluting about with it and uh never really got anywhere because i couldn't understand the tutorials because i was like 12. uh you're an idiot you're right potato you are an idiot Hey, Otzi Fix. First time you've ever seen me live. Thank you so much, Otzi. I appreciate that, my dude. He says, as he plays a 4X strategy game, are you doing both Indias? Greases? Yeah, I'll be doing every every single leader. Every single leader. Research lab. I'm going to purchase this. Am I building a factory somewhere? I think I wanted to purchase. I want to get the coal power plant in here. Now, we are losing coal. So... Old Kazari Blim, why don't you get me a settler? I'll send that settler over here to grab this coal. 
I'll also maybe make friends with Buenos Aires. Oh my god, that's 17 envoys. Holy shit, we won't be taking control of that until we have uh, ideology and we can get... Is it ideology? No, 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 no. It is containment. Alrighty, University of Saint Core is interesting to me. That is plus three science. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Teleport you over to chat. Uh, how much experience do you have with multiplayer in Civ 6? Uh, not very much, and mostly because it just doesn't interest me. I don't think Civilization is a very good multiplayer game. Uh, at least for what I'm looking for from it. I'm going to say goodnight. See you later, lies. Au revoir, mon ami. I don't know how to say sleep tight in French, but... Au revoir, mon ami. Airplanes, all that good stuff. Well, nice that you called me Otzi. That's my nick. Must have no made this account five years ago, and Otzi was probably Rather, taken. No one any sense I have the great joy of never having my nickname taken. I, one guy... One guy, one time, took my name. One time he took my name. And I was pretty mad about it. I was like, who the hell is this guy? And I think it was a Twitter account. And I think that Twitter account got closed. And that's how I got my name on Twitter. Uh, it really bothers me. Because it's such a unique name. Nobody else has ever come up with this name. Like, everyone... Plenty of people could come up with, like, you know, like... Shadow Soul. Or Shadow Soul. Or Soul Fury. But nobody, I don't think I've ever seen anyone come up with Potato McWhiskey. It is such a great name. And I didn't even come up with it. I stole it from someone else. Who was trying to make fun of me for being Irish. Um, but it, it actually does genuinely bother me when um, people take my name in games. Because I'm like, damn it, that's my name. I want my name. But I eventually, eventually I, I, you know, I'm just, if, if, if I keep growing, I'm going to reach a size where just like I'll never be able to get my name in anything. We'll also build a spy after the water park over here. We got the spaceport completed. Let's go ahead and get started on the launching the Earth satellite. Now that this is completed, we're going to cancel this counter spy and then we're going to counter spy on the spaceport to keep it safe. Uh, ideally, you want to have this surrounded by districts so that you can have multiple spies protecting it. That way, multiple spies uh, can be blocked per turn. I'm going to put three things into Muscat. In fact, I'm actually going to take Sue's Ranity of Muscat because mainly for the um, plus one Diplo favor per turn. Uh, I don't enjoy competitive multiplayer with friends is really fun. Yeah, my, that's kind of the thing. Like, I think multiplayer, like, if it's pretty chill, but I I just feel like it's not a very good... Well, I don't want to say it's not a very good game because I think that's a little bit too, like, asserting, like, an opinion, where it's more like, I don't enjoy the kind of multiplayer game that it is. It's so unique, but it feels like it shouldn't be mash three Irish things together. It is. Yeah, I know, right? It feels... That's, that's what I love about it. It's, like, it feels like such a generic, like, how did nobody come up with this? But it's like so incredibly um, like nobody. I've never, ever seen anyone use a name like this. And I'm like, hell yeah, I want that as my name. Uh, how often do you lose a game on Deity nowadays? Probably like one in a hundred or less. Like very, very rarely do I actually see the lose screen. It does happen. It happens a lot more now that I'm doing these save games. But I don't think that counts because I'm using other people's saves. I kept the Civ 6 and Civ 5 multiplayer, but the balance of multiplayer is so out of whack. Yeah, that's kind of a bit of a problem too. Is that the Civ 5 multiplayer felt really tight and well put together. Um, but Although it did kind of rely on a lot of really heavily modded communities. Cheers for the stream, potato. Gotta go. Working tomorrow. See you later, Drill Sergeant 24. We'll be wrapping up here pretty soon. We're on turn 30, 236. We're getting pretty close to a science when we're already working on the Earth satellite. So, you know, we're we're wrapping things up here. It's like people <laughs> I love it when people like when I'm talking to when I'm talking to people about Civ, they're like, oh man, I love Civ, but it like takes, you know, so many hours to play. And I'm like, dude, I can crack a game out in like six hours. Um, and they're like, what? That's insane. Um, yeah, I could probably, I think the fastest game I ever did was three and a half hours. I think I did one. Um, cause I was just focused and I wasn't talking, but yeah, like I feel like the reason why I like to finish a game of save in like one sitting is, um, reloading into a game of save is kind of like waking up a nap, uh, like waking up. No, no. It's like waking up hungover in someone else's house. You have absolutely no idea where you are, what you were doing or why you're here. Uh, uh, rename it's like most Irish people wouldn't dare to lean into that that much into the stereotype. This is something kind of delightfully cheeky about going all out for it, right? Isn't it brilliant? I think it's great. 
don't know. I just thought, like, before I made the YouTube channel, it was just my, like, online nickname. And I was like, well, I mean, I could just use this as my nickname. It's a good nickname. And, because, uh, like, that's one of the biggest barriers for people trying to come up with, like, a YouTube channel name. It's like, Jesus, what do I call myself? And uh, I was like, Grant, potato McWhiskey, it's Grant. Uh, multiplayer is easy win, everyone will leave the game, and your last one standing, pretty much. Uh, There's a good NPC for Civ 6. Yeah, I, I've played with the CPL guys. I'm so bad, I watch your industrial district tour six times, I struggle lining up the aqueducts. Okay, uh, here, here's how it works. What you do is, you place the first city, you make an aqueduct, right, like this. And then from this aqueduct, you place two industrial zones. Yeah? Sumpf. And then from this, you do another aqueduct. And then from this, you do another aqueduct. What you're trying to make is like a fidget spinner. You get me? Do your extra Irish accent, please. Shame they didn't implement, implement a victory screen when that happens. I would also like to hear the extra Irish accent. Sure, why not? I don't know what you're talking about. What, do you want me to talk normally? Not like I'm talking to a YouTube channel to an audience. We can do that if you want. Problem is, people tell me in my life... That when I don't talk like that, it sounds like I'm mumbling or something. I don't know. It's just is the way it is. Are industrial zones any good in culture games? You want to have one or two just so you can get the um, industrial zone great people that let you build wonders so that it's easier for you to get the, ha get the hold of the Eiffel Tower and the Crystal Red and Tor. Research lab. There we go. Do you like dogs? Does your mom like dogs? Got them. Fucking roasted a boy. Get out of here. With that weak ass game. Uh, let's drop a water park here. <coughs> something, something. Lucky charms. That's very... <laughs> Get away from me, lucky charms. <laughs> Stroke me, Clover. How's it going, Caleb? I heard the accents. I want to buy 10 points and start singing. Not much singing goes on with my generation, unfortunately. And that's actually... I would go... If if people sat around drinking and singing more in my generation, I would go to the pub more. Honestly, it just feels like people my age just go out and do drugs. And I'm kind of like, that's cool. But I'm not interested. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I get it. It's rough. I just don't understand the aqueducts industrials aren't allowed to go on certain tiles. Um, so, basically, the, the aqueduct can go on any tile as long as that tile has access to fresh water from an edge. So, like, right here, the aqueduct could go to here because it has access to this fresh water, but only if the city center isn't placed here because I did the thing where you draw the line. Does that not help? Uh... <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, who is the first good save to come to play in the Rise and Fall DLC? Ooh, I don't remember off the top of my head who came in that DLC. And a long day. Glad to be home. Gra Grand to see you, Caleb. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, let me look off the top of my head. Rise and fall saves. The cars haven't advanced that much since we were kids. When you boil it down, it's still a gas combustion engine. Does anyone know off the top of their head the rise and fall saves? I always forget this. It's like my pet pet peeve. I'm just uh Cree, Dutch, Georgia, India, Korean, Bapuche, Mongolia, Scottish. So your question was <clears throat> Who is a good first save to come to play as in the Rise and Fall DLC? I would say that the Zulu have a really unique playstyle. So does Mongolia. 
Korea is a lot of fun for a science victory. In fact, I would recommend somebody who's trying to go for a science victory play Korea first because they have such an easy time. You can really figure things out with them. Um, the Dutch are kind of fun for screwing around and so are the Korea. But uh, yeah, that would be my recommendations. Yeah, I am running out of coal. I'm not worried about it. I have a settler on the way. This settler is going to go ahead and settle over here and buy that coal right there, which should take care of the majority of our coal problems. Um, if we go ahead and check the power map mode, you can see um, we actually are not having too bad of an issue, but some of our coal power plants will shut down, which will hurt our science, but it's not the end of the world. Tell how to get a performance panel for each leader. The performance panel is found up here in the options menu under interface, show yields in hood ribbon. Click always show and you're good to go. You'll have this whole thing up here in the top right. Uh, do multiple air balloon stacks. Dutch air fund for adjacent porn. Okay. Uh, why do you not clear the notifications? It's because like they're over here and I never look at them. Uh, okay, my bad. Here, I'm sorry. If it drives you nuts, I'll clear them all out, okay? Except for that one. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I took a little bit too much pleasure in that. Right. Let's get ourselves another campus. Dutch. 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 This is like, I don't know. Uh, it's easy. You should either point at a river or a mountain. Aqueduct thing. Yeah, it's, it really is that kind of easy. You just, you just have to like, imagine you're drawing a line from the city center to a source of water. It has to go through that. Uh, six people are upset with you because you forgot Alexander. Right now. I want everyone who's watching to click the like button. I swear to God, if you haven't clicked the like button, I'm ending this stream right now and I'm never streaming again. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, Tamara has been ravaged. Sure. <clears throat> Whoa, it sounded dirty. Uh, I like that Scotland makes the amenity system a bit more relevant. I agree. I think that would be a mechanic I would like to see revisited is the amenity system. I think fundamentally as a, like, uh, as a game mechanic, it's fine, but like it just doesn't feel you know, like it does much. Uh, what is that whale? Whale of an island? That is Wales. Welcome to Wales. I started watching about 25 minutes ago. When will you be streaming? Uh, haven't made that decision again. I can click it again. Click it harder, Brandon. Click it like you mean it. Uh, it was oddly satisfying to watch. I know he probably has been asked, but what is the A to Z challenge? Oh my god, flying weasel, man. Get him. Get him, guys. Get him. Pile on. Tell him, tell him what we think of people who ask that question in here. Get him. We think actually you're totally fine to ask that question and I appreciate you for having the inquisitive nature to actually even ask that question. Now I'm curious, what power plants have shut down here? So the only power plant that's operational is the one in my capital, which is fine. We grabbed ourselves a settler in here. That'll get me that coal over there. I will probably need to plug in the card from conservation. No, where's the coal card? Do I already have the coal card? Ah, for feck's sake, I do. Jesus Christ. That'll solve me coal issues. All right, go ahead and get a zoo. Uh, do you like the luxury resources system from the Endless Games? Um, Yes and no. I think it's cool, but I don't know if it works in Civ. If you like it, put a click on it. It is the challenge playing each Civ in alphabetical order. By the leader's name on DOD difficulty. Correct. We have a winner. We're getting really close to winning. Although, again, there's kind of like, there's this point in the late game where like optimization just doesn't matter at all. <laughs> uh, you know, oh, I completely forgot. One thing I did completely forget, it doesn't matter right now, but it will matter later on, is uh, I forgot to move Pingala over to this city. So let's reassign Pingala over to Shant. Like it, it matters slightly. But I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Uh, we did get ourselves another spy. Now, this spy will want to... Unfortunately, I don't have another district that I can use unless I were to get myself a, another district in here. Ferris wheel will do. Ferris wheel will do. Uh, I do need a builder to go with this settler in order to pick up this coal tile. Uh, my first thought was dealing with wonders, but I was wrong. Do you have an under desk pedal? I do not. Ru Goya. I don't understand what is confusing about it. There's not much that I can mean. Potato, you should sing. 
What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Is that doing it for you? I specifically sung that in as feminine a voice I could. <clears throat> give that, give that man a lucky charms. Glad they bought. Oh God damn it! I'm sad you're streaming on work though. Being a foreign country sucks. Do you have any? Did I forget to turn music on? Have we played this entire time without music? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't even at me. What was that pathing? I kind of I kind of actually miss not playing. I kind of miss playing without music. Uh you should never sing like that again. Five hours of people asking what the A to Z challenge is, including me, deserves ten bucks. Thank you so much, Brett G. I appreciate those ten dollars in my pocket. The heirs of the Yeehaw, partner. <laughs> Sorry. Just have an insatiable urge to make fun of Americans for being silly. Silly old people, you are. Oh, I could make a canal if I wanted to. Uh, did you me mute because of the mar music? Uh, what is your favourite Irish beer? Well, let me tell you a tale of... Let me tell you a tale of ale. An ale of tale, I'll tell you. Uh, I don't really like beer. That's it. That's the tale. <laughs> I like whiskey. What do you fucking think my name is? Um, well, I'm just building water parks because I have a little bit of a negative amenities. A tale from the ale depths. What does this do? Randomly chosen technology. <gasps> Combined arms and electricity. Ooh, I have uranium. Uh, freedom bugs, get it right. Dollar dues. Every dollar is a dollar do. If you dollar don't know what I mean to you. Diddly dollar, dollar dues. Diddly dolly, didgeridoo. Diddly dollar, dollar do. Diddly dollar, dollar do. Hidely ho, neighborino. Let's do some fun things like building a canal. Any good campus spots around here? Uh, it's an okay campus. It's an okay campus. Uh, what would the American version of Potato Big Whiskey be called? Hmm. Uh, hamburger McBud Light. Hmm? He tells you uh, how he has family back in Ireland all the time. <clears throat> and that he likes NASCAR. But only uh, amateur NASCAR. <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't know. Do they even have amateur NASCAR? Hamburger McBudweiser? Burger McRum? Who knows? I, I suppose the thing is, America is so huge. Like, you can't really generalize Americans. There's like, see, there's like, uh, I shouldn't make that analogy. That's actually a really dangerous analogy that I was about to make. Because it's actually a very controversial topic. So let's uh, let's use a different analogy. There may be no if you don't America is just really big. It's hard to generalize a nation of 300 million people. Whereas Ireland, there's only about 5 million of us. What you see is kind of what you get. Like, wait, I wanted an alliance with you. Brazil, give me your alliance. Chat, mix Sunday football, close enough. Macruso. Uh, Australia took your first shot in slides. Do they have the shot at the space race? Oh, Jesus Christ. How are they getting so much science? He actually could potentially win here. How and ever. We're pretty equal. And I think I'm better than him. Just in general. Like, I'm just... I'm better than most people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think I'll be able to take him out. Don't worry. I do... Culture is a big problem for me right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot to do the thing. I forgot to get flood barriers. It's all gone wrong. Where are my engineers? I could I did the thing that I ch chastised people about. Don't forget to get your flood barriers up. 
I've got 19 turns. All right, so we're good. I cannot believe that I did that. I want to hear the dangerous analogy. It would legitimately get me banned off YouTube if I said the words that I was going to use. <coughs> Any Destiny followers will know you're only supposed to say those kind of things in private. Uh, more a beer thing in Texas, honestly. Uh, I was actually going to ask what the Texan version of Pathetic Whiskey would be. I felt like I would be singling out or bullying Texans somehow. Who knows? Who knows what the Texan version is? Hmm. Let me think about that. Steer. Muck. No. Hmm. Da da dum, 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 dum 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 dum. Uh, it's pretty typical for people out to generalize USA to be Texan. Germany has the same problem with Bavaria. Bavaria, yeah. It's all Kitali to Hosen and live in mountains, yeah. Yeah, wall. Uh, same, bro. Oof. Are most domination in DD games one in the early game? I would, I would say so, yeah. Pretty pretty early in the game, because uh, if you're going for a domination, usually a snowball. As a Californian, I feel like we say we're all avocado McCraft brews. Yeah, but that's actually true. True. And you're all obsessed with your Instagram too. California is a weird place. Steer McBeer, steak McTequila, BBQ Shiner, Bach. I actually I was in Texas. It's a nice place. A uh, bit weird, seeing dudes walking around with cowboy hats and guns on their hips, but it was awesome. Cop, cop let me drive his car while I was drunk. Don't think I can reveal that cop's identity, but that was great. <laughs> Let's not talk about that story, actually. I might actually get someone in trouble. <laughs> uh, right, seaports. Yeah, I, I, seaports sounds great. All right, one more turn until that. And when I say drive it, he, he, we drove it around a parking lot, like a hotel parking lot, like about 20 feet. And I wasn't that drunk. He was just like, you want to drive the car? And I was like, yeah, give me your sunglasses too. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> he put the light on, but not the, um, not the siren. He wouldn't let me put on the siren. Damn it. I wasn't literally driving around Texas hammered in a car. <clears throat> that would be irresponsible. That's every cop in Texas potato. I know. Uh, potato, do you have a car? Not anymore. I gave it away. To my family member. DQ McWhataburger. I went to a Whataburger and some ignorant asshole, I don't even know who it was or what they were doing, they like dropped their drink from the second floor and it like exploded all over me. And I, forgetting that I was in America, I just kind of like looked up and basically shouted, why do you have to be a C word? I like, everyone in the place like looked at me like, oh my God, there's an angry Irishman here. <laughs> he just had water spilled all over him. It was some teenager dropped his drink on people on the bottom floor just to be funny. And I was like, anyway. I was uh, not amused. Let's put it that way. And then I felt, but then after like the momentary anger of having water splashed all over me kind of passed, then I felt a bit acutely uncomfortable with the fact that everyone was looking at me like I was a wild animal. <clears throat> the rules right said we're sending military to Mexico to kill drug cartels. Neat. This story is no longer interesting. Unsubscribe. Hell yeah. We're about to finish up here though. HEB mistake. I was in a HEB. Those are cool stores. They got all kinds of cool things. Flood barriers. 
are a cool thing. Flood barriers are definitely a cool thing. Let's go ahead and make sure that we get those done. You don't need flood barriers. You definitely need flood barriers. Use these engineers to speed them up to a reasonable amount of turns. Nine turns until flood level changes. Start purchasing military engineers. Um, not ready to start doing this. The plot of Sicario, basically. The C, C word is a no-no here. Yeah, well. Listen. Sometimes you gotta shout out the C word when a ma like some teenager drops fucking his sody pop all over you, okay? <coughs> the C word is like calling a woman a fanny here. I I think if I think if you called an Irish or a British woman a fanny, they'd laugh at you. Like, what did you call me? <laughs> and then they'd just like walk away. I don't think they'd get upset about it at all. Unless they were crazy. And then pretty much anyone. Well, but I mean, I guess, like, unless they were crazy, I guess applies to anyone that you, like, call something. Because you call someone crazy anything, and they'll just lose it. Uh, YouTube player is way better than Civ, but the lack of theater mode sucks. True. Send feedback to YouTube. I, uh, I sent feedback to YouTube, like, okay. I'm not taking credit for the fact that 2x speed mode came to mobile, but legitimately for like an entire year, I sent feedback to YouTube like every few days about the fact that I wanted a 2x speed mode and eventually they implemented it. So I'm pretty sure if you like complain about something enough to YouTube, they'll actually implement it. Uh, let's see here. Fanny packs are always funny. It's not American Americans. So sometimes it really is the only word that will do. Sometimes it really is. Sometimes somebody's just being a, you know, an unt. And you gotta call him an unt. C word meets clanker? All material things. That's a robot slur. I have no problem saying swear words. It's just, uh, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with it because they're probably, there's probably people listening to this without headphones on and like the entire time I've been pretty clean and then just out of nowhere you just hear some lad going Jesus the state of you 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 bleeding aren't you the heck you and like that really loudly in someone's ears probably wouldn't be appreciated <clears throat> by a viewer uh, since you're launching from Shant does that mean your exoplanet ship will be called the Enterprise yes sir uh, fanny packs are cool and handy twitch ah I see western Texas is sheep west Texas is about 80 miles south of Dallas check google maps if you don't believe me Wait. Since you're launching... In my defense. Um, again. It was like 20 feet in a parking lot. And then afterwards, I was like, did a cop just let me drive his car after I'd been out drinking? I was like, let's never, let's not talk about this. To be fair, I, I was pretty sober by the time it happened because it was like, I, I had come home uh, to the hotel at like 1 a.m. And this was like at 6 a.m. in the morning. We had gotten, we actually, one of the concierges was like, came over and sat with us while we were like, just kind of chilling and uh we were like hey what's up man how's it going what are you up to and uh he was like i'm kind of hungry i was gonna go to whataburger do you guys want food or it was like man i'm or no we we like looked at each other like man i'm starving and uh this guy was like i'll go to whataburger for you we were like what really and he was like yeah man give me an excuse to go for myself and i was like sweet here's some dollary dues get us some burgers buddy and he did. He totally did. He totally came through through for us and brought us burgers at like 3 a.m. in the morning when we're all like donking drunk and uh, totally saved our lives from being malnourished. No, I didn't want to buy a trader. I wanted to buy a military engineer. What's a good strategy for winning a diplomatic victory? Choosing a different victory type. <coughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't play diplomatic victory. I just don't like it. I don't enjoy it. And so I don't do it. 
All right, we are ever so slightly ahead of uh, what's his name? This guy, uh, Australasia. Money culture victory is a secure diplo victory. Pretty much, West Texas has a big check community. You got to cheaty check yourself before you riggedy <laughs> Slovenia yourself. What? Oh, I meant Slovakia, not Slovenia. Damn it. Check yourself before you Slovakia yourself. Totally messed that up. Also, is anyone winning a culture victory? Ah, uh, Movember's going for it. Why is a woman to be treated differently? Hey, we got democracy at long last. Our people can vote. All righty then. Machiavellianism. Ba bam Cards are combining together. New deal. Where is the five-year plan? There we go. Campus and industrial zone. And then I also want economic union. Shabam. Wabam. Did I forget to plug in rationalism? No, I have rationalism. Uh, Diplo victory you only go for. You can't win anyway. Even then, it's very hard to do if you already have like 12 Diplo points. Diplo victory seems like a unicorn. It's a bit of a wild card. Uh, it's... Look, I, I just stand by what I said about it. It's just not fun. I just don't think a diplomatic victory is a fun victory type. So we want to get to globalization. It'll take a while, um, especially on this level of culture. We did just launch launch the moon landing. Send this over to Shat. Shat! Oh, shoot. I meant to plug in Trade Confederation. I've got to fix that. I think we can get rid of New Deal. Uh, you see the green dot in your city? What green dot? Y'all gotta be more clear when you're given instruction. Who am I allied with? I, am I allied with none of these people? Canada. Surely. A religious alliance of some kind. Look at that. Plus eight production from a trade route with Canada. Mm -mm -mm. Did I forget to do the flood barrier? Flood barrier. I forgot to do the flood barrier. 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 Easy way to ease the. Told you mean. Oh, shit. Australia has a spy on your spaceport. I know. And I have a spy defending my spaceport. So the probability. Oh, it's Brazil <coughs> that has a spy. It's okay if it gets pillaged because we've launched basically all the missions that we care about for now uh, i voted too there was 27 things on the ballot crazy voted for who must be helping defend it from someone else the five-year plan in democracy you got damn right from Stettin in the baltic just because we believe in democracy doesn't mean we can't be a forward-thinking people i'm gonna get rid of machiavellianism and i'm actually going to plug in containment because this will let me take control of some city states and then i want to plug in trade confederation because i'm going to get rid of new deal See you later, New Deal. Uh, and that should be a pretty significant boost to my thingies. I'm going to send you all the way over to Wales. You're going to trade with Toronto. My goodness. Who was that? Can't you capture it? Uh, there's nothing I can do about the spy. I have a spy defending... It's all our... Beyond that, it's all rolls of the dice. If technology is the engine of it just rolled in. Why is Nuri there? Uh, Nuri, 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 Nuri? Ah, because I thought it was funny to put a city here. That's why. Pretty much... Pretty much all that went through my head. <clears throat> I thought it would be ended. Oh my god, we actually rolled the god run! Smart materials immediately after finding nanotechnology. And we can get the Royal Society. 
Oh, man. This is the God run. If I had actually tried this game, <laughs> we could have had the most amazing run. Why didn't I try? I was screwing around most of the game just talking to chat. And uh, this, this is literal God run. This never. Okay, I really want to be clear here. A single... Getting smart materials on a single connection to nanotechnology has literally never happened in any of my science runs, okay? This is so rare, and this is one of the huge deciding factors in whether or not you're going to get, like, a personal best science run. This is insane. A single connection to nanotechnology to launch Exoplanet. Insane. Do I have a military alliance? I have a cultural alliance with Australia. In sanity. Oh, right, I have a guy here. Click. Uh, there is coal under Nuri, that's why he settled it. Oh yeah, that's why. I forgot about that too. That was the other reason. First of all, I wanted the coal. Second of all, I thought it would be funny. I mean, it probably would have been far more efficient to just settle one city here and grab both of the coal. But this just was far more entertaining for me. Restart, Gabrielle. This is like the god. This is like the game that you could legitimately do a god run on. Although, the big problem is I don't really have very good land. Although, like, look how garbage my land is, right? Look how garbage this land is. And then compare it to, like, how good this land up here is. Right? I got absolute garbo land. And I'm still winning. Figure that one out. Uh, flood barriers. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Also, launch that Mars colony. Garbage. Darling. Post seed. Well, you can just go back to the start of the stream later. Uh, what are your opinions of the top 10 hottest civ leaders? Well, like hot or not, or like hottest in temperature? Like, you gotta be very clear about the metric we're measuring here. Post my seed. That's on my exclusive, uh, you know, tier one subscriber Patreon only. If you want to see my... No, I'm not going to make a seed joke. Okay. Um, the seed is... Uh, let's see here. It is that. Take a screenshot. You've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Got it. Alrighty. Is it worth it to build military engineers to put production into dams or aqueducts? It can be. That's a decision you got to make on a case-by-case -case basis. Is it always worth it? No. Is it sometimes worth it? Yes. When is it worth it? It's really up to you to make that decision about like how you want to spend your production and your gold. I really don't want to... Can I... Can I, I wish there was like an auto handle this because at this point I just don't care. None of this matters to me. I'm just going to click on myself. None of, none of these are going to affect the outcome of the game. Um, science. So I am definitely ahead. I have nanotechnology. He does not. So I'm super ahead. All I got to do is launch that thing. A foist. What are you doing over here? Get out of here. <coughs> Might be a good idea to uh, make some mines here. I don't know why I made that noise. I was trying to make a whale noise. Because if you hang out over here. Oh, wait. Sometimes you can hear whales. See? Whales. Uh, flood barrier. Alrighty then.
Guess what, guys? Guess what? Tomorrow, we're gonna have a. Are you guys ready? For my dedicated viewers who watched all the way to the end, we're going to have a world first exclusive screening of my next guide video, okay? It's but don't tell anyone. You guys are going to see it first. No! My spaceport. Hey, we are able to repair this. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. Joe Huddle. Oh, wait, damn it. I actually can't show you that video yet because I didn't render it. <laughs> oh, no. I just made a promise I can't keep because I thought I'd already rendered it. I got to render it. Well, it'll be posted tomorrow. Don't worry. My bad. Ah, uh, damn it. I can't believe it. I was like, I was so excited to be like, oh, yeah. I thought that was such a great idea. Um, I was going to show you guys the video. I mean, I could show you it in Premiere, but it's like kind of scuffed doing it that way. So this tech boosting is a real nice. Let me do this thing. I'll change what I click on. So now we'll get up here to the unrevealed technologies faster. I swear to God, if this pillaging actually makes me lose the game, I'm going to go insane. Production. I know nothing said with the German action. I know nothing. I feel like I definitely debated you guys. Uh, I will I will show you the scuffed version. Is it how to win a diplomatic victory? No, it is to do with tourism. Did I get Jode? Did I get Jode? No, please tell me I didn't say a Joe thing. I don't think I got Joe Mohammed. Someone else did. Like, there's so many pop-ups in the late game that I just don't care about as a player. Do you have a schedule? I really want to catch your streams live. Uh, we do not have a schedule as of yet. However, we will be working that out as we move forward. Right now, it'll just be kind of random. It's when I have time and when I feel like it are the kind of metrics. But eventually, when we have this whole content creation thing kind of boiled down to its barest essence, we'll... Uh, We'll probably still not have, have a schedule that I stick to. But we'll try. Ah, that we will try. All right. We got Liang. It's time to start purchasing the builders. The campus research grant is done. Guess what we're going to do. That's right. More of these. Campus. Campus Krampus. I'm tired of you popping up, Builder, and asking for orders. Library, University, Research Lab, Monument, Granary, with our powers combined. I got a hiccup. I think you got Joe Mamet, but to be each, TBH might have been me, because I get it so often that I just tune it out. Yeah. Yeah. True. How do you get the little menus under the portraits of each leader? Oh my god. I feel like I need to have a bottle of whiskey and take a shot every time I ask that question. Okay. You go to the game menu. Options. Interface. Show yields in hood ribbon. Click. Always show. Next time. Read the goddamn patch notes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's fine. It's just... In my defense. In my defense. I get that question at least a dozen times a day. And I just wish that people read the patch notes. You're welcome, Lucas. I appreciate you having the heart to ask the question, even though there was the potential for me to make fun of you. And I didn't. One City Dido. 
Uh, I think you got blah, blah, blah. the settings interface face diplomacy ribbon. <clears throat> I feel like I need to do a PSA video where I just tell everyone the most important things about Civ that are not gameplay related, like UI, how to manage your stuff, and uh, like the same questions I get asked every time. Please don't die of alcohol poisoning from all the shots. <clears throat> I think you underestimate my constitution. It's even better than the American const... No, I'm joking. All right, let's go ahead and just do harbor shipping. So, like, here, here's a big mistake a lot of people make in the late game. They think, like, oh, I have this city and I want to do things in it. No, 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 no. This city doesn't matter. Just click on harbor shipping many, many times and then never pay attention to the city again. Okay? That's how you deal with a city in the late game. Um, you you only want to, you want to, like, minimize the number of things you have to pay attention to. I uh, got an endless drought by my capital. No fix. I do not, Brian. I'm apologizing. I'm sorry for that. As someone who often writes the patch notes, no one ever reads the patch notes. Dude, it lit like it's literally the only thing you can do that is to do with the game while you're installing the patch. Like, just read the patch notes. Naive potato, do you think they'll stop? No, dude. Like, here's the thing. The read the patch notes or like search the forums or use the search function has been said since like the 80s on the internet. Like literally there's always someone who comes along who doesn't know how to get the information and it just asks for how to get the information and i you know what i understand that person it's like they're busy they got a lot going on and they come into a place and like hey i don't understand this thing i want to be enlightened but from the perspective of someone who does know all these things and you experience these people you kind of get yourself into a thing where you're like god damn it why are there so many idiots out there who don't know how to read the patch notes who don't know how to use the search function in the forums and who don't know f how to find this information on their own i've known this for years and i found it easily and i think it's important to kind of take a step back from that attitude because it's very easy to get into that attitude and just be like listen man this person doesn't have the knowledge just give it to them and don't be snarky or mean about it you know now in fairness occasionally it's okay to be a little bit snarky and mean about it if you try to do it for entertainment like i'm trying to do all right uh capus research grant nuke scythia please uh we will consider it Oh, uh, Nuke Scythia. I mean, we will consider this option. I have to get an air. I have to get an aerodrome. If we're going to do that, uh, damn it, Dennis. Uh, T-shirt. Read the patch notes. I sent merch opportunities. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, like I don't know about you guys, but have you ever been on like a forum? Uh, and there's always like a new player, new new person post. He's like, "Hey guys, how does this work?" And it's like, "Leave the atom alone." Use the search function. Like, type your question into the search bar. And like, that's an okay attitude. I understand where people are coming from when they're doing that. But uh, I, 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 in the ideal world, you should take a much more forgiving and kind position. Uh, I didn't insult him. There are so many idiots out there. True. Oh, well, I wasn't saying that he was an idiot. I was saying I was saying that from the perspective of somebody who is tired of dealing with the same question over and over again. It's very easy to adopt a position of why are there so many idiots out there? That's not necessarily what. <laughs> it's not necessarily what I'm saying. I'm kind of like role playing as a person who's annoyed with them. Can you nuke Choco Island, please? They stole it from me. Yeah, that's true. I do need to not nuke Choco Island. Uh, YouTube member. Wait a minute. Oh, man. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay. Uh, I used to moderate the forum for a while. People ask a question with the shit up the screen, send the same thread. They didn't read past the title. Yeah, dude, like that. Not gonna lie. That stuff annoyed me. It, it genuinely annoyed me when that happened. But I also, I learned to take a forgiving stance. Okay, we have our religion secured. Arabia won't be able to convert us and get a religion victory. <clears throat> he got pretty close. He made an effort. I got to give him that. 
I'm a dad, so yeah, I get the same dad. How does this work? I never thought I'd identify as a dad from Calvin and Hob Hobb as hard as I currently do. Jonathan, uh, curiosity. When you had your child, did you have like a moment of like, oh God, what have I done? I brought a child into this horrible world. Was that like the thought process you had at some point? I'm curious. I'm pretty sure this is a thought process every father has. Or mother, I guess. A good plan What's real bad is when they start a new thread to ask a question that's answered in the sticky thread about that exact thing. True. Uh, sewer. Sewer. See, the game is starting to chug and slow down because I've had it open for so long. We need to win. Need to win. I don't care. Uh, reason I'm not using my governor titles because it doesn't matter. How is Arabia's holy war going on? Yeah, it kind of petered out. Kind of just... That's how, that's how it went. I think they got, like, bogged down over here somewhere. Now you can see here's Hinduism. Half Arabia, half Hinduism. <clears throat> oh, nice. I think the world is pretty cool. Uh, I think... I think there's a distinct, like, awareness that a parent has as soon as they have their child, and they're like, Oh, God, the world is awful, and I've just brought a new life into it. I need to make the world better. <clears throat> You don't really get time to think you gotta start taking care of the right away. They don't sleep for long at first. Australia? Where is this um, giant death robot going? Australia, give me your friendship. Ha 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 ha. Alliance, don't kill me, please. Thank you. Oh. Alrighty then, Movember is going for science too. I have nanotechnology, other people do not. I also have the next tech. I am working on Mars. Oh, I finished it. I can start inserting builders into my project. That sounds so wrong, but I'm going to keep saying it because <laughs> it's the accurate way to describe it. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and keep purchasing builders here. And finish this bad boy. Bad boy. No, my campus died. Uh, rip the tiles on that whale city. Yeah, I know. I, I forgot to get my... I was screwing around and I forgot to get my... Um, what do you call the things that give you sea tiles protection? Flood barriers, that thing. What's up, Alexandra? Pineda18. How are you? How are you doing? I don't know how I've managed to keep this energy up for like six hours. My... <clears throat> My throat's starting to hurt. Uh, you could use the promotions. Hey, it's La Cucaracha. How's it going? You could use the promotions to promote Reina and buy a backup spaceport if yours gets sabotaged again. That's true. I could do that. That's an option. Um, and this isn't a bad city to do it in. Oh, I need a little bit more gold. I never thought about that. I never thought about having a backup spaceport because I usually just have a spy. I usually what I do is I surround them in spies and just kind of like work a single spaceport. It's like the thing that I do. It's my style. Do you ever plan on making a Civ 6 multiplayer video? Uh, yeah. I think I may. I think I do declare that we have the Mars landing. If we were playing vanilla Civ, we would have just won the game. I want to point that out to you guys. Uh, keep going for gold and production. Sore throat? Insert less builders. <laughs> that actually hurts a lot to do that. Uh, die, Alexandra Veneda. Your mother's demo gorgon. I hate zoomers. Everything they say is wrong. Uh, red in general can just be so bleh. Uh, multiplayer videos, perhaps. I don't know. I just don't really enjoy multiplayer. I have made some multiplayer videos, but it's like, it's so much work. It's like you have to put all this time in, and then you have to put even more time in just to turn it into a video. I might die. I might do multiplayer streams. That could definitely happen. That's much more probable. There's a higher probability that that is what we will do. Let's go ahead and purchase ourselves a spaceport. Spaceport. <laughs> Spaceport, this is our backup one. We have our main one over here. We're doing the Exoplanet Expedition. Uh, Reddit in general says, oh, sorry for my irresponsible behavior. Oh my God. Quick, dogpile the Zoomer. Quick, get him. Kick him out of chat. 
Zoomers and Brits out. Get him. Operation Ivy build thermonuclear device. Brilliant, lovely, juicy, happy days. Do a few L. I kind of wish I could just shift click this and it would fill it up. It's like one of those small things. One thing I wish I could talk to Firaxis about is just to be like, when I click on this, why is the why is the thing got a wiggle? I know about like haptic feedback or whatever. But all it does, it means it takes it longer for me to click it again. You know what I mean? I guess maybe it's like reloading or something. I don't know. Just saying, if I had Anton Stranger in the room with me, I'd be like, why it do this? Fix it. Make it better. Make, be make thing better. Uh, the other player could get a pretty good advantage by watching your stream. Potato, are your space people astronauts or cosmonauts? There are cosmonautical astronauts. Uh, but once they get larger, they can be such a mess. Reddit's great for some of the small subreddits. Yeah, Reddit subreddits can be great. T minus four months until the half century for me. Hell yeah, Dennis. Good job. I'm one year old. Spec at fluent English. I'm a good job. Uh, yeah, once subreddit fluent designs always attracts people from all. <laughs> it's like when the zombies come. No, oh, no. It's the all people. Do, 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 do. Does Anton, I don't even know if Anton Stranger is doing the game design right now on Civ 6. Where's Carl when you need him? What's a zoomer? It's, uh, you know when you have a dog and they get excited and they run in circles? That's a zoomy. A zoomer is a human version of that under the age of 25. Cosmonautical Austro uh, awesome knots. Hell yeah. Alright, let's launch this bad boy we're about to unlock gutters so we are officially on the wind track we're about to get ourselves some gutters we are only a handful of turns from zinning the game in the meantime we shall get ourselves another spy uh fun with kids when they when they turn 25 call it a quarter century emphasize the century the kids freak out and think they are old dude i'm getting close to a third of a century don't use these kind of words on me all right uh, when are you finishing? We'll be finishing here soon. Production menu should open the queue first. It actually, you can actually default it to the queue. Um, let me go ahead and show you. In interface options, always open production queue enabled. Ba bam! No matter what you do, you click this, opens the queue. Well, I kind of had pop ups that kind of ruined my reveal, but look, I click on the city, ba bam! Production queue. I ain't no boomer and zoomer. Feels good. Feels. Goodman. Oh my god, we've got a Moomer. A Millennial. That's even worse. Just whatever. Uh, I think, actually, if I recall correctly, Canada was making... Or was it the Congo? Was the Congo making the bank? The bank, the bank? What about you, Aztecs? Mm, it's not much. Where's the Congo? Am I blind? Is the Congo dead? Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's go here. Steal from the Congo. Bada bum, bada bum. A challenge from A to Z. I left during the classical era and I returned to see him about to win a science victory. My dog is a zoomer, but so am I, presumably. Presumably. <laughs> Every leader from A to Z, pretty much. Hey, what's up? Hello, Halo dude cool. Did you play Halo in high school, my dude? And were you cool? Uh, thank you, Potato. Hi, Alexi. Spudstronauts. Uh, yes. Make a decision. Click, click. Ah! Automation. Ooh, free giant death robot. Oh, man. Alright, campus research grants. This is one thing I don't like, is I have to come back here and I have to be like, hey, you! Do this again. Uh, what do you use to show the stats and stuff with the other saves? <gasps> you go to the settings, interface. Click here, top right. You see these three bars? It looks like a hamburger. Uh, click the hamburger. Open the options menu. Go to interface. Then you go show yields in hood ribbon. Always show. Click, click. But ba bam You're good to go. Now you got these. I would like to petition 
Firaxis to make that a default option so I stop getting that question. I feel harassed every time I get that question. Are the Congo dead? He says the Congo leader. I know. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> I'm trying to entertain myself, okay, while we're in the worst part of the late game, which is hitting the end turn, waiting for things to happen. <clears throat> uh, you underestimate the craziness of cats. Meow. Meow. I always find it, I always imagine cats talk with like a sleazy voice. Does anyone else give like animals voices? Like I always think dogs kind of talk like like mildly dumb people. Like like the cartoonishly dumb people that you might hear in like a cartoon. Um and cats kind of like have a have have a kind of sleazy voice to them, you know what I'm talking about? Like they kind of just they talk out the side of their mouth. Maybe they're chewing on like a piece of wheat or something, you know, like a so cartoon villain like they got cigar on that's why we nuking you go you girl ah uh, quick someone else asked that question time to send fez a robot they'll implement it so you'll have to enable it in settings anyway omega bull true uh okay uh more spies why am i recruiting more units go to sleep i don't want to use you sleep uh trade with the first man also um the trade menu gets exponentially more painful as the game goes on because it starts loading every single city that's in range into the thingy. What kind of victory are you going for? G. I I don't know. I think we're going for science. All right. There is the CO2 emissions from units reduced by 50%. Unlocks the giant death robot upgrade. Excellent. And then we can swing up here and here okay we gotta wait another four turns until we can start speeding up that end game uh, might be a good idea to get ourselves a builder over here to improve that i don't care that much power is gonna be an issue can i come in here hey you get in here everyone get in here convert the nuclear power let's go it's a me it's a mario Keep stealing that gold. Uh, you have a containment still plugged in. Oh my god, I completely forgot. I was supposed to steal a Buenos Aires ages ago. Get out of here. I plugged that card in and completely forgot. This is how forgetful I get. No bully. What the heck do we need to know what crap Victoria thinks about your gold knight? Such annoying pop-ups. I don't know. See, I'm of two minds of them. On the one hand, as a player who like speeds through the game and doesn't really pay attention to that stuff, I could see how that's just getting in the way of the gameplay. On the other hand, as a player who can also sometimes appreciate a game for its sort of role play and sort of flavor value, it adds a little bit of flavor to the game. You know, I think it's not awful. I think maybe it's just the execution of it is just kind of inconvenient for the player. Uh, what was, and this is like this is the danger of interacting with chat. Okay, there's 13, 15, 17, 18. We are up to 18 envoys of Buenos Aires. That'll get me a little bit more coal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Still going to go for the nuclear power plant, though, because... I uh, should have polls at the beginning of the stream so people can try and guess how many times you'll be asked about the leader ribbons could be fun. I think that could be fun. I don't even know how to do polls. Oh, I probably would just do a straw poll. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. TBH. Yes, let's let the world know we are friends. Sure. Sure. Also, would like to point out I'm making 162 production per turn in my in my uh, science city. <laughs> Unit needs orders. Hold on. So we are currently on the science victory track. We are traveling one light year per turn. We have traveled seven. Dude, nuke yourself at the end. Please do it. Do it. Uh, I'll think about it. Uh, what sieves do you think could be added to the game? Probably another stupid question that gets... Or probably another question gets asked too much. I thought you said stupid Lucas there. Sorry, I added words. I am interpreting what you said, which is usually best left for dancing to interpret things. Um, I think there's a lot of civs that could be added. Really, I think what the civilization developers are looking for, I think, and this is me sort of interpreting what they're doing, is they're just looking for 
civilizations that haven't been in Civ games before and are interesting. I would really like to see an actual dedicated like Ireland Civ rather than like the generic Celts. Um, I think it would be interesting to have, you know, all that sort of stuff going on. Don't you know how to do polls? Just ask your mom. Got him. Uh, here are comments about the Golden Age much better than it's every other turn. Would you like to trade with... Would you like a trade deal with England? But would, would you like a trade agreement with England? Uh, what is the air speed velocity in Unladen Swallow? Probably somewhere between uh, 0 miles an hour and 100 miles an hour. Uh, I never quite understood what the odds are for a nuclear accident to occur and what it even does. I've been very hesitant because of this... Oh, because of it to switch nuclear power for oil from oil i have done a lot of uh power plants and i have never once never once seen a thing a thing a thing 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 a thing 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 thing, thing. a nuclear explosion like mm, i've never seen it or a, a nuclear power plant going whatever i just didn't, never happened never seen it it doesn't it's never happened for me uh, recommission nuclear reactor, like. Uh, serious question. Should there be an economic victory that relies on trade routes and gold income? Mm. I don't know. What do you mean, an African or European swallow? Oh, that's true. That is the correct uh, answer. Uh. Seaport. Seaport Seymour. Hangar 18. That's where they keep the aliens. I want to go up to turn 55 turns before Kaboom. Uh, who is sexier, Victoria in Civ 6 or Elizabeth in Civ 5? Neither. Give me some of that. Who led the Celtics again? Fuck, what was her name? She was the chariot lady with red hair. Uh, I can't remember her name. Chariot lady with red hair. Uh, I mean, he said that because I just wanted Kaiser Wilhelm too for the memes. If they add an economic victory, we might get Venice back. The leader of an Irish slave, Dara O'Brien for sure. He sounds identical to Potato. I don't, I don't know if I sound like Dara O'Brien. Certainly, there is a certain whimsical quality to how I speak that would be reminiscent of one said Dara O'Brien, especially when I'm playing it up a bit, you know, and doing the whole sort of talking a bit like him. And kind of, you can't hear it, but I am wiggling in my chair a bit like Dara wiggles in his entire life. Uh, right. Jesus, just, just get me out of here. Boudicca, that was the one. I I couldn't think of it off the top of my head. I, I like I know it now, obviously, because it's been said to me. I could practically taste the word. Your body's too Boudicca-licious for you, babe. Did you tell anyone it was Boudicca? Did anyone tell you it was Boudicca who led the Celts? Uh, you, might be, you might be right. Are you back on streaming on YouTube? Yes, Ardesh. She is a great general in Civ 6. I'm not going to lie, throwing my hands up here, I've never once read the names of any of the great generals um, beyond the first time I read them. Talk like you've had a load of coke and you're almost there. Uh, do, do I have to change anything? <laughs> uh, does anything weird special happen if you complete multiple victories in the same turn? Nope. Tamiris has captured Toronto. Agree! Now, do you mean cocaine, or do you mean cinnamon, or do you mean Coca-Cola? Those are all very different things. Very, very different things. Okay. Uh, terrestrial laser station. Pew, 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 pew. Insert my builder into my laser. Into my builder. Into my laser, my laser, my laser, my laser, my laser. My laser station. Bum, 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 bum. Get me out of here. Ah, future tech, quick. Get me out of this game. I am done playing Civ. <laughs> Get me out of here. 
Can I explain the A to Z challenge? No, nobody explain it to him. Nobody tell him. Nobody tell him. He's got to guess. And if he gets it wrong, it's a 50 DKP minus. Oh, right. I have units to move. That's uh, probably a good move. Okay, now someone can tell him. Because they didn't guess. <clears throat> more laser, more problems. Uh, just sing the entire alphabet character, even with a lisp. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aren't they getting rid of... Somebody told me that in some school districts, they're getting rid of the tune part of L M N O P because kids are finding it confusing and they want them individually split. Uh, anyway, the A to Z challenge is playing each individual civilization in order from start to finish. Skipping Alexander because nobody likes him. Look at that. Oh my god, we killed a thing. It's dead. Makine gun. Uh, probably be a good idea to get my hands on a bomber. Oh, sh shisa. I need to get the builder on the aluminum. That is shice. I cannot make aluminum without a builder. Uh, someone shoot me. I just got through. I just ought to be pushing. Just got up. Ought to be pushing for the last two hours. Someone shoot me. I have no idea what you're saying. Y'all gotta retype your words. Uh, literally never heard that. Literally never heard what. Listen, man. At this point, I'm so deep into this game. It was like I'm inside your mom. No, it, it's I'm like six hours deep into this game. Nothing I say makes sense anymore. Okay, I've been streaming for six hours straight. <clears throat> Fuck! I shouldn't make those jokes. <laughs> I've got to be careful on YouTube. You never know what happens. Uh, hearing you say Z as Z. Got him. Wow, you're still going. Hell yeah, Henry Lancaster. I don't know where with the pivot of the German accent. Yeah, das ist gut. Das ist sehr gut. Sehr gut und all correct. Potato was actually almost done with the alphabet challenge. Alexander is the last leader to go cyclone You're a fucking genius. Do you still stream on Twitch? No, Joey. Joe Mama. Uh, you deserve better than our moms. Don't put your mom down like that, okay? Who wouldn't want to play old brass tits? Is that like a type of bird? Like a blue tit? Like a... Like a... <laughs> bird... Like a bird that makes noise? No? Uh, hast du Deutsch gelernt? Ja. Ich lerne Deutsch. Meine Deutsch ist schlecht. August kann ich auch zu. Meine Kamerade. <laughs> I'm just fucking saying wild shit. All right, what are we doing? Nuclear explosion. Nuclear explosion. Will you start another one after this? Lyrics, are you insane? I've been going for like, who knows how long. I'm not going to do another one. I'm going to bed. Potentially cry myself to sleep. Wow, that's really satisfying. The noise that that makes when it shoots. Uh, brass is Alexander. His armor has little bumps. Uh, YouTube is better than Twitch because of the 2x high speed available to rewatch the stream. Agree. Although I think Twitch has that too. Ow. My poor little giant death robot is under attack. We've got to help him out. Tally ho, lads. Holy shit, rock bands are loud. Uh, Tom Egema. There is nothing like it. 
It's Misha Grant. Am I? It's Misha Grant. Cause I'm deadly. Get me. Ah. Zone of control. Wait, why is he shooting back? Oh, he's not. Uh, the Pope is really pleased that you're going to bed. True. Potato going to miss us so much he'll cry himself to sleep. Uh, no. I think he misinterpreted the cry myself to sleep part. <laughs> cry myself to sleep with all this money I made. When I run a million ads at the end. I'll be crying tears of financial success. Uh, why does it say you're playing Outer Worlds? It sh shouldn't. It should. It should say no game. In fact, it literally says on my screen that I'm playing Civilization VI Gathering Storm right now. Which nation IRL will make the first giant death robot? Japan or China? It's okay, Potato. Just look at the silly German accent like Saxon and say, I'm bad at this, Alge. At least not that bad. Yeah, jawohl. Ya wall Ya wall Okay, I have Illuminarism. I can buy myself a little bit of a bomb. Wow. How many turns till victory? Very, very close. It does say Outer Worlds. It says Civilization Six Gathering Storm on my screen. That is uh annoying. Make sure that we purchase builders. It says Civilization Six Gathering Storm for me. But, like, I mean, YouTube's YouTube, man. What are you going to do? But then do, you think, do you make money off people with ads if they have ad blockers? No. But, every single one of you, I forgive you for using ad blockers. Okay. You are forgiven. You're double forgiven if you become a member of the channel and pay me $2 a month. And then you're extra forgiven. Or you get YouTube Premium and watch all my videos. Then you're double extra forgiven. Do you know how much money people make off YouTube Premium? It's actually ridiculous. Okay, air attack. Step into the water. Uh, claim great person, sure. Terrestrial laser station. Wabam! We churning through that for the power. More power! Unlimited power. Uh, it says Civ 6 News, not the title description. We can't let there be a giant death robot gap. What do you do? Get out of here. How did this pivot to a science game? It was always a science game. Hey, myriads. How's it going? Going to re-enable blocker for your channel then. Hey, if you've already specifically unblocked my channel, don't re-block it. Welcome to the channel, myriads. I appreciate that. Uh, I heard it's better to wait 30 seconds before hit and skip ad instead of doing it right away. Uh, I don't know if that's true. I don't know how ads work. I just know that I get money from them. And it's really cool that I get money from them. Uh, thanks for coming. Absolutely crazy money ads on YouTube. Listen, I I put on a thirty minute video. I put three, is it four ads, four ads on a thirty minute video, and they're five seconds each, right? One at the start, one five minutes in, one fifteen minutes in, and one thirty minutes in. I think that's pretty reasonable, considering there's people out there. Putting the same number of ads on a on a like fifteen minute video, I'm like that shit's crazy. 
ads. I, I feel like I do a pretty reasonable amount of ads in my videos. I don't do it. I feel like I do it. I don't do it too much. I don't do it too little. I just put a couple of extra ads in. Thanks, lyrics. Uh, David, you can rewatch. Yes. However, uh, caveat. So if you answer questions, I've already just tuned. Will the full stream be available on YouTube? Yes. Okay. Oh, that was late. Thank you, Myriad. So the the YouTube VOD will be available. However, there is a caveat. It will only be available to people who purchase at least a one ninety nine membership to my channel. And I will be explaining this in the video. But here's the reason: um, when people are browsing through my channel, they are going to see videos. They are also going to see live stream VODs. So what that means is they're going to see those live stream VODs and be like, what the hell is this? I don't want to see a live stream VOD. This is an eight hour video. I'm unsubscribing. I'm never watching one of these videos again. By doing it this way, putting the live stream VODs in the category of whatever hidden, this is actually now, instead of just streaming on Twitch, you guys actually get to see the live stream VODs. It only costs you $2 a month and you, you like support my channel. And I get the benefits of, of having all my content on YouTube and all this other stuff. Um, but you can still watch live for free. You know what I mean? And live is the best part because you actually get to talk to me. Um, and and you'll also get a free highlight video later on when I edit this all down into a single highlight video of the stream. So like, it's not like you're getting less content. It's just I don't want raw footage anymore on my channel because I think it hurts my channel. So what I'm doing is any sort of raw footage, like the people who really liked watching me play all the way through a game, if they really want to see that, they can go to the members area for two ninety nine a month and they'll get literally dozens of hours of entertainment that'll make that worth it. For other people who just want to watch my videos, they're going to get the highly edited, high quality content that members also get for free, right? So I don't know, that's the logic I'm having. Um, for me to arrive at this particular strategy that I am using. I don't know if it's a good strategy, but it's what I'm going to try. Uh, because of how YouTube counts views, if view counts less 10 seconds, is it kind of view? And the YouTuber makes no money. You could probably just unlist them and put them in a playlist. I could do that. There is nothing like a dream. But I like money. <laughs> Not gonna lie. If it makes me more money to do it this way, I think I should do it this way. Watching live for free. Jeffrey Kane for the $2. You could have bought a month of premium for that. $2 news. You would have got special emotes, privileges, chat, all that jazz. Uh, where is the button? Watching live? Live? Not live. That'd be weird. <gasps> One light year per turn. Oh, I'm way ahead of her. I'm traveling five. Yeah, we're, we're four turns from winning. So I think what we're going to do here is... Just shift enter. There's no way to speed up my victory. So we're just going to win. Hey, Noel Rays. Thank you so much for becoming a spuddy. And David Fendali. Fendel? David Fendel? Wait. Oh, man. Everyone loves money. Money, money, money. The root of all evil. Oh, my God. We're just getting chain subs right now. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Y'all are awesome. I gotta, gotta hoe myself out. Well, I probably shouldn't use that word. I gotta shill myself out for money. Kids, college doesn't pay for itself, fellas. Are you still in weird? Are you still in weird challenges? Reach the uh, Jeff Plant if you can only settling three tiles away from the hexagon formation in the crowded map. That was great and awful. It sounds like a fun one. I do challenges, but I only ever do challenges that kind of excite me and make me want to play them. I'm not interested by challenges that don't interest me. It seems like a bit of a redundant statement, but it is what it is. Like, if I am given a challenge and I'm like, eh, that just doesn't sound exciting. It just sounds annoying. Like, like if, if a challenge just sounds bullshit or like just like pointlessly difficult or painful to do, I'm just not going to do it. Uh, potato channeling in their Mansa Musa. Uh, so is the only way to lose after you send the next planet expedition to be eliminated entirely or someone else wins a different victory? Yes. Or someone else beats you in the race. Love your content. Thank you so much, Noel Reyes. Ah! I got shot. 
Thank you so much, Noel Rays. I appreciate your comment. Hey, Brandon. Oh my God, guys. I've even got the Activision guys coming down to support my channel. I want to say a huge thank you to Brandon and everyone else who's been here to support me. All right, there's the terrestrial laser station. We're getting close to winning. Globalization is finished. It's a bit late. Thank you so much, Brandon. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, man. Every dollar goes towards uh, me not needing to beg for more dollars. <laughs> Uh, what was I doing? Right, 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 right. Man. Okay. Uh, terrestrial laser station. Whoop, bam. Hey, we got someone else. Joey Brisson. Thank you so much. Will we have videos of the old style? Whole gameplay broken into 15, 10 to 15 episodes. No, Ardash. You will have live streams, which will take the place of that kind of content, which is basically what we're doing right now. Do you ever get bored of Civs, buddy? Uh, sometimes, but not really. I just like the game, so I keep playing it. It's really that simple of an equation for me. I'm having a good time, and I'm enjoying it, and I get to keep going. Hey! So, Joy Brisson. Thanks for the stream. My first and enjoyed it. And we got ourselves Dennis Ooling. Ooling. It says you're playing Outer Worlds in the comments. We know we've been over this. It's to me, it says I'm playing Civilization Six Gathering Storm, but for whatever reason, it says I'm playing the Outer Worlds. I don't know why. What was that noise? Oh no! Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know what to do with this city. Get out of there. I've never been nuked that like that, I don't think. I've been nuked before, but not like that. I never had a thermo nuke just dropped on me. Damn. Like I give a damn, I'm already in space. Wait. What was that? I heard another one. Okay, we're good. That was a thermo nuke. God damn. Hey, and we won. Much as our ancestors did ages ago, we thrust forward into the unknown. The first pioneers set forth on an uneasy course. And yet once again did our people thrive. Now, under your leadership, we plot a new course and make another world our own. Thank you all so much for watching. We are going to do a end of stream exclusive. We're going to watch a scuffed version of my next guide video. Because I said I would do it, it'll be releasing tomorrow. Oh my god, Sid Meier's crashed. Alrighty.
This is going to be the exclusive 17 minute finisher video. Hey guys, Potato McWhiskey here. Today we're going to be asking and oh, wait, answering wait, 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 one wait, wait, wait. simple question. Are national parks or rock bands more effective for tourism generation? They both use faith, so which one is more cost effective? This question actually came from a comment from Siddharth Venkatesh. Did my best to pronounce that correctly, but I'm not super familiar with what I assume is an Indian name. His question was as follows. Curious if you still find national parks worth it for their faith cost. Rock bands seem so effective at the moment, I've started to just gun for Cold War, get faith production to 300 plus, and just spam rock bands every other turn, leaving little room for naturalists. You did say you prefer to wait till the end game card, but they seem more cost effective even without it. One park is still nice for error score and the Eureka, of course. This is a fantastic comment for a number of reasons because it's going to give me an opportunity to talk about late game tourism as well as go into a lot of detail about how tourism itself works from a mathematical standpoint. I'm going to give a very simple analogy to illustrate the difference between the two and how they should be used, and then I'm going to go into depth on the theory, mathematics, and mechanics behind it. So, first, I want you to imagine a civilization's domestic tourists generated from their culture output as if they were building towers. Every time they get enough culture to generate a domestic tourist, their tower gets a little bit taller. Imagine their domestic tourists stacked on top of each other. Now imagine every civilization is doing this and everyone's tower is at a different height because everyone has generated a different amount of culture. What you're trying to do when you're winning a tourism victory is to use tourism pressure, which is individually calculated against each tower, to steal blocks from other people's towers and build a new tower using those stolen blocks that is taller than the tallest domestic tourist tower of any other player. Using this analogy, we can think of national parks as undermining the other player's culture towers. Because national parks apply their tourism to every other player in the game, it is effectively stealing a block from every person's tower over a period of turns. This makes them really effective at building a really big tourism tower over a long period of time, since they're taking blocks passively forever from everyone. Rock bands, on the other hand, can be thought of like a SEAL team targeted block raid at a particular tower. They steal blocks from only one of the towers, which makes that particular tower shorter and your offensive tower taller. Mechanic there you go. There's a secret preview for the video that we're releasing tomorrow. What do I record in? I record in OBS, uh, 1440p. <clears throat> I record 1440p uh, for local recordings. I record in 1440p for streams. I record in 1440p and I stream in 1080. And that's it. All right. <clears throat> you now have 10 minutes to ask me questions. If I don't get enough questions, I'll just go to sleep. Faint. Uh, awesome. What if we became a United Earth? I don't know. If we became a United Earth, I think that would be a pretty interesting scenario. Like, um, because there's a lot of really interesting, like, where is the seat of government? How does the government, like, what does the government look like? What, like, government form do we do? Who is in charge? Who makes the decisions? How do we vote? Do we vote locally? Do we vote nationally? Do we vote globally? <clears throat> Uh, what can you do with potatoes? You can do a variety of things. In fact, I'm pretty sure potatoes, potatoes are one of the most versatile foods on the planet. You can make pretty much anything you want from them, uh, from alcohol to different mash. Uh, what sieve traits should Ireland have? I don't know. That's a really hard question. I've never been able to come up with an answer to that. Will these live streams be on a scheduled basis? No. When do we do a multiplayer game with your subscribers? Uh, when I find time and when I feel like it. Sorry, I can't give a better answer than that. What is your favorite flavor of crisp? Uh, the one, the hunky dory cheese and onion, you know, the wafery ones that are like wavy and they kind of ripple you know the ones i like i like cheese and onion and sour cream uh flavor go to bed dude i i can go to bed it's not a big problem uh, i see how light is how light is light if light is lighter than the dark pretty damn light why are you so scared of multiplayer i just don't enjoy it uh do you actually like potatoes yes i really do i uh, enjoy potatoes sometimes i i, I take a break from them because they can be very hard. Uh, feeling better from your lung infection, Potato? Yes. When you're fighting the Lich King and he casts the file, what is the correct way to react and avoid it? Um, I actually don't know. I don't play 
Wow. Uh, what kind of whiskey do you prefer? I like Jameson and I also like some other kinds of whiskey. Uh, I reckon you need some sleep. I'm not tired at all. Uh, can you organize your desktop? Uh, it is organized. Look, all the stuff I don't care about is over here. Oh, Jesus, what have I done? All the stuff I don't care about is over here. There's more stuff I don't care about over here. Then I have one folder that's important. And that's it. Organized. Uh, what sieve do you most want added to the game? I think I just want Ireland added because I'm Irish. Uh, you have WoW installed? Yes, I was playing WoW Classic. Do you not enjoy multiplayer because of Quitters? Uh, Quitters is one aspect of it. I just don't think Civilization is a very enjoyable multiplayer experience. But why don't you like multiplayer? The game becomes so much more interesting. It does become so much more interesting, but it becomes such a pain in the ass to play. Nights Buddies, uh, what time is it there? It is just about three, um, 30 minutes past 1am, about 1.30am. What is your favorite civilization? I don't have a favorite civilization. Did you have a good day? I had an okay day. I had a pretty good day, I would say. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, can you start Civ now, please? I We just finished Civ, John Halberg. We just did a seven-hour stream of me playing Civ. Have you tried the game Dawn of Man? I have not. You bastard, I have notifications on Twitch, not on YouTube. How dare you stream here? David Woody. You're going to have a Woody for the seven hour stream we just did. Uh, what music type do you listen to? I kind of listen to whatever I just feel like in the moment. I don't have a particular genre that I'm loyal to. I like metal. I like uh, house music. I like electronica. I like some indie stuff. Really just kind of depends on the mood that I'm in and the people that I'm with. Because usually, um, like if I'm with certain people, uh, the music they'll play will be stuff I don't like and I can't get into it. But sometimes I'll be hanging out with people and because of their attitude and stuff, I can kind of get into the music. So there's like a lot of really like, sort of external and internal factors that dictate what kind of music I want to listen to. Like if I'm hanging out with people that were like really like like really lively music and I just don't feel in the headspace for that, I just won't really get into it that much. Uh, what do you think Irish civilization will be more geared towards like culture or diplomacy? Probably culture or diplomacy would make sense. I saw a GitHub over there, do you code? I code sometimes, for example, sometimes I code mods for games. Uh, what if we kid, can you draw a HD potato and paint? I can try. I'm not very good. And I won't do it right now because I am about to go to sleep. What if we killed all the mosquitoes in the world? The world would probably be a better place. Can subscribers get a photo of your pups? You can go to my Instagram and find my dogs. If you manage to find my Instagram, good luck. It's not hard. Uh, when we will we see a diplomatic victory? I will probably never do a diplomatic victory because I don't enjoy it. I will probably only do it for the purpose of researching for a diplomatic guide, which is not going to be happening for a little while. Humankind or Endless Legend opinion. Humankind looks amazing. Endless Legend is good. Not really my kind of game. It kind of just doesn't hit the notes that I want from a 4X game. I'm worried Humankind will be similar, but I am excited for, for Humankind. I like Endless Legend. It's just it's something I have trouble playing and finishing. When's the next effed up game save come out? Mine. I don't know when the next one is coming out. Probably in a day or two. Uh, do you think cold power plants are OP? I don't know if I think they're OP. I think they are very strong and underrated. Are specialists finally good? Mm, they're better than they were. What features from previous saves would you like to see returning? Uh, I don't know. That's a difficult question. I can't think of all the top of my head. Um, I liked the landscape changing in Civilization 4. I liked that you know the world could be desertified and all that sort of stuff. I thought that was cool. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to think what else was really cool. I liked social policies from Civilization 5 because it kind of gave you a sense that you were developing your empire in a particular direction over a long period of time. I think that is one thing that Civilization 6 lacks is a sort of permanent, you know, development mechanic. Uh, for the wild question, usually do you try to stay out of the ring where the file happens, keep moving around in the dungeon. Also depends on what class you play. Uh, I play Death Knight and Warrior. Favorite school of philosophy? Uh, my own made up wacky brand of it. I don't really know. I mean... I prefer analytical philosophy over continental philosophy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really crazy into philosophy. I think it's interesting. What to say? How tough was it to create a successful channel? I pretty much worked myself to the bone for three years straight in order to make just barely minimum wage, Zachary. Uh, do you ever play games that you lose and then don't record them? Mm, I only ever... No, I, I, I only ever scrap a game if it's not interesting or it's just going nowhere. Do you ever play multiplayer in any game? If so, which one? I play multiplayer. It's pretty much exclusively what I play, actually. 
Um, Civilization VI is like the only game I play single player. Do you play other games besides Civilization? Yes, I play Planet Side. I play a whole bunch of shooter games. I play strategy games. I play weird RPG games. I play roguelikes. I play pretty much every game under the sun. I play Bard and Borderlands 3. I'm playing uh, The Outer Worlds. I'm playing basically anything I can get my hands on is just kind of like a new experience or whatever excites me and piques my interest. Uh, what are the different levels of Patreon or YouTube? Get a person asking for a friend. Uh, the different levels of Patreon are going away. I'm going to be canceling the Patreon. It's all going to be rolled into YouTube membership right now. Pretty much the only thing that gets you anything is the level one, which is $2 a month. Level ups, I don't know what I'm going to do for those. I'll think of something. It's got to be something that like is worth it, but also doesn't take too much work from me. Um, uh, but being a level one Patreon or being a level one YouTube member will get you access to all of the member exclusive videos as well as um, shiny badges in chat and shiny emotes that you can use in chat. Is there a save that you think is underpowered weak? I think Georgia is still pretty weak. I think I arguably the Khmer are kind of weak and so is India, but I don't really think there's a whole lot of really, really weak saves. Brazil still feels kind of very situational. Um, yeah, those are the ones off the top of my head. What is your favorite Pokemon? I like uh, I like Squirtle. Squirtle, I'm a big fan of Squirtle because he was like the first Pokemon that I ever had. Well, no, originally I got Bulbasaur, but I really liked Squirtle. And so I got really far into Pokemon and I was like, man, I really wish I had a Squirtle. And so I went back and restarted and got a Squirtle. Uh, should they make an economic victory like in Civilization Revolution? Maybe. It could be something worth exploring. I don't know if they should, but it's definitely an idea that they could explore. Have you ever tried Babylon in Civ 5? Yes, but... I think he was that like Nebuchadnezzar. He had like the walls of Babylon or the library of Babylon. It's been a very long time since I played Civ 5. I don't remember much about it. What additional wonders would you like to personally see? Maybe more skyscrapers. Uh, that's a hard one, actually. I don't know what's not included. I think Newgrange, obviously, kind of leaning into the Irish thing that I'm Irish. Newgrange is like older than the pyramids. It's really, really cool. Or at least, you know, maybe the propaganda about it kind of paints it that way. But Newgrange is very interesting. I'd like to see maybe some sort of stuff with regards to like uh, Neolithic monuments other than Stonehenge. I think there are far more interesting things than Stonehenge. Stonehenge is just kind of iconic as far as Neolithic. Um, is it Mesolithic or Neolithic? I can't remember exactly. But stone-based um things do you ever play dota yes i used to play dota all the time i have nearly three thousand hours wait let me check two thousand hours i have two thousand two hundred hours roughly speaking in dota 2 <clears throat> what game uh do you play as a kid i played super mario played legend of zelda i played um time crisis i played point blank i played grand theft auto the 2d ones i played uh, command and conquer i played doom i played quake i played uh wolfenstein i played pretty much like everything i could get my hands on uh econ win what's up cinnamon beard you versus marbazir who wins don't lie i won't tell him i don't know actually because we have different styles and we have different focuses on gameplay i think i would probably beat him in any war but i think he would probably give me a run for my like if we were in a war i think i could maneuver around him and shoot him down just because i'm pretty quick at like war multiplayer war and save I've, I've done a bit of practice on it so i could probably beat him in that way but if we were like just doing like a sim city battle he could he could very easily take that game uh, when i visited ireland i went to a small stone circle that was very cool to see nice as i claim if you need to add the grand canyon that would be cool uh what is your favorite time period in history hmm i think i like the victorian era sort of uh 1820s to like 19 20 sort of that sort of chunk of history and time is fascinating to me like say post napoleon or like maybe just before napoleon up until just world war ii that area on history is fascinating to me because so much changed it was like like the world went from like we talk about like how the world changes rapidly like but here's the thing in that era of time the world was basically the same for like thousands of years it was like armies like there was kind of guns and, and artillery were kind of new but like in how society was organized, it was basically feudal. It was basically top down and it was basically straightforward. And in that time period, we had like the most fascinating things like the French Revolution, the formation of uh, Germany, the German Empire. We had the, you know, so many revolutions happened. We had colonialism, all these fascinating things that happened. Uh, you pl played pretty much everything you get your hands on, huh? Hey, Spud, I need to add you on Steam. Sure thing, Brandon. Uh, just get in touch with me on Discord. Um, and I'll add you. Uh, Viking longships that can travel into rivers. That would be neat. 1922 at least. How many hours do you have in Civilization 6? I have 
Drum roll, please. 1,745 hours. Keep in mind, though, a lot of this is also spent watching other people play. And a lot of, like, oh, well, not a lot of this, but I have a lot more hours of editing videos, watching other people play, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, I'm heading out now. I am also heading out. We have done, you should do an old school Command & Conquer game. I fucking love Command & Conquer, dude. It's one of my favorite things. All right, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Favorite war in history? What war do you find the most interesting? Uh, I'm not sure if I have a favorite war. I think World War One is fascinating just because of like the sheer horror of what it was. It was like if somebody took like a Lovecraftian horror and turned it into a war. It was like that's what that was. Can't use Disc Discord in the QA lab. Ooh, no worries, dude. Um, you catch me later then, I suppose. Uh, when like catch me if you go to my do do do. Go to one of my videos. I should have the Discord linked in every video. And you can catch me on Discord there. Uh, because I have, right now, 72 friend requests. Just sitting. This is just people randomly, you know. I appreciate it in one sense. But it's also a lot of work um, to go through this every now and again and clear it out. All right. I love you all. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.